<laughs> What's up, everybody? Nick Blazer back here uh, with the finals of the UBC USA. We've got making it through to the last round, uh, best of three matches. Ryan Rebello playing against Dana Nazarian. Uh, we've seen Dana. I, 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 maybe we'll get to see the results here too of the overall PR and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we can see the the point spread was one one in every match between Neil and Ryan, but Ryan with the better overall PR playing a three, a three and a half, and a one. Uh, Neil not too far off that. It'd be nice to be able to see the actual overall averages too. On the other side, it looks like we had. Uh, yeah, Dana with a 5-1 win, apparently. Uh, winning two of the matches and all three of the PR b b battles. That's amazing stuff. Um, playing a 4-2, a 3-6, and a 1.3. So average PR overall looks like Ryan coming in with a little bit better there. So finding his A game over the last three matches there, which is pretty exciting. We'll see if he can pick that up for the three matches here. And Dana averaging on BMAB, like a low 3-2, so it should be a really competitive final. Super excited to watch this one. I'm going to set up my computer while we go a little bit, too. If you're not familiar with this format, we're going to play three matches, three seven-point matches. There are six points available in this final, then. So one point in each match goes to the person who wins the match, and one point goes to the person who has the better PR between the two. Um, so... If you just have the better PR in all three matches, then you win three points for sure. And tie breaks go to whoever has the better overall average PR. So just playing better across all three matches, playing better, right? In quotes, I don't know, a little bit of a nebulous term, but that can win it for you. It's uh, very important to this, this format, probably more important than even winning the match. But of course, if you get really lucky dice and get to win three of the matches, all you have to do is, is have a nicer PR for one of them. So it still helps quite a bit there, too. Uh, so a lot that can happen in just a three-match final like this, too. Um, so I'm very excited to see how it comes out. I think we'll have some XG feedback on it as we go, too. And we'll get started very shortly here. I'm going to set up my computer while we go, too. The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app, Star Membership, High Analysis, Blunder Database, Private Games, Coin Games, Rating Games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market, available on Amazon. Links in the description below. We got the board up there getting started shortly. Looks like Dana will be playing the white checkers on the bottom. Ryan on top. I don't see the players out there yet. You see Bill and Rory over by the board, though. Rory on transcription. 
I should go remind him to use the hint button all game. <laughs> There we go. I see both players over by the board taking their seats here. Good morning, everybody. With Ryan's play speed, this could go quick, too. His side of the semifinals with Neil was over in like two hours, so we got to watch the third match of the, the other side. Take a seat. Yeah, please, Ray. Join us. All right. We're getting ready to go. Yeah. Oh, Thanks for watching, yeah. everybody. Well, I might have to leave and go play some. I don't know. Is there anything going on this morning? Uh, probably just backgammon. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could miss some of that. <laughs> you can never get enough. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I earned a spot at the microphone playing Petco last night. <laughs> <laughs> crowd as well. Huh? The crowd is making its way in, too. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, if you're in the area or anything, come here and hang out. You can come hang out in the commentary area and watch some backgammon, beat some people, play some games around. Oh, oh they're fun. starting up. Here we go. And they've rolled the same number. All right. Best of three seven-point matches. <laughs> For all the money. Yep. And the marbles and all that stuff. I think they win a trip to the contender tournament is the main prize up top, which is going to be in Istanbul this year again. Yeah, I, I couldn't afford to win that. No? Um, that's why I didn't enter this. <laughs> and the fact that I would never get to this part of it either. Plotting I think I played it in the last one. Is this any good? Yeah, this is what happens when we duplicate. Dana's going to roll like a monster today. All right. Uh, we've got Rory on transcription in there. 3-2 can... I guess it could make the 23 and hit loose, but... Yeah, having a better advanced anchor seems... Well, the mid-anchor, whatever you want to call it. The butterfly. The butterfly anchor. You can always refer to Mitchie's book when you, to find out when the right time to break that is. This, uh, yeah, I was about to say, I'm not sure it matters what Ryan plays because I think I'm passing. But I guess I would find something like down and hit on the ace. Uh, okay. We can reduce blots by... Yeah, it wins a little more. So this is uh, losing less gammons. And I think uh, Dana will be able to find a comfortable claim after this. Three checkers back, threatening a fourth, just a few steps ahead in development, all these things. Yep, there yep. it comes. And Ryan's and let Ryan it go. pushed the button before the cube hit the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not too far off of uh, play on there. The one point now, for Dana. This is going to be interesting contrast and styles because you see, like, even setting the checkers up there, Ryan was moving very fast, and Dana is super deliberate. He thinks through right. uh, uh, all his decisions, ones that even seemingly hardly don't make any difference. Yeah. We'll so, see if he starts. Sometimes that play speed rubs off on people. We'll see if he yeah. starts moving quicker, too. Yeah, look, look how fast <laughs> Ryan's going. It's like, <laughs> he doesn't want any dust to get on the checkers. Or two covers. Oh, the aces was supposed to do something else for Ryan. That's interesting. Keep the anchor, maybe. That's oh, the first know. even like tiny mistake we've seen. Somebody this. put Otherwise, that in there. I mean, somebody yeah. noticed that so fast. Look at Dana. Yeah, Rory's not using the hint button for us again. <laughs> Rookie transcriber. All right, with Rory. Uh, yeah. How's he trans? Man, uh, would it be a nightmare to transcribe these guys? Oh, Ryan's a tough one for sure. Does a lot of shuffling and moving around, hard to keep up with, but I don't know. It's not so bad. The hit seems clear. I guess he doesn't want to leave any shots and just consolidate and try to win a racing game. Yeah. While his opponent hit for the six yeah. from the bar with the better board. Sure. I'm Maybe. the guy that volunteers more shots than anybody else. <laughs> so uh, I have a higher PR than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Those two go hand in hand. Volunteer yeah. shots have a high PR. I would think about getting rid of him on the ace point here yeah because he can't you know 
You got that's get use the six checker to get him sure. out of there. If it weren't for that annoying goalkeeper, it's tempting to make the four point and have some sort of board too. But again, that would have been a volunteered shot, and Dana chose not to, so it's probably wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the three point, okay. Ryan with the clear board advantage just needs some contact to hit a shot along the way to win. Six Ooh, is gonna this will be the ace point will get made somehow in here. Yeah, I don't think we'd love to spend one of them maybe trying to hop out now that we've lost the midpoint, but I don't think we can do it without volunteering shots. Again. He'll hop out next time. That'll be the his goal for the rest of this Oh, game. this is interesting. I'm surprised by the plus-plus shifting it to making the two along with it. It's given up the midpoint. No, that's strong. Very I mean, you know, yeah, you've yeah. still got, now you got a landing space. I didn't even... Uh, it seems to me like that's pretty clear, actually. Three in and then... Yeah, this is a Brian play here, and I don't think it's too bad here. A, There's big a upside. Brian or a Ryan? Uh, Ryan likes to slot the bar whenever oh, he gets a chance, I but he knows he's been doing it too much, so he plays simple here. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I. It's Ooh. not. This is a really tough play here. He's supposed to hit Hi, loose Dennis. and bury to the hey, ace. Apparently. Let me get a Howdy. It's the only thing that doesn't give up a point, I suppose. So. He could just play behind entirely and give up the eight, but it's going to be really hard to get the midpoint home that way. And wow, Dana finds this best play. The six to one is just, I don't know how to do that. I haven't learned that trick. Six. To, oh, yeah. Well, he had five checkers over there. So anyway, and uh, he, yeah. he overran the position with double sixes. So, you know, you don't, I'm sure if he had a choice, he wouldn't stick another guy in the ace point, but he really didn't. Right, right. Either of these deuces seems fine. 13 to 11 seems like it yeah, that seems helps like build the bar a little better. Dana would like to get into a race, and uh, Ryan doesn't want him to, so. Yep, he's going to hop out and go for freedom again. Yep. Still has a huge racing lead, even after being hit. Oh, we got a question whether or not it's a cube in the background. I was thinking, I mean, with 40 pips down well, the Ryan's race, I wouldn't be thinking about, about it. But it is a sizable one. Okay. He's thinking Very about it, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be one. It'd be like an easy take. It's like a 100 cube and a 200 take, according to the analysis there. That's impressive. Mm. Good find by Ryan. Yeah, he has the better board. Well, I guess he doesn't have anything out, out, of, out of play, so that's probably right. why. It can develop a really nice position. I mean, he rolled a brick, though. Yeah, yeah. Now Dana owns the cube for the rest of this thing. We gets to ride the roller yeah. coaster for cheap. Yep. When he doesn't like claim the game immediately, though, Ryan still has great contact, right? He's Step never up. out of this. Yeah, game he's got great contact, but you yeah. know he's gonna probably have to hit loose to you know uh, consummate all that. Yeah, and that yep. that's gonna be risky. I think it. I it seems to me clear to step up, but uh, you're trying to. The other guy's got three bag. You got one bag. You want to race, so I would step up. Although, of course, you know yeah. you're going to be a marked man over there, and you better have your life insurance paid up. <laughs> but um, there's just no room anywhere else, right? We're like so nearly out of time, and we're at risk of crunching every roll, and we just have to spend everything from the back here. I mean, we have plenty of pips to spare when we're attacked. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. I I think I'd step up. This is the type of thing we're going to see Dana do a lot. He'll yeah. think about his. Two alternatives for quite a while and before he makes a decision. And on the other hand, Oof. Ryan will make a decision a little quicker. Yeah, this is tough. It links up with the midpoint, but we don't really like giving up the contacts when we're this far down. So I would have had a... Now, Dana, this is, he's happy here. He's got the cube. He's got the dice. And uh, Five, three links he's up got two. a lead in the race. Look at that. It's yeah, almost like place. dice are trying to give him this game. Oh, oh, I thought that was boxes. That was going to tighten things up if it was. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Double now fours. Now this is the worst conceivable yeah. sequence. <laughs> and this is cashable even with the recube and a leading score, I'm pretty sure. I think we're going to move on to seven away, four away. Yep, there he banged it out there. He He's going to make it hard to reach, that. too. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pull it back a little further, Dana. I don't know. I can just <laughs> when Neil throws it out there, it would hit the board and spin. You know, <laughs> Neil does Who's that. Not if you want, Chris. We got one more mic for you. What's a race? Bad. Thirty-two up there. One fifteen to eighty-three. 
It's on the board there. It's on the board? On the, yeah, oh, okay. On the top right and bottom And left. who's doing that, Rory? Yeah, Rory's doing the transcription. Yeah, no wonder it's fuzzy. And it's... Uh... <laughs> well done. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, let's blame Rory for that one. <laughs> well, maybe that's... Oh, I put on my glasses. It's not so fuzzy. Okay. Three double pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was fast. Ryan gonna let it go. Oh, and Dana was nice. He only took one point. Uh, he already had one point. He just hasn't taken the next two. Oh, he had one already. Yeah, yeah. He won the first game. Yeah, I don't know. That was too long ago. I guess I, I can't see, remember. I, <laughs> <laughs> I need another cup of coffee, please. That was too long ago. You've been along, <laughs> alive like a very long time, huh? <laughs> yeah. And his plan is zero. Right? Yeah, amazing. No mistakes, apparently, on this ply level, anyway. And Ryan, just with some little technical thing in the opening, was still anyone's PR game for sure. It's unlikely that that point zero three four equity loss is going to decide the match, but we'll see. You know, I was talking to Ryan just before they started this, and he played a one point something in the last match. And I said, "What'd you do? Roll perfect?" He said, "No, I spent the whole game on the bar." I said, "Oh, you got blown out." He <laughs> says, "Yeah, that's a pretty good thing in this format." You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you get destroyed. <laughs> and so he played a one point something. Neil played a three, and uh, you know, like you don't need to win. You just that cemented the win for him. Yeah, apparently. Makes the five points, okay. A little bit stacky, still an attacking structure, so I don't think Ryan's really under pressure to split. Gets a nice pointing roll instead. Yeah. And with the trail in the match, he's going to be thinking about cube soon. Probably not after this. Is Dyna going to make the anchor or come six to five? I think making the 23, 23 is worth yeah. a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like uh, he wants to get up there. He can, um, I guess, always do that with the other thing. Here's Marty. What do you think, Marty? Fun to play for black here. Yeah. I'm inclined to play like a split with a one and think about a two. He's got a guy on the bar. Let's oh, bring oh, that guy one. in. Oh, yeah. white's two one. Oh, white's two one is 23 and five looks reasonable too. I guess maybe only nine in the zone. We're not so afraid of being attacked. But look, see, Dana's like, as predicted, he's taking his time. So, uh, I would have leaned towards the anchor, but I don't know. I, I like going six to five. Too. If you take the twenty-two point, guys on the eight point, right? Six point. Yeah. Damn and lit. Yeah, it's start playing with three blocks here with uh, six to five, and he uh, one attack loose fan, but a cube bounce roll. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a little too too cute maybe. So, um, and uh. He's got some flexibility with other guys, but he's he's found the going to the twenty three points so far. Yeah, so so the the problem with this is a self blockage, but the good part about it is what Dennis said. Oh, look at this! And, uh, loose to he would have got destroyed if he didn't make that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so he's even guessing right, and he's, he's playing a zero and he's guessing right. Look at this! Who needs this? Go six to five and just roll aces on your next shake. This game's over too. All right, it's gonna no. be four to nothing. Oh. 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 Well, yeah, yeah it looks playable. Well, it's, Ryan's got some pretty good structure in front of that. Pretty anchor. close. Yeah, he does have a decent He's block. Got the best of it. I don't think. Score has some influence. If he gets a five, it's all over. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, he can yeah. still hit. He can come in on the five. You still have a guy back behind the four. Corner. What does that thing say over there? The fuzzy thing double, that Rory's doing. Take. What, yeah. What's he's about what sixty some percent in yeah, the almost seventy one percent from the position that's strong. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, yeah. no double is or is seventy percent. Seven, like yeah. point seven one two. Okay, but that's just the equity. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, no, the equity is a point oh six on the error. So it's, yeah, it's so not you, to double. Not to double. So it's right to double. And yeah. Pass yeah. Is a, a point. Uh, point yeah. It's two a, nine. So even at this leading score, we can send it because of the gammon threat here. Yeah, he's this not going to get gammon a lot himself. Yeah. By the numbers, it does look the like it's still a easy. take for money, too. For the take is easier than the double. Well, the take is harder for me than the double. I would instantly double. Think. I would instantly. 
<laughs> yeah. And you would instantly say, hey, that's what should happen, you know? Right. Regardless right. of the instant. I would have to think about the double. And I, I would do about. neither <laughs> of those things. <laughs> you would not double and you would pass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, you're a little inconsistent. Definitely, <laughs> I just wanted to disagree with these guys over here. Yeah, NDP is a valid, valid. Um, no double pass. <laughs> but, well, you know what? For this UBC thing, I think what we need is some, one screen for the board and one screen for that uh, XG analysis, uh, or at least, yeah. or maybe you should just minimize the board and make the XG analysis bigger. But, yeah. But seriously, you know, he's got three points, and if he takes a four cube in Look at that. some time, Hard he to can reach win again? the match perfectly efficiently. And Ryan gonna wow. drop it. Wow. wow. Okay, that's point gonna hurt. Two, three, yeah. yeah. Point two three here. So I think that one's gonna. Is uh, still playing a zero? Wow. Yeah, that could that be the hard. PR yeah. race there. He was before that roll. So he's gonna need a lot of help from wow. Dana to not go down two zero right off the bat in the first match here. And Dana is not not a helpful gonna, guy. He, no, he <laughs> he's not a first responder. <laughs> He'll beat you so so the textbook players hit. Yep. With the lead, it I is. If it's different. It's not making that two point. Lead, I'm going. To, I might run. It's yeah. a reasonable idea. All right. I mean, the, the reply to a five. Seems like he's apparently right here. That's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, I know that one score, too. The score matters. To, yeah, of course. Sometimes of course. six. You know, taking a two versus hitting loose versus running is very close anyway. It's still, the, score, the score can make a difference. Very deep understanding of the game to have that in the bank, though. He's probably studied it. I mean, yeah. You know. Oh, I guarantee you that he has. Dana goes through his matches, all of them, one move by one move. He doesn't look at his mistakes only. Yeah. You know, he goes right down the line. I try to teach people to do that too. You need reinforcement of the things you're getting right, whatever level you're at. You know, absolutely. All these things. So. I mean, you know, a lot of stuff. You, I, for me, uh, a lot of stuff. I look at, and I just assume I did the right thing. But you know, you forget how hard you thought about, you know, something coming up with that. Yeah. And it would re give you positive reinforcement. I like this bar slot. Good two duplication. Tempt them to come off the yeah. anchor with the weaker board. The poison pawn play. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't hit with a two one, Black. <laughs> Don't hit hard anyway for yeah. sure. Okay. Now Dana wanna roll a six three here, right? That's then he can mess now up. Now he's rolled a four three. Oh, that's a hitter. I think it hit. Now four to yeah. zero. He and that duplicates he might be tempted to attack except a small disadvantage by yeah, these plays, anchoring up. These plays are almost tied. Wow. Oh, they're almost tied okay. Are they? So they so the, yeah, so they're tied on the XGR plus plus. And it just so happens to duplicate two, so I would definitely hit, but I, anyway, it's interesting that they're it's it just a, gives it's up a coin flip, huh? Yeah, they must be pretty close for money too, but it gives up a lot of gammons so, for yeah, the wins, so Dana, and so we just Dana play tight here. It makes yeah. a principled principled yeah. uh safe play with a lead yeah. where he's this, hardly ever going to double. Sure. Yeah, that's neat. This is easier to play. Yeah. The continuation. That's true. He'll get he'll, he'll make fewer Dana, They'll make fewer PR errors from here, but that could be a, that might be the deciding factor if you leave the XGR plus plus that it's a very close decision. Also, making well, let's see if there was one of the plays that was likely to be wrong, I guess it could have been more that he just wants to play. run with this, huh? I guess he could put it in front again, but it's such an even that, race that that's scary. Uh, that was, uh, now, he yeah, got, that's he a big one for that. I don't know what yeah. he, got, he got dinged for that. No, I, I wouldn't do that because yeah. it's hard to get away. Yeah. Just because Black has a blot in his board. Wow, and that so, was bigger than uh, Ryan's cube mistake. You don't have a good team. Yeah, it, Really? Yeah. What was the play? I mean, now he was want... supposed to break the eight point? I uh, know, probably wish, bar and one, but breaking the eight point is okay, um, too. Oh, oh, he doesn't have three. oh, oh break the eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's bar and one is close. There's but, yeah. no, uh, but leaving the anchor, you just can't do, oh. right? Like, it's an even race. If he was ahead, maybe. That's what he did, but I it would seem natural to me. So now, I guess... Oh, guess, Ryan, what did Ryan uh, miss he here now? Like that, that running play. Either. Ryan missed the cube after that apparently too, so he's not really uh, catching up in it. No. Created a situation and he's lost his market now too. So okay, okay. All right, Dana throws Ryan a bone. 
Yeah, but, but then uh, but you said Ryan missed a cube. Yeah, Ryan yeah. gave it right back, and you're yeah, up Dana, to like a high Dana, six now. Dana, Apparently, you made two blunders. Dana. Yeah. How big was the cube? I didn't get to see all the details on it. We kind of scooted by it. Okay. But probably after running, maybe he's already supposed to send it right there with the threat of attacking. You know. Yeah, just because you're ahead of the race and your opponent has a blot in the board behind your anchor yeah. doesn't mean you should break your anchor. That was interesting. Yeah, he wasn't ahead in the race. And either. he did it yeah, back. I don't even know if he's ahead in the race, right? Yeah. And so that's the value of being able to contest. Oh, look at this. Yeah. This game, Ryan's really playing good. <laughs> yeah. He rolled 6 1, double fours. <laughs> Is this the third game? Uh, no, it's got to be a. Fourth, at least the fourth. Oh, so it's been, a, been a many. Uh, Dana won two, one, moves. and one. Yeah, that's the fourth. Uh, fifth game, I guess. So, down in the race, we're just going to run. I don't know what else there is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you protect yourself against getting squinched. All right. On the, four, the other four point. Four, three, I think. Such can go that. attack, yeah. And Ryan again with the racing lead there. I think he's missed another so cube I, at six away. Till Dana right? rolls a seven. Yeah, he must. It must. He must have yeah. missed it. And now and this now looks like a pretty he's clear pass. Probably hash, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so right. he's just behind a and little bit on these. And so he, for it. Yeah. he had he a like double he before he pointed on him with the four three. Uh yeah, he's borderline too good after that. But this score, that's oh. just huge. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Because yeah. he gets the priming. Equity and the race, yeah, well, well, point and the threats. Is... Uh, so that position race and threats deal, huh? Mm, yeah. All right. Well, we, nobody knew that until 40 years ago when Joe Sylvester suggested it. <laughs> yeah, the thing about position race and threats it's hard to determine what you mean by positions. What do you mean position race and threats? What does position mean? Yeah, yeah. That's who's got the hard, best position? Yeah, that, well, that's <laughs> okay. that because of your threats or because of your race. You know, yeah. you could conflate those. Yeah, that, my position is better because I'm ahead in the race. Right, yeah. Typically, just stacking up the seven you want to do here. Bar points way better than the ace. I like this. Yeah, this is um, this is probably just much better. Everyone can make the best point. Yep. Now you, you can you can think about doubling this even at the score. Yeah, probably. You can think about it, but nice but now that the opponent has five point, you have a pointless board. You probably yeah. shouldn't, even though you're behind the match play. Eight, no. Eight, no. Eight, and uh, oh, can okay. you step up? He's down, down in the race. He steps up under the gun, but where else would you play the three, I guess, to the three well, point? Well, it says, it says stepping up is, is wrong by, by a little, and coming down to the ten is better. Something provocative. Than oh, that's, the anchor, you know, yeah, yeah that's uh, putting a blot on the other side of the board where he doesn't necessarily want to break his anchor to hit anyway, so that's so... One of the natural plays that the computers do, yeah, and people never think of. I mean, well, lots of people think of it if they know that threes are duplicated, right? Uh -huh. Take points up front and to hit off that anchor. Mm, yeah, and yeah. that you have a, a better quality board than your opponent does. You have a five point. The Plus, other, besides, only if he was bringing that three down, it's one of the stack checkers on the uh, midpoint. So anyway, but if you can just roll sets and make points right he stripped right. his eight point is this enough threat of five way three way i think we should be thinking about it again i like this is probably i don't know that was a good shake for dana i don't think yeah. i would have doubled at that point yeah but i might be a lot double of right now he's so gonna he step up much. might well he, he's got to step up he, right and given that ryan did not double the previous game when he had a blot on a desirable point for ryan to make might induce him to step up even if he thinks stepping up is wrong because oh this is like the other position when he didn't double i'm afraid of being doubled so i'll make a position like the one in which he didn't double yeah and this is uh, why i think stepping up i think maybe playing fast is not so good because ryan gets into a, a mode and he's missed a couple of doubles apparently in these last couple of games that i you know frankly i wouldn't have thought about doubling at those positions but yeah. if you're in that mode or in that flow and you keep on playing and rolling and you're moving fast you just keep on missing it you know uh now dana is going to think about this for a long time but here's what i know about dana he sees he's got a problem in a position he fixes that problem he says i can't get out from the ace point so i'm going to end up 
He's gonna end up on the 21, I believe. Because that's just his style. And I don't know that necessarily no. right or wrong, but that's where he needs to go to get out of here. And that, you know, that's his game plan, I think. You know, get out and run. I, I would be thinking of how do I induce my opponent not to double me if I can at all. If that's the case, then maybe five to four is he ace? Oh, or no, he's got a three, three left. Three. Okay, well, he already well, played the ace. Okay. I, I believe that Ryan actually will double this. All right. And well, he's had plenty yeah. of time to think yeah, about it. Yeah, that's right. And Dana's and Dana already decided snapped it up. he's going to yeah. take it, right? Yeah, and they, well, Dana's already not regretting not that decision. Uh-oh. Yeah, find a better play. And I, I guess... <laughs> So so Dana Dana did not incur any penalties for his his action with the checker or the cube. Yeah. So that's a clue that he followed the advice of Mary Hickey. When in doubt, make the best move. Best technical move as opposed to the best. Oh, interesting. Conjectured well, opponent factor move. Here. I think that's a cool idea. <laughs> yeah, because he's got a blot on the four point, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of it. I was and du duplicated, on duplicated uh, yeah. sixes and ones. Well, you got a broken three prime in front of you on that 18. Point sure, sure. Supply. It could be difficult to get by. Oh, now it is, boom, he solved that one problem. He's got his 18 point cleared, and he's got a next problem is to avoid a one six. And he avoided it. That worked. And now his next problem is to make the seven point. That's not a problem. Bingo. <laughs> That's a feature. No, it says it's only it's only better than by point oh oh six than yeah, nine, than, than, than uh, yeah. leaving the lot on the seven and bringing builders inside. But I would have made it seven point just because it's a six point prime. It's a little easier to close out. Dana's going. I wouldn't mind getting an ace in here someplace so I can move some pips on the other side of the board. We just now he says, shall I He's... shall I slot and risk being counter primed? Interesting. Why is this so bad? Yeah, I guess there is some risk of that, but it feels yeah, like mean, you're you're unhappy if he rolls one six or one four, for example. So mm. That's interesting. You guys can see that, and all the fonts were red besides the play that he made, apparently. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So he's just decided I'm not going to slot my one point. With, no one else can read prime. the red font either. People are saying in the chat. Chat. It's something with I don't know why, but Tara said she'll take the blame for it. I would have played like <laughs> Ryan did in this position. So that, now he's going to maintain maximum builders for the open one point. Yeah. Well, you know, everything was going Dana's way. It looks to me like he's rolling so bad he's going to just get gammoned up. And that's uh, now do you make three crossovers? The big question is can he lose the PR point somehow? It looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks pretty good for him to hang on to it. But he's, uh, you know, uh, now he's, he's two off and four to three. So that will be down six to four idea. after being up four to nothing. Oh, he's supposed to hit to try to save oh, so the yeah. Try to hit? Really? Try well, to well hit he's going to gonna give up so many gammons by letting wow. him play. Wow. Yeah. Well, and uh, the second best play is another hit, and the third best play is six is, to three, is six to three which, I, right which I didn't want to do because it leaves... Yeah. Does it leave more shots than uh, more block yeah. leaving numbers? you got a six four bad... He doesn't six seem four, to be thinking about it bad here, so that's it's about the same as the other way. Well, this is a thing where it's people little... just won't hit loose because yeah, you just think because, I'm because you risk I'm of losing, right? Yeah, right. But, and, <laughs> and, it, and the top two plays on the but, the, but White's, are White's hit. position is um, you have a high gammon value, and White's position is not perfect on the side of the board. Maybe it'd be, maybe it'd be different if he owned the four point already or something. Are we talking Small too loud, Bill? Them. Can they hear us out there? <laughs> Try not to talk over each other so much. Oh, okay. Measure, measure your comment. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. I get paid by the word. <laughs> <laughs> the 12 to 7 gets the ace crossover, I guess, is the idea into the board. But okay, they can't be too different. <laughs> I think 10 to 5 would be the wrong idea to get a crossover. <laughs> This early in the gammon save process. So we'll see if Ryan pays for that. In that last play, the two top plays both hit loose. And like most of us, he never that, considered that. That six, that one to 13 to 12 is probably inferior to eight to seven, despite the fact that it made a crossover, because your, your ones are going to hurt you rather badly, crossover terms. And. 
I've already got sixes to cross over. Interesting. Looks like that applies here. Play into the seven instead of into the five and wasting a pip. What, what has he got? A, f a, a five. 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 Yeah. Played the six in already. Yeah. Well, he's got an odd... Oh, okay. Yeah. Doesn't need to waste a pip yet. He's a pretty big favorite. I th Get think off the to yeah. save this. Yeah, it was and, uh, this and that's... If Ryan had hit loose, he'd still be on the bar. So and, I mean... and, you know, giving yourself good small numbers caters to your bad gammon saving event you know you you maximize your chance with the saving with the numbers that don't move you as far <laughs> forward as so fast well that's another idea now it's just clear to bear in directly the six he says i'm going to gammon you anyway after, after all two a couple of two ones in a row okay now it's four to three to two is correct giving 23 immediate gammon saving numbers and, and 10 to 9 gives only 17. The Marty heuristic of... You just remember that? You don't have to count it anymore? Daniel, no, no, I, I don't have to count it. Read my, read my article back a few years ago about how to figure this, these things out. This is equivalent to a 4-2 yeah. in the bear-off position. Right, right. right. This is a 3-3 three, three bear-off position. A minimum number to cross over here, minimum number to cross over there. It's like they, a minimum they, number right. to this off or that off. They could have just said no yeah. gamut after yeah, that. Yeah. This is no gamut. Two one was yeah. save. Yeah. Mochi pointed that one out to me, and I still just don't see it. I got to figure out how to actually use it. I uh, read my article. Okay. I'll, 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 or I'll, I can tell you. Give you a fast. Send it to me, man. Uh, I'll send it to you. Three away, three away. Okay. Yeah. The close match again. Everything going Dana's way. Then Ryan was threatening to get to Crawford, and now here we are, just in an even match. Very interesting. If you want to play it out. Well, that was a. It was an interesting thing. Dana stepped up, and he thought what he was going to do with the cube, and and while that, that happened, Ryan figured out he was going to double, and then went bang bang, and then Ryan just destroyed him with double threes. Now what are they talking about a hedge now? No, it's Rory <laughs> taking time on the transcription again. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> oh, poor Rory. Who's, what's going on over there? 5.5 .5 and 3.4? Yeah, it's in reach, but it's going to be tough for Ryan to catch up. Yeah. How well, do you Ryan make... might, might get the PR You know, he, he can still get the PR point in some variations, and he can win, he can win the match in a lot of variations. I'm, I'm, I'll take Dana in the PR. I'm, uh, <laughs> he's leading now. Yeah. He's not going to give much up. But... Although, oh, it swung decision back now, double, the momentum. And does he take? <laughs> you know, that's the question for me. Is it? It's, it's actually... This seems difficult to you pass. you sure it's a double? Yeah. Huh? At three yeah, away, three ways. Three 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 three. It's an instant double, and he says, oh, I'm, I'm cautious to double. He has a big chunk of it back. Uh, okay. He'll need a few more of those from Dana. Ryan does to catch up. Two, four. Yeah, this does... Well, he's not on the roof now, so is it a pass still? I don't know. Maybe. It, well, it's a, XG says XG yeah. says big. XG says it's a pass, but yeah, I, mean, I think it's a rather obvious pass. Yeah, okay, Brian can find this. Let's it go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. Dana just lost his market and incurred a penalty. He's but now he's up at the low fours. Yeah. So Marty would be leading the PR, you guys, I, in this. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I yeah. made some. You're wrong about that. I wouldn't oh, necessarily. Oh, he doesn't this match. score three way, oh, two way. Match. That's oh. a small mistake. I'm not playing. I'm sitting here talking. Yeah, it's easier to do that. I'm not sweating bullets and uh, choking and whatever. Big All right, here run. we go. That's what I want to do. Oh, Dana is playing really good this game. I think he's still go for the perfect four. Even if he point. makes the third best play, he's going to have a superior yeah, position. I think Paul Weaver taught me this to make the five and three positions like this. Yeah, the but default says, play I is will, twenty-one. I will. Uh, it is thematic to be a bit conservative. How can it? At, how can you away, not away. make the five point with that? I mean, I don't care what else you do. It's because this is the play you make with double threes so often. But uh, okay, yeah, understandable to me anyway. Yeah, it doesn't communicate well with the four. There's a lot of problems with it for sure. Six five. Now all it really wants to do is run off the anchor again. Uh, maybe this early in the game it can be okay. May want to. But, but yeah, I'm not sure. Twenty one ten is best. Yeah. So he plays down to the bar and hits instead. Two six from the bar. 
Yeah, the anchor's right. a little prime right, right, right now, too. Or we're off the anchor. Can't see. What do we have? I think this can. Five six one. Now Ryan. Ryan has. Ryan is now. I guess that that six five was a blunder or something. Uh, wasn't that big, but it was a sizable mistake. I think this has turned into well, what, an attack. What do you mean by sizable mistake? Uh, maybe like fifty or sixty. I think. That's oh, that's yeah, that's 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 sizable. Yeah. Yeah. So now that the VRs are virtually tied. Wow. With Ryan yeah. having a point one lead. Both well higher than their a... usual range too. Another tough decision. The four is the I problem. Huh? I suppose you hit you hit with the two. Yeah. Back there. We just. Said, oh, okay, okay. This is a way to do it. To... It'll be there later, Dana I'm said. I'm going to try to um, take points with my builders and take advantage of the fact that he has a blot on the board. I mean, that's that theme sometimes is good, but here it wasn't. Well, all it saved you was not having to play 10 to 6 after you hit with the deuce, but you broke in the 10 anyway and made more blots out of it, so I'm not sure what you gain well, you, hitting 10 days. You gain, like, okay, if he hits you, then you have more shots back. And if he doesn't hit you, you have more builders. That's Meanwhile, you, that's this, gain, is, but it's bad. this is a brick. Uh, I can hit loose. So Dana, yeah, it seems yeah, like Dana it fits the game plan, right? Why not? That. Yeah. So Dana's behind on here. Mm hmm Wow, I didn't think that he was going to be able to give up enough. It's interesting always to see, too, that Dana's, uh, g like, the equity he's given up is less than what Ryan's lost, but Ryan's had more decisions, apparently. I guess it is right. Just spank away, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't see many yeah, other okay. options. We could clean everything up too, but it just feels pretty passive in this position. Thank you, sir. May I have another? And twenty-five percent of the time, you get a fan. Uh oh, this ace isn't going to be too good. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Don't create another block. Sure. And break. Yeah, I guess we're going to make the bar point now. I don't know. I don't or know. we can hide something behind, but I'd rather have something in play. He's just going to tuck a block behind instead. Okay, they're very close. They're very close. But finding a lot of small inaccuracies in this, season, this game, which just yeah, costs I, you a lot against this strong yeah, player. Yeah, no, a small error, a <laughs> PR of six, then then a small error might actually gain you, you hurt, well, help your PR. You know? It started mm. with a really tentative way yeah. he played those double threes. That was like yeah. a powerful roll, and he found the... And now the weakest way to play is telling it. us that he can let this go at three away, two away, but this is a difficult cube to find with no points made. All we have is this garbage outfield prime, but we have four checkers trapped behind it, and Dana completely out of time, maybe about to have a fifth one behind it too. Yeah, the the four checkers, Ooh. the f position of the four checkers pass? is very important. Yeah, at the score, it's a double pass, it's clear double important. for money too. I guess um, probably on the double borderline it, for money. If he has right, the four on the twenty-one point is a very bad yeah. feature of Dana's position. I would really, skate past. How really big of a pass is it? One eighty-five. It's a big, big. A big pass yeah. according to XG. Wow, I could make this mistake pretty and easily because I, I wouldn't be thinking of sending this at a normal score. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's twelve hips ahead on the pip count. Um, Black is Ryan is so that's yeah. another factor. He's got, in a sense, he's got position and he's got race. It's just so overrun, yeah. yeah. And and he, I wouldn't say he has threats because they all are involved with position and race. You can't say a threat is your positional advantage and whatever. But position, race, and threats, you've got, you know, you've got your two out of three, and score is another factor, and the score is against taking. Marty, what's your article called, people are asking? My article is called what? Which one? The one oh, on, oh, the one uh, on the Gammon Saving. Yeah, yeah, Gammon Saving. I, I, and he I forget takes it. what I forget what it's called. It's um, you Dana can, took. You can if you're a premium member of Dana the US took. Back that's going to make him play a six. Reference it on right? the electronic copies it's of Prime Times, right? And you can just slot with it too. That's amazing. That's a hard play to find too. <laughs> PRs are in danger here for sure. I'm tempted to just make the five or something, but I can't see hitting and slotting. Why not? I guess because uh, the board's so gappy, and you're just going to yeah, enter high anyway. It, okay. It's... Yeah. So what? What was the? The only thing the that would stop you from Ooh. doing that is fear. Look High at this. Four is a real disaster. Yeah. That's yeah. Out, and so I guess we just have to clean up. But he's going to play pure instead with the blocks behind. The yeah, what a confusing well. position this is. Well, it's a sixty-two mistake. Yeah. So. 
It's just too loose given like the prime in front, how many checkers back loose. you have I think already. I would just lift it myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not the plan. I don't know how to navigate this game though. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a pretty good. I mean, it, it gives them um, six some fours, ones and twos hit and fives, threes and twos cover. There is some score influence on this potentially as well. It looks like he wins 7% more games. Oh, me? And 14% yeah. so gamma right score now? that he wins too. Or uh, loses, yeah. We got... Okay, I'll come yeah, so I think for money you have to play 13 to 9 here. And this is just like a gammon save decision. I would be thinking 13 to 9 here as well. Just uh, we have the four point board and why not try to win? It's hard to see those numbers on there. But if I'm reading that right, I think that's what's going on. Five out is for sure. All right, I know you guys are going to miss me, but I got to go play. Of course, we're going to miss you, Ray. <laughs> Good All luck. Right. Uh, make it quick. <laughs> Get back here, you know. <laughs> it's scary to leave four numbers to hit where there are two different numbers to cover blocks. Yeah. Especially when you do not want to be gammoned and losing that. Really wish I could read that better. But he says, I am going yeah. to play purely and strongly, and I don't care if he hits and covers. Or is he should probably just run. Because he's good. Oh, interesting. We'll see. That, that gives send... him a 15 pip. That gives him a 15 pip uh, hmm. lead with um, eight on roll. I'm not sure what, what the bot said about yeah, I didn't the see position either. to run. The fours are going to cover in slot. Okay, that's a, I mean, this is a pretty good result for Dana in this position. Didn't have too much trouble escaping. Didn't end up with five checkers back. Yeah, the race Happy is now the race is now even. Yeah. You know, Ryan possessing a slight advantage because he's unrolled. The way this game is gone, I think when he sees that it was a big blunder to take that, he's going to be very surprised, right? It feels like oh, I just had a holding game. Why? Yeah, they <laughs> they get into the flow of the game and they yeah. play fast and they have they're confident in their decisions and you know this is. The question is the two. He comes out with a five, obviously. Yeah. Should, he, should he leave it there hoping to make the 16-point next turn? Probably not because it's more dangerous. But Maybe he's maximizing contact in some way to stay there, too. Oh, yeah. he can lift there. Nice. And leave uh, just... He can leave no shots back. Okay. Why not just... No, shot, no yeah. shots with 13 to, 13 to 12. No, this... this Race was getting this close. Makes, this, that's less flexible. That's less flexible because your six is... You only have a spare six, 13 to seven right now. Yeah. Two six closes the board. The three, three on the 10 is not a good feature for Ryan. It's a builder, but he would have had a builder on the 11 the other way. Yeah, but his goal here is just to play quiet race. But, come but, home that way, mostly. 13 to 12 was a quiet race as well because you could clean up easily and you couldn't, you had more good numbers, etc. That's forced. All right, now he's and under now some gammon the double for the match. for the gammon. 6-2 for the possible 6-2 is a good start. 5-5 five, five, the only five, return for, five the for the for the win. <laughs> 2 for the... For the uh, Saves a lot of gammons the, anyway. 2 for the gammon save and maybe maybe a lucky win. Bad 6. I suppose 4-3 to three and let him crack and maybe not leave a shot next turn. I'd be thinking about just coming in for the race. You've got 6-5 is a block too. number. And is anything a blot number there? No. There were no blot numbers after 4 to 3, and there's a 6 5 blot number after this. I mean, if I had, if the timing, there were no timing problems, I might do this just to, just to get, just to clear my beautiful. Now he should, he should, he should clear the 7 point. Yeah, it's the harder point to clear. 5s and 6s both come out anyway. Get some upswing on 5 1. Double ace, he keeps his five point board and he keeps the tanker. Now, six one is a block number, six four is a block number. Five one's five gonna one wait. is not a block number. I believe that's the right way to play it. Wow, and this was not the start it looked like at the beginning of the match, but now Ryan winning the PR and maybe the favorite to go on to a 2 0 lead in this match in game one. Surprising yeah, he, can, stuff. he could win some undeserved gammons, as they call him. Yeah, when he doesn't, he should be going to Crawford with the lead. And he wants a double six now. Not one five four, but yeah, no after choice the, in the matter. After the closeout, there's maybe ten percent gammon, something like that. Pretty low. <laughs> That's gonna all but erase the gammons. Now I believe he's just gonna run away if he can. Yeah, because all right, 
I might hit much later after I crack my board and I might get pointed on and lose. Thinking about that now, I'd, yeah. I'd bail out of there. No shot levers, so... Bail out of there. It might make Ryan, so it's going to force him to do something a little bit different with the deuce, at least. Well, he's going to go three to one and minimize yeah. blood numbers. Give three builders to attack should Dana choose oh, to stay Rory there. Rory put in the wrong play here, so we're going to wait a second for him now. Okay. Now is a good time to say the title of my article that people were asking about is Saving the Gammon on the Last Roll. It's in primetime backgammon back in... Summer 20. Summer 2017 issue of Primetime Backgammon, available electronically to premium members of the Federation. Mm. U.S. Backgammon Federation, that is. <laughs> the Federation on its own. The Federation of Planets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he says, all right. <laughs> now it's apparent that I should try to, try to run and win a, win a race. That always bums me out that all that Primetime stuff is, like, hidden behind a paywall and not everyone can get to it, you know? Like, hard to find that way. Yeah, you have to be a premium member of the U.S. Back End for Russia. I'm sure there's a, yeah, I'm sure there's a ton of good stuff in there though that like a lot of international players just don't oh, see. Oh, it's really we worth. Get to it. It's a good magazine. I, I, I'm I'm the executive editor, so I'm unbiased, of course. <laughs> I write articles for it too. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah. <laughs> I won't let those semicolons masquerade for m dashes. Yeah, we're got talking about here is a professional content writer for a big Fortune 500 company, Richard Stubbe. He's going to help me a lot. Hmm. But yeah, I see the chat talking about who had the more difficult side of the decisions in this match. Some saying like Dana's mistakes were both, a lot more both understandable. Of them did, had, but I seen think they, uh, they had... Ryan's cubes kind of got coasted by, but I thought Dana. So I think Dana did have a lot of harder plays that are very understandable miss, but the running off the anchor actually is a big surprise to me. That one felt like like not a play I would expect him to see or expect he to see must, from him. He must have thought that racing was was a great game plan. Could be, could be. I don't know. But both of them, I don't feel like playing their A game right now at all. I think both capable of much better and avoiding some I of these I think maybe mistakes. they're a little uh, excited about being in the finals. Yeah, it's also pretty early in the morning after. I think Dana had, uh, after his semifinals, early played a the, jackpot yeah. match too. They played a lot of matches, I guess, yesterday. Yeah. Ryan is uh, new to margaritas, too, so that could be causing some issues. <laughs> Waste, wasting away again in Margaritaville. Yeah. Five four can continue the blitz at this gammon go score. Two away, one away. Thematic. Thematic. Yeah. And then the blitz now, the gammon is all but assured. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't wangy. Yeah, why not? Gammon whammon. <laughs> Hammer on the theme, as they say. But Davis says, no, I, I wish to win the game, so I will not make a loose hit with only a few covers. But, but he says, I I think it's bad not to hit his XG. And Dana says, I want a little of this, a little of that, and Ryan's going to fan anyway. Now he's glad he did not hit. But now he should just make the five-point instant. Yep, and good lead this game. hope that the stacks of Ryan create a blot this turn. Now he must play 13 to 8. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so, because if you slot, then you've got to increase your gamuts a million times. Yeah, right? okay, maybe at the maybe score or something. I like the DMP play was going to be to slot. Yeah, and now, now Dana says, uh, uh, you want contact? <laughs> I'll give you contact. I love this Wide play. Wide open, sure. Yeah. I love this play. Duplicating the fours. <laughs> Double four would be so good, but... Uh, so here you go. He must, he must play eight to two, eight to six. Minimizing shots, sure. We started that plan, so why not stick to it? A lot of times, once you start to get stacky and burying checkers and things like that, XG likes to start to commit to that plan, I've seen. Dana says, I'll, I'll still maintain contact. I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is the right way. But... Reasonable? But it does look reasonable. 
Six is going to stack on the deuce a little bit, I think. But Yeah, I don't think he wants to leave any direct shots. Doesn't want to go eight to two four times. So it leaves the remains this 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 way to play it. Yeah. He says, well, I could point on him with a six. I mean, I guess he could hit loose on the ace or something Sit, like that. Hit I'm not loose sure. on the yeah. ace and... Well... Eight, Just looking at all eight, options. Eight, yeah. All right. Eight. It's good to look at all options, but this is... Is the right option oh, so i'm so used to being able to just like visualize what all those look like though that it's funny to, to me to see people shuffle checkers so much like they can't imagine what it would look like after the player or something i guess well it's good practice not to um not to shuffle the the practice, it helps your visualizing skills yeah everything if you practice it you get better at right yeah but you should look at things if you're in doubt Mm -hmm. the, the rules yeah. allow it. Yeah, sure it does help now he says i am going to gammon you sir by having mm -hmm. a five point board and making you leave a block the six three or something like that six one is a great number oh boy he says i'm going to gammon you anyway after i hit you with six numbers uh four numbers right? oh four because four three is duplicated yeah correct five two would have been okay and this has to leave a shot I guess the, we can reduce two, shots six to four. Is... Yeah. Well, I guess you. For you. Just a few less. Uh, two I shots think... less. Why not? This is two more numbers. Yeah. Do you have more ways to safety next turn? I doubt it. I... Off the top of my head, I say. The, the, the biggest factor is probably the number of shots right now. Yeah, immediate. Oh, field darn. Field. I don't want to break my five prime, do I? And Barry Acheco doing it? I mean, he really wants more contact. But coming you might, out. You might lose. You yeah, might I don't actually know. lose. By, 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 you better come out. Yeah. And all the gammon hopes are most. And, and there's, a, field there's field. a gammon trap of 6 4 right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, Mostly you, Ryan going to yeah, his could, board, he though. Could do it. He could do a trap play. Well, he has no choice. He can't, yeah, can't maintain a back checker. <laughs> He's hoping for some funny number in the front and then some small number and then some then a four one forcing him out or something. But now I should go two to one, I think. I know that's six. He does, well he doesn't want to he doesn't want to have a bad six five, but it may, it matters less because mm, yeah, okay. he's ready to crack yeah. the board because he's got bad fives eight to three. Yeah. And he's got and the six one absorbs one. That only mattered if he did not come out. Here he would have preferred to have a check on five rather than the four or whatever. Shall I, shall I stick around and... You might get a shot that? and win still. You saved all your gammons when you play the back checker into the board anyway. So, yeah. I don't think there's big risk in waiting anymore. Ryan's when off doubt, the gammon to me. Wait. Yeah. When in doubt, wait. It says 0 .008, but, but when in doubt, wait. And he must, he must not have been in doubt, or he must have waited despite being in doubt. I guess he can peel because he's so likely to have to run anyway. We don't have to worry about long-term safety when our opponent can just roll a six next roll. Any five or four is going to crack worse, and then how are we going to lose anyway? So... Yeah, this is... This is all but ensures your racing victory and, and uh, there, there are no double blot numbers for even if he stays and if he stays he might probably has to crack his six point then he rolled double ones who is dr nick is that me i don't know that one but... now now when in doubt stay so he's gonna stay because i'm not getting gammon very often i might yeah. get because getting gammon just often enough to run oh one four a difference yeah, these are in tricky favor. for me. Yeah. I, I don't always see the hope of the win with the three-point board, potentially four-point board. It yeah, well, you simpler, could, you could, yeah, you can win it the old-fashioned way just by just by winning the race. You know? Right, exactly. You could hit, and then that that improves your race, you know, and then you might mm, win the yeah. outfield. And, and uh, all right, so that is the right mm. move, I believe. I six five seems interesting too, but, okay. but six to five is all right. But this is. Probably slightly, slightly better. To... So likely to go on to DMP game with one more chance to Dana to, for Dana to catch back up in the PR race. But so far, Ryan's got it in this match. 
by a decent margin. Going to need quite a bit of help from Ryan. Taking off the early game, Rost and both of them playing a little sharper now. One massive blunder would do it by Ryan. Uh, it's hard. The decisions must be quite different. Like, just uh, catching up in the equity is different. So I think... I don't know how massive it needs. I can't tell from this. One massive blunder would, would, would help. I'm saying if, if Ryan makes a massive blunder in this coming game, he might lose a PR. Be. You know how... You know how funny DMP games can get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the PR don't matter. In the PR sense, I feel like the the equity swings tend to be a little bit lower, though. Relatively, I don't know. There aren't all these other like confounding factors like gammons and cube action and things like that coming into play. Four one at DMP. I think we can slot this. At very DMP, close, I would slot. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, the, it's funny, the book says, the XG book says it's right to slot, and, but, but you're, you're supposed to pass a cube at post Crawford if you have a free drop after making this play, according to XGR++. That's, uh, so that's kind of a funny Counter slot has some duplication, why not? Yeah, okay. He's counter, counter slot is normally, normally yeah. best there. This is but, so weird, Ryan, like, DMP, loves. DMP, I don't know. Ryan, lo of counter slot. Ryan loves to uh, slot the bar whenever he gets the chance, but in the opening, he's like a splitter, almost across the board with two ones and things like that. Uh, I think he learned that from three-ply, but I don't know why he sticks to it. He knows it's wrong now. It's just funny to me. Last match of yesterday, I was over helping Rory with the transcription, and he opened with a two-one split and looked over and gave me a wink. <laughs> 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 But many people must not have studied replies to a 2-1 split, you know. Here's an interesting decision. I'm quite tempted to make the 23 here, but it still wants him to slot. Um, I guess DMP, yeah, that DMP, makes some sense. You know, yeah. it's DMP, so you, you know, you don't, you're not worried about being gammoned. Yeah, against this structure, the 23 losing. can be so strong, though, at the made three-point. Yeah. yeah. You, stiffer, the stiffer, the worse, I guess, right? But he says, well, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna roll a big double, you know, double fives or something. ones, yeah, small double. Just so you guys know, just like all uh, week so far, the AP Live backgammon channel has a secondary stream, and we do have Kit Woolsey and Victor Ashkenazi playing each other in round one, 17 point match of a $1,500 super jackpot too. So throw that on them background too. So That's Ryan did one. slot there. Did find the slot, but but nice Nana found Punish the cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Nana and, and, they, and Ryan found the advanced anchor. Yeah, he ends up with a better position now as a result of it, even though Dana's rolled really well. I think he's still happy with his slot. He's happy. He was. He was. He's happy after that four two. Mm -hmm. Unhappy after the pit oh. Yeah, yeah. The, the happiness quotient is fluctuates. <laughs> Manically happy. Bipolar is good in that count. Ah, he's going to think about making the bar point because the blot's back on the 24. I would. My instinct would be to just clean it up. Wow, it's worth it though. Okay. I'd yeah, there's safe. some duplication. There's some there, duplication. He must be ahead in the race. There's also. We, the race is really good, DMP. We tempt our opponent to come off their anchor before they're ready with like a one point board. Dave, Dave is under a minute on the clock. Yeah, I've seen him manage that though. It seems like he's pretty comfortable in low time situations. Right. I don't he knows think how he to can spend it. To break the anchors, he lose too many, too many blots and shots. No, it doesn't feel like it's time. He's given, but he's given Ryan he's a decision. About it. Yeah, yeah. So it's so thirteen to four and eight to four, eight to three, about tied. Yeah. Right, uh, Ryan. Ryan's gonna look at both. My instinct would be to keep the spares on the eight and stay in front and all these things, but I guess we need a board as quickly as possible. What is this rate? Oh, uh, it's, it's on the right speed there. It's 22. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Dana's way ahead. Yep. That was a factor that argued for a safe play with a 6 1 before. Right, yeah, yeah. Now Ryan just has to. Just has to Beautiful to, shot. Just has to get that spare out. Beautiful shot. Dana just has to go seven to one. Yep, still has work to do to escape that anchor and cash in on this winning race, but definitely in the lead, Dana is. Uh, that'll change things. 
Um, Ryan must have to leave the anchor here with too close of a race makes, to stay I back. I suppose he makes the 16-point uh, better blockage. Yeah, better link back to the 17-point block that he has to lead to since he can't get that to safety. Uh, both seem strong. Oh, wow, but XG likes uh, the bar point by quite a bit here. Okay, the, so the bar point has got more outfield coverage. It blocks double fives mm. running from the back. Hmm. But but it blocks it blocks double fours. This blocks double four. So the only one must just have I guess when we uh, play thirteen to seven, we just have better contact with the mid in general, and we're still slightly down in the race. We want to keep that. I think we're going to get returns a lot when we get hit with a five as well. So it's just yeah, I think better contact is the main theme here. But for sure, we don't have time to stay back. Point oh one, it's oh twenty one fifteen thirteen seven twice, and then yeah. and then the second best play is Eight to two is make the two. make the fifteen and two points. And the yeah. race the race is oh he's still way behind in the race. Okay, I'm uh, not way behind. I think he's well, going to be six, down. Well, four sixteen with the other guy in roll. No, that's yeah, only that's not way behind, but I guess he's guess not he down was, sixteen, Marty. He's down four after the play. down. Oh, he's down four. Yeah. Well, that's I'm sorry. I saw the count before the roll. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So down, yeah. That's inter that's interesting. You've got a, you've got a, you, you, you pick the right theme, there, Nick. Thank you. It's more contact. I think lifting the blot with this close of a race seems worth it. We could continue the eleven too. Yeah, I guess our opponent has better timing issues, so I'm tempted to just make the eleven now. But okay, X, you want him to play behind as well. The fifteen. Yeah, or make, advance the thirteen. This seems very natural to me. He's, he's it would, be, it would be an even race, and he'd be minimizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but a race with the other guy in roll. Sure. Yeah, so Dana that, has so all was, the flexibility so issues, though. Was, That's why I want to do that. Threes, for example, is going to play pretty poorly the other way. But okay. All right, but that fixes everything. New favorite. He's, he, he's up eight, I guess, with with but with uh, Dana on roll, and now it's actually a close race, and the contact, yeah. the contact is probably a slightly favor of Ryan because although he can't fill his five point with Dana sitting there, Dana's gonna play for the race. Yeah, two out is a great That's shot. A great number. Eleven pips, and he gets out. A bad number. A lot for five. Probably seven to two for flexibility. Pulling a five next time. crossovers for Dana okay it's 10 to 5, 10 to, 10 to five was it was equivalent in my book mm -hmm. and now he's gonna play you win we could go to the four and the six two either way fine let's get a checker off my next roll more often yeah that's correct I believe he gets doesn't want to put a start on the two and he Maximizes for the four. Four would be a worse gap than the five for five and six. I believe five and six off the lights. Yeah, three sure off. Hop in. And it's Culpepper. Back in action. Featured on the cover <laughs> of the current primetime magazine issue. Alimated to the cover of the Rolling Stone. That's PCG. Had a great year last year. All right, and I think Dana's taking over the race on this one too. So the match win point will be very important, given up the PR. Now, now Ryan is happy he filled his one point last turn instead of reinforcing his five point. I'm there. An icky four one played six, okay. five off. Ryan right a little hope. An icky five one, mm. but. And now it would be icky if he rolled that slow numbers. Now uh, uh, three, to, three to two is right. Mm -hmm. Maximizes, min minimizes mean rolls to get off by a long, long, long tooth. Uh, that is the worst number, except for like two one or something. Wow. And the two, you know, two. Okay, now it's now. Any A's for a chance? Pass a double. 
Pass no, oh he won. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought he, I thought it was a one. <laughs> All right. All right, so okay, Dana's gonna get the score point, Ryan with the PR point to start it. And they might take a short break before we get on to the next match. But that's match one of three, so we'll be coming back to continue this shortly. Um but tie game so far with a small edge to Ryan since tie breaks go to that overall PR. Uh, both of them a little weaker than their averages, but they ground it down by the end. Um, I think we'll see some even sharper play as we go through matches two and three here. It's good to, to, to practice a little bit before you start playing in a tournament match. You know, like in the morning, you could, you could, you could play a seven-pointer or two against an XG. And that'll... And, there is a first game jitters factor, you know. A first game um, not being oriented to playing backgammon factor. I don't know if we're still on mic, but I'll act as if we are. They can't see this. No, I know. Yeah, I know they, they can't see the match on stream two. Which is Ashkenazi versus Woolsey in the super duper jackpot. Somebody was saying that he thought Victor was actually the world's best backhand player. Asked me what I thought, and I said, I have no idea. Who was thinking that? I don't remember who. It was somebody. Uh, Somebody good back on player type. Here comes Ryan back to the table. Oh, I think they can get the PRs quickly of match. Can they not by the morning? Or are we on mic? I don't know. Okay. So the players, do the players know their PR in each match? That's my question. Yeah, they both got to look at the computer there. Okay. I could also coach them for for uh, certain bad plays if they sneak up there and look at look at it move by move. I think the USBGF rules prohibit you know looking at things on a break, but I guess it's after them. It's they're not playing a match, so maybe the USBGF rules would allow them to look at the results of the last match before they play the next match. I think it would, but. We're not we're not necessarily playing USBGF rules on the for an international type ultimate backhand challenge event, but we probably are. We're probably it's probably tournament rules of the Texas backgammon championships, which would be the USBGF rules with a few options that the directors can opt, such as legal moves, ice on checkers count versus don't count. Ryan is swilling water, not margaritas. Hold the fort, Mr. Culpepper. Hey, I'm hanging around. It looks like uh, pretty much everybody's waiting for this match to restart. They're on a short break. They just finished up a uh, seven point match. Came in on the tail end of it, missed most of it as I was playing as well. So on one of the other streams, and I'm looking at it now, you can't view it from the stream you're watching, but if you 
I'm interested in toggling over Kit Woosley playing uh, Victor Ashkenazi in the round of 16 Super Jackpot. Not sure how long it'll be before these guys get back to playing, but normally it's uh, between matches. It's five or ten minutes break. It's normally pretty good. I haven't heard the numbers here. Did you hear how many numbers people were attending? Last I'd heard, they were expecting around a hundred in the in the uh, main event open. In yeah, yeah. So this should be a record for the San Antonio tournament. Probably in excess of 150. I don't know exactly where. That's total total players. A so great a great turnout. A beautiful venue. I myself had only been here once before. That was pre-COVID. So good to be back, back in action. Uh, Nick's back. Nick, did you hear the numbers um, for the tournament? Uh oh, how many are in the main? Yeah, you were the whole, the whole. Oh no, I didn't. I'll have to get that on uh, on once we get back to the main tournament. But it looks like we're coming back to match two of right. the UBC USA finals between Dana and Ryan. These are the final PRs of the first match: three point seven to four point eight. Rory showing us some of the blunders here as they go along. Yeah. yeah, this was Dana's big one. This was quite surprising. But did they roll it out for some reason? Uh, it looks like it said, Not like, sure. maybe he clicked that. That's funny. It would be strange if they did. But yeah, okay, okay. Uh, neither player's A game in that first match. We'll see what they come back with in match two. They seem like they're warming up here. But I, I was just talking as yeah. you were going. Uh, I think it's in excess of 150 total players, which... Uh, um, not pretty bad. sure it's a record for for this tournament hell yeah okay so how many in the open too like over 100 I maybe think, i think they were expecting uh at least 100 if not more so, that's really impressive so those are huge happy. us fields yeah yeah i heard that we filled out a 64 player masters jackpot and a 16 1500 dollars super jackpot which both are difficult to do at any tournament around too so uh super cool stuff that's really exciting uh, they're going to try play in the other direction. Oh, this is the direction they played last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who reversed it on them? Super rude. Makes sense for the, <laughs> makes sense for the viewers a little right. bit. Maybe they wanted to switch it up and Rory couldn't figure out how to do the transcription thing, you know. That's my prediction. But here we go. Standard opening stuff. Why not just run after this split? Okay. Four point board. I think we learned this in the first match if Ryan saw his opponent. Probably, yeah, three point probably. Yeah. I mean, we love to make an anchor and unstack, but when it makes the perfect four point board, we just have to take it. We have to go for that. And that'll be an asset for the remainder of the game. Ryan thinks he might have a cube even with the threat of hitting the four there. Um, and it is marginal. Wow, that actually surprised me. This is uh, pretty heads up to be thinking about this. It feels like I'd rather lose my market here since I'll only have nine in the zone even after the hit. And I don't hit that often. haven't done anything with my back checkers. My opponent must have a decent race and a comfortable game if I hand him the cube there and I miss. But that is a persistent asset, that four-point board. And so why is the slowdown and think about it? And once you make it early, that six to three for the last two, I mean, you're split. You get so much protection. And you split your back guys out to the bar, out to the five. Yeah, yeah. They get a lot of uh, protection. Right. Four point board over there. They yeah. have to tell uh, what has this red caution stuff. Yeah, like contact going to be dangerous. But uh, correctly navigates oh. that marginal decision. This is going to be maybe too good, actually, after this shake. Fours is very strong. Uh, how does our opponent get I back in this game? too good here. Yep. And Ryan already decided he's rolling on. 6-5, maybe the 5 can come down and the 6 in to not leave any fly shots, but okay. This is probably okay. If I don't, he yeah. hits him here, he can probably still cash. I think you're probably right. Yeah, yeah. And that's why the slot he can crack. Okay. Ryan correctly cruising, cruising to a gammon potentially in this game. It's hard to get into uh, correct two good positions, you know? But I think he's found one. Maybe going to slot the back because it attacks best. Yeah, 9-8 to eight is a good place to be. At least on the low ply anyway it's happy he's in but he's still in yeah 
Now it's just time tremendous to... Tremendous gamma jiffer. Just time to complete the threat now for Ryan, right? Uh, oh, could have played a little bit more flexible than making the six prime. It's a little bit over stiff. I mean, it's, his game plan isn't priming. It's blowing him off the board. You can make your ace here or come down with two. If you get closed out soon, uh, hitting your checker closer to home is better. Right. I would much prefer to yep, uh, spend some pips happened. saving gammons. Fives. Uh, oh, does it come around? Maybe just to uh, slow progress, he could switch to the ace and make the deuce. I'm not sure about this. Maybe because the cube hasn't been sent, but it looks like he missed a little bit on that checker play there. And this is going to save so many gammons that maybe Ryan should just cash if he still, plays in. I still think he's too good. I'm surprised he doesn't want to take the crossovers here, but it's... Yeah, I mean, if you just play to the three again... So now, uh, yeah, okay, okay. We still have a decent number of gammons, over 10% or something like that. But he needs to start closing out now. I Might think he should here. actually hit loose yeah, here, yeah. I would hit here. He really needs to slow progress down. Right, if he can if he can close him out with those five guys on the eight point and not having made his, any more points in the board is uh, gammon. This is another way to win a gammon? Yep. Get your opponent out to play an awkward four while you're back there. Pick up the extra checker. Not sure if I would do this go to the four point. I'd be inclined to go to the four point. Yeah, why not maybe get the better board? It might leave uh, yeah, a little fours. more shots. He can hit you off the ace with the four as well. So fours are already good. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Uh, uh, puts Ryan back in the board. That's... Uh, yeah, Ryan's on the bar either way. <laughs> He's not in him there. That's funny. Yeah, the upside a little nicer. They're very close, of course. Yeah, I mean, they are. It's a point, it yeah. point oh one. It tends to be the case when the game's like mostly dead either way, right? It's hard to make a big mistake. Yeah, this was uh, start was. I was confused. I saw the two, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Was entering to hit. Maybe they got confused about that. I think they caught that up now. Decides to leave less shots. Reducing always seems like a fine plan. I think you want to enter deep and put pressure on that block. Uh, oh, I'm not, not sure. Yeah. You could crack with fives or... I don't know. If we have cracking risk, then I guess we can just claim, yeah, too, I'm, you know? But I'm not sure. Fives I'd, be should switch to... I'd be inclined to not do this. I'd be inclined to go the other way. Very interesting. If he throws aces or... I don't know yeah. what else could make you wish you were there. Mm -hmm. Part 20, 10 to 9 by a little bit. And so maybe there's enough risk to just claim this and not enough gammons, too. I don't know, but Ryan's still rolling on. 2-1 can slot. just slot the front, sure, why not? Must be getting close to borderline on the two good decisions. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, big priming thread now. Yeah, yeah, just make two points. Yeah, the front it's ones. I don't three's think to cover, right. three's to escape. Yeah. So, I mean, this can't be too good anymore, right? No, I... Oh. I don't think he can take afterward, but not unreasonable. I don't think it's a take, but... No, it looks like uh, XG says he's passing regardless. But I mean, yeah. it would be, I think, a big mistake to roll now. Yeah, yeah, yeah and still a sizable it's pass. No double is how much. It's a point one yeah. five here. So and he's down to only 80-20 with only these 10% gammons. And it's basically yeah. a double whopper, not to, not to keep Right, closer. and it's less about the, the actual winning percentage in gammons and more about just that there's bad sequences now, right? Where, where Dana yep. can be right back in this. You're not getting the free roll that you had before to play on for the 10% gallons. Well navigated by Ryan, really. I think those fives was a fairly clear miss. I'm surprised he didn't want to do the switch there. Um, but but the cube action is pretty impressive to like spend so much time on the initial cube, which was like right on the borderline and just instantly know that he was too good and find the timing here when it's not too good anymore. Oh, yeah, they're saying primes are always takes in the chat, so how can this be a pass? <laughs> he doesn't win enough, not even counting the gamuts. Yeah, it's he's, not normal he's enough. He's an 80-20 uh, underdog for the game, and how often we'll see him. Look at the numbers over here. He gets gammoned about 11% uh, of the time. Yeah. And Dana's going to play this out. Wow, okay, wow. he thinks he's done enough to... Wow. Sometimes the instinct is that our opponent's just trying to claim and get out of playing a difficult game or something like that, and we want to make him play it. But yeah, Ryan maintains a six prime, still cruising, might still win a game here. He really easily. doesn't want to have to hit him now. He wants the opponent yeah. to roll. And he gets, uh, oh, he actually I, decides he does want to hit him. I don't know. I don't think I so. I would let him roll. I think you're right, yeah. I would let him roll. I think we want him to crack, yeah. We always have the attacking game plan later. 
sixes and five just to store him over here. Any six, any right. five. Really, like the best thing that Dana can do is uh, crack without hitting, basically. Is four one is going to take his best shot at that. I mean, he gives yeah. them uh, sixty numbers don't move over here. Five four. Yep. One five two. I uh, think double threes. Yeah. Do we? I don't think we need to make the closeout. Yeah, I'm not sure about. We could just out. cruise and try to hope to crack mm -hmm. and maybe pick some things. Yeah. So it seems like a small inaccuracy again. Yeah, he's missing some opportunities to just play for a little bit more here, but uh, not too big a mistake so far. Nothing that's going to overtake the decision to take this so far. And so, who won? Dana won the match in the first one, so 1-1. One, one. Um, one point for the PR for Ryan, and if he takes another PR point, he's going to be in pretty strong shape. Oh, he took a pretty uh, pretty big hit on the take there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the PR. Understandable, though. It looks like you have some priming vig and things yeah, like that. Yeah, and yeah. And the, the old saying, uh, you can, if you can see any chance of winning almost in a, in a prime versus prime. Yeah. I imagine part of it, too, he probably underestimated the, the gammon threat there. Maybe he thought he'd saved it all with all the work he'd done. Yeah. If there were no gammons and it was just an 80-20 game, then it's kind of, it's pretty close. It's a lot closer anyway to take it there. Nice save. And off we go. 2-0. So Ryan plays on for two points, thinks he gets to the point where he has to cash for one and gets the two anyway. Good result. <laughs> Taking a break. <laughs> Where two makes a point, okay. Natural to split the challenge that stripped eight point. Five two can reinforce it and split himself. Pretty even start so far. First big decision. I guess the two down isn't so bad for fly shots. Maybe we step up for the anchor and play to the 11? Probably 24 20 and 13 11. But yes. Yeah. He's pretty imprecise with how fast he moves the checkers. Yes. <laughs> Makes Jeff. He'd be a nightmare on a Jeffrey Parker. Yeah, anchor, board. anchor, and hit. <laughs> they have um, seconds left in this clock, but he's going to do it in a half a second. <laughs> up to the 22 for a better anchor seems strong here yeah yeah for infecting the nine point yep dana needs to cover to not be at a pretty big disadvantage in this game uh switching to the ace i guess i mean is all he can do with this roll uh, some blitzing is. value but not great play favor ryan side with the rack here uh enters makes the anchor dueling 22 points with better structure in front and Ryan not ahead in the race either, so even the priming idea is favoring him here. Eight to two and thirteen eleven. I don't think he's even. Oh, ball. interesting. I would have thought we just slot here. If we need to make that five seven, point to be to competitive. Eight to six is even better than this. Wow. Yeah, that's that's very. These strange. are close though. More covers, I guess, is part of it. Okay, and we like to have this. Actually, the two six. down was second place. I think. Yeah. There's a lot of plays there, more than the decision. Needs to catch up on some offense. Okay, so Dana with a little more priming value here. Yeah, 4 1, for example. Yes, that was going to cover the slot after the downplay, huh? This is 6 rough. to 5, 6 to 4, maybe? No shots, keeps the point. 6 to 5, 6 to 2, yeah. 15 to 8, though, okay. They're very close. I like your idea. Yeah. I think the we can't lift scenario. 5 to 4, though. I'm trying to decide that, but I don't even see a playable 4 with it other than stacking the 4 taller. Um, so there's, there's threats for Ryan here, but they're not so big. So he takes a roll, mm -hmm. seems reasonable. That's going to play two behind. Maybe it's a moment to, I guess we're not coming off the anchor. Oh, he's going to take the opportunity to leave. This is a little bit too big, though, in such a close race. And especially when Dana has such a nice blitzing mm -hmm. position, right? And he's going to be given the, he the wants the attacking point up soon as well. And the priming's not a risk, so we don't really need to hop past it. Yeah. 
This is a big overplay, and it's going to uh, let Dana back in the PR race for sure. Close now. Now he's really under pressure to, to connect. Yeah. But connect a big improvement if he gets to. So the 4-2 is a huge shot. Wow. And ahead in the race against the 22-point game, I don't think he has a cube quite yet, but he's creeping up on it. Ooh, uh -oh. no five. Uh oh. I guess this just has to try to clear the 16. Both, both, both of them, uh, yeah. So he, he can could, link up. He, he could he... play two forward and just leave aces in the outfield. That was my first instinct. Right. But I guess it depends how many fly shots there are with it. It looks like six two four four six four. It's 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 a lot easier to save the two. Get missed from here. Uh huh. Two on ones, twos. Must be a similar number of shots. Are we at match two now? Match two. Four has to try to hit. And then I guess two can clean up a block. Will not lose quite as many gammons here. But he's going to go all in instead and make sure he has the maximum number of covers on the fan. Plays for the positive scenario, it looks like. Yeah, it's only slightly more. Eight to, eight to six was interesting because, like, what is the cube action after a fan? <laughs> Now he's virtually assured of me. Virtually assured of me. His three point. Even double fours makes his three point. Oh, and on a fan, he's got a cube. I wasn't even thinking about this action. He is threatening some gammons with the closeout and everything here. Trailing score. And this is not an easy take for Ryan if it is one at all. Yeah, the gammon threat looks huge. Almost certainly having a five point board after this. When he enters on the deuce, he's getting blasted away. Yeah, I think we got to let this go. Probably even at a normal like score. What, the what doesn't cover? I think everything right. covers. He's got five or six uh, cover and escape numbers. Three, four, three, six. Mm -hmm. Four, four. <laughs> four, four. Yeah. Six, four. Yeah, it's, you know, he, he's he's almost assured of having a direct shot. He's, he is assured of having a direct shot to enter for the next right. turn. This must be part of the issue. Is that not... enough to take? Must be part of the issue with not cleaning up last roll, too, is that, I mean, seeing the numbers here, he must have a clear double and pass anyway, even when he cleans up 8 to 6, so it's just yeah, a lot yeah, of overage. The, the other way, he would have had 30 numbers, 31 numbers to make us 4 or 3 point. Now he's got 36 numbers to make us 3 point. And, and nothing where he has to make us 2 point. So. Yeah. So this is better, much better on a fan, of course, but was it, would he have taken a cube if he had a you know, the, right. eight, the eight point builder went to the six point, and the 11 point <laughs> builder went to the midpoint. You're slowly would have getting had, would have had an easier time taking, <laughs> but it was a critical decision whether whether to lift the blot on the eight point, yeah, to minimize damage if he could get hit. Because if he if he if he had the, the different position with fewer builders, would Ryan take it? If he if the answer is he'd be passing, then then he probably should have played 11. Eight to six instead of thirteen to eleven with that two less turn, <laughs> and that's that's the kind of thing that you know you you have to think about what happens if I it's the Zdeniak Kishka you know storytelling paradigm which is look ahead and pass by and right. He says pass, yeah, it's reasonable. What does it say? It says big pass. Okay. Oh, it rides ahead of the score. Yeah, pass the score for sure. Zero to seven. As Nick well knows, Nick has wrote a, written a great book called uh, <laughs> Adjusting to Match Play. Thank you, Marty. And he talks about all these issues. And everybody should buy it. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. as the standard response here to, uh, to the 6 1. Even though it seems like you want to split against a prime, you just need to catch up here. And the threes. What is this doing? This is a strange play. How often do we see unstack the three and make the anchor? Ryan sees it immediately. I guess we don't need to unstack the midpoint anymore. Make, like switching eight to five looks good, but we have that big stack on the six still. Yeah, I don't know. All so, offense seems so to play. Th this, this one looks, the, the, the making the two inside points, um, XG four ply uh, evaluation says it's very close to making, yeah. doing what Ryan did, but doing what Ryan did is best. Mm-hmm. Five two hits. 
And three back, but the weaker board. Dana anchors here, so he's doing fine in this game. Ryan just looking for freedom now, I think. No safe way to do this, though. He just going to the back all the way. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like that's the that's the racing. Get, get, get it that's over the with racing it. play and getting you, it you over. Minimize with. shots only by making your two point and abandoning your eight. So mm. this has got to be the right place. There's a great stroke there. Back. E6 probably just has to go for freedom again, even though it's a double shot. Or, oh, okay, can play down to the 7 as well. Yeah, sure, when our opponent's loose back there, we can attack with that. They, they were both close. 4-3 is going to... Hit and come down. Yep. All in, huh? Yeah, there's just no 4 You have otherwise. to protect you those blocks yeah. over there. Yeah, you don't want to give him full roll to attack you. Mm. Now he's got the full roll to send two checkers two? back. Right. Now you have a full roll to anchor somewhere. You full hope. roll to double uh, anchor. And he, does. and he does. Look at that. There you go. I think he's quite timed for this we are, yet. We look ahead to the rolls, not only the what moves that, are, that get made. I was wondering if Ryan should bother to hit if he got the check. But uh, I think he'll just... I don't know what the, to do with these I'm last I'm going to leave the six shot here. Yeah, really? just come around. It's a little stacky. I'm not sure. minimize blocks. Um, yeah, but you force him off his anchor here. Yeah, that's true. That's, this is very true. And it, the and other one is... why this is probably right. The other one was freebies. Yeah. Free, you know, he, he gives no asset up to hit you. Yeah, Unless he rolls cool. double six. Like Dana right. getting his board ready, even though yeah, it's right. not the next pure point. You're right in all respects, I believe. Especially after he rolls that. But now that coming. improves the timing of, of uh, Dana. Yeah, it looks playable. I can look at the count on the right on the screen and mm -hmm. he's way he's got wow, sixty nine pips behind and a, a four two back game. That's that's pretty good timing. Yeah. I mean not perfect, but it looks he's, what, great he's got, to hold he's up. He's got a three to play, he just has to Ryan without much of a prime to like threaten cracking and things like that too, so he has plan B's of just leaving the twenty one point early. So yeah, it looks good bad, for Dana. Bad sixes and fours from the eight point and good six playable six and fours from the seven and four points. That was a that was a good position of spares that he got. There's a four. There's a four. He's gotta play a three six to four. Or else he leaves a block. Yeah, so do and we... then he has to decide on the four. Does he go seven to three or does he go five to one? That's you, you clear the seven. Brings a checker in, but I mean, maybe we need that. Right. To play well, you've got okay. So we have like no so, aces after that either. Then, but, but he's but he's got. What are his block numbers? Six five is a double block. Trips six five is a double block number. Five. They're close. He clear he seven on. point. What did XG like? Uh, slightly better playing to ace, but that was on four ply too, so not sure. I would I would leave four ply. It's all about it's all about this roll. Six two clears. Most of the equity was about this particular roll, and he clears mm -hmm. and stripping the seven point allowed him to clear a lot of them. And the only, I, I guess five Dana's four was a horrible holds. horrible double a double shot, but not a blot a double blot. And this is a, Five, this is a wonderful Great clearing. Strike. And Ryan's lost his market, I think. Maybe he has to play on too good here. I think I would still claim. But clearly can't pass for Dana. Or can't take for Dana. Not enough contact remaining. Surprised he wants to come off the anchor too, but... Yeah, he, yeah we well, he... he um, got a, the worst variation... Off the anchors. Hmm. Ryan rolls double twos or double ones. Maybe if he wasn't at this exact score, it would actually be like a marginal play on. But I guess getting to four away is very strong. We can start to use those kinds of rules to uh, decide here. He's looking ahead to saving the gammon after he takes. I'm not sure you should take. It seems a little bit massive pass. Yeah. Scary to take. Yeah. Well, but usually he, the borderline ready to clear, you know. And then, and then usually the borderline is when you have three pip or points left in front of the double anchor, and once you get down 30, to that, wow, thirty percent. That's a big surprise. Gammons against him. Yeah. Gammons and yeah, twenty. Not even winning that much either. Wins, yeah. That's gonna nearly no lock up the side. PR point, I think, in this game too. That's a big one. 
That feels like a fairly standard, like uh, back game reference kind of position. Well, too. yeah, well, sure. it was a, it was a, it's a deuce point anchor position with a, a very nice canyon blot. Mm -hmm. So that's like a back game. Yeah. But do you have enough shot equity? Like, how many ways does he have to leave the blot, and then how many ways you have to hit? What happens after that? I mean, it probably just wasn't wasn't there. Gammons are, gammons are very numerous for, especially now, they're numerous as heck. I didn't want to duplicate. Oh, you can see the Oh, yeah, peeling, peeling is, peeling is appealing. Taking two <laughs> off is, is it... You do leave the shot, you want a bunch of checkers off, and there's still some gammons here. Yeah, and against a deuce point anchor game, it is thematic to peel chuckers off rather than reduce your long term chances of being hit slightly. No need to cover That's what Ryan did. Spend all the pips outside to save the gammon. And Ryan says, Are you going to wait around and maybe get backgammoned? Or are you going to run away? There must be a lot of gammons here. He once says, I'll, I'll save the backgammon for. So he wants to waste the three actually, pips. He might actually save the gammon after. He's a favorite to save. After Ryan the two involved, I think. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, yeah. he is. He is not a favorite. He really wants a double six. That's pretty yeah, good. Got him. Uh, got him some numbers. He's got twenty-three gammon savers if Ryan doesn't roll doubles. Referencing my article again. <laughs> and he got and it. And just enough. I say. Three away, six away. Now, now his PR vaults up to ten. Does that take? That should be very difficult to recover. Yeah. You know, often aggressive players like Dana hate they hate to lose. Yeah. And if they see enough winning chances, they'll they'll take. Sure. Sometimes they'll be wrong. I enjoy taking it. A good attitude. <laughs> hate to lose and be aggressive. Just not in that position. In that position, it bites you. Mm. you now you should play three down. I think so too, yeah. That's thematic if you don't, if he's got the opponent has two checkers back and you have a lot of your. 10 to 4 kind of looked okay with it too. But... Yeah, it's okay, but I, I, I bet it was probably wrong by 0 0.02 or 0 0.05 or something. Now, Ryan's probably. Enter deep. Take the end of the four and pick up. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, because the race no is still good, apparently. You don't want to yeah. slot. You need a playable work. six. You're mm -hmm. heading back mm -hmm. on the two. You don't have a playable six. Yeah, good point, Dennis. A playable six. So head, you head don't get attacked. You have a six. Yeah. You don't want to go to the deuce. Yeah. Yeah. So eight to three instead of thirteen to eight. Six three, so he has a playable six. But what else does he do? Well, I guess he, he can advance to the fifteen. Yeah, yeah. He can make the point. That's the volunteer he shot, no matter anchor. what. You're so why play not? With two bots if you don't. Yeah, I like that play. I would do, if if I'm gonna leave a shot, I would duplicate the threes and go to the full point. But it could be right I to think make it, one point. it could be mm. right to to make just make that point over there. Yeah, Chris Frencher says says this, if he's going to play, he's going to make. Put a blot on the 15 point and leave a three shot. He should play seven to four blot. But, yeah. but, but, um, no, Dana's not right. Uh, the best play is to switch the 15 point according to XG. He's right if he slots. Yeah. Oh, eight, five, you're saying eight five comes eight, out five, better eight, than seven four. This is even six. So, yeah, sometimes that's, sometimes that's the case. Back to zero. Figure out what other options we've got. Doesn't like any of them. Well, this is the Michi Kageyama three-body problem. The three checkers sort of back, and they want to cooperate with one another to move forward. Use two of them to make a forward point, and that's a yeah. This is a three, the classic Michi Kageyama three-body problem position. Now, what, what, that was too? a back checker strategy, body problem. Michi Michi Kageyama's uh, <laughs> latest book. Talks about similar positions. Now we're just covering now? Oh, we're going to make the better point. Hmm. Against yeah, the four-point board, to, this seems like a lot, but okay. You'd have to make an ugly... 
Well, I guess you wouldn't have to go. You go eighteen to six. Looks to be a small overplay too. Can't tell for sure. Six five. Yeah, he's got the better. Does he? Okay. It's hard to give up the eight point when you still have the midpoint to clear. Ryan's like really overrunning this. Piece. And somehow we've gotten to a double pass at a trailing score. Very interesting. But making the pure point was like super valuable for Dana. Okay, okay. Dana has made some conservative cute scores. Of this. Ryan, hmm. well, he may not double, but he's going to make a huge mistake I not sending bet it. That he, I wouldn't bet that he would not double. <laughs> well, no mistake available for Ryan. But here. he will double, and now Ryan's going to. No, he's gonna he's gonna gonna move to the side so we can look at the whole position better. We can read the two a little bit better. He wants and to he play says, it. All right, I'm not gonna pass this. It's it's close on, on four ply anyway. Yeah. It might be actually an actual take. Right, right. For a rollout or something. Yeah, and he's gonna make this. Take the five point. Mm -hmm. And Brian says, I didn't take that cube for nothing. And Dana said, I'm going to gammon you after hitting cover. I'm going to gammon you after. So the six has to come out and do a shot anyway. Is it worth? What do we do? Seven, seven yeah, to one is the a, outfield is a big blunder, to, according yeah, to just come out. Leaves a yep. double shot and board against a four-point board. I guess it does look like it. And it, it, it disdains a four-ply analysis, and it gives us a three-ply analysis. Because yeah. it's, you know, the the three-ply the fielder stops him. The checker on the ace is primed right now, too, so we don't tend to like to move it. Wow, I am going to yeah. So hit, so he hits and makes a five point board, or you know, this. I would, I would make the five point. Okay. There's another ace, yeah. I would right. too. And a lot of gammons for the, the leader. Right, I'm going to cover that block now. Yep. Pretty important. And versus two hit. Leave, leave fewer spots. Like, oh, he got my arm out of the way. Five is frozen, one of them slain behind. Better to bury another checker than to give a five. It's I don't probable. know. It does contain better when he wants to hop out. Yeah, when he doesn't he's do much, to come right? Around you, you yeah. keep control of the outfield all the way over to your eleven point. Yeah. Those That's gotta be worth something. Yeah, yeah. Half the half numbers Yeah. Right, well half the deck hits this thing. Got eighteen hitters here, right? Wasn't too inaccurate. That, that was the that was the nineteenth that's blocked by the six point. Deuces, yeah. So this is just gonna come around to the ten most likely. Would have liked to be there. Maybe pick it up and buy some time. Yeah, I don't think he wants to make the five point board and let him get out with the six. Could make a three point for a five point board and hope not to be hit and hope to attack and whatever, but Yeah, I agree. It's if a duplicated the, two, right? If you make the three, it gives him six out plus ones and twos to attack. Yep. There's a two. <laughs> where's the four? Where, where's the two and where's the four? He's got a hit. Yeah. Wow. hit, hit I agree. Come up. Attack to this. escape. Impressive, yeah. You can't hit and come up. Oh, come, come up to the eight point. The I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So if he gets down. away with it and can close yeah. out, he might crack before he can roll the two to escape. I, I, I don't but like can still buy some time. It's fine. I don't like this. Uh, playing passive a little, yeah, but it's, I mean, there's no way to step up without leaving a ton of shots. Just don't Seems win, a little just don't win. There you go. Yeah. Ryan tends to like to play to win, too, so I'll be surprised if he passes this The seven. robot likes this, the hit, and hates anything else. Mm-hmm. I'm coming up, well, coming up is good, or? Wants to find some way to do it, but I he's think for lack of it. options, he's, he's going to, I, yeah. I bet he's going to hit. I think so, too. Good a player not to hit. Good find. He says, now I will gammon you with a 4 2 fall beginning out. Oh, beautiful oh, shot. Did I call it or what? <laughs> 6 5 hops right out. Okay, okay. Wow, and this could be three points for Ryan pretty easily. I think he must be a favorite to win a gammon here. 36, win back 42 game. outside. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this could, yeah, this could, yeah, three, three points. Thirty. You get the PR and the and the moon. Yeah. Down in the threes and Dana's paying a lot for that take of that back game. 
Yeah, and so he gets away with his marginal number. take pass decision. Who knows if that'll come and off on double West sixes West. will save the gap. Yeah, and, and so if Ryan gets I'm not going to leave any. Ryan gets a three to one lead in the gonna, in the finals gonna, here. Um, also, he has like a huge lead in the overall average PR. I think it's going to take almost I'm a miracle for Dana to catch says. that up. Or off the five five down with three two. Doubles, two one doubles. Back down. There's the doubles. Wow. There's the backgammon save, not the gammon save. Yeah, backgammon irrelevant. That's the match. All right. Wow. So Ryan's going to go into match three of this with a huge advantage. Um, not sure Dana's got to win the PR point, win the match point, and beat by Ryan, Ryan by enough in the PR to overtake. The average PR to win the tie break too, which after playing an 8.41 match way outside of his range, that's going to be very difficult to do. I'm going to need Ryan to do something like that too. Ryan's worst match of the weekend was maybe like a six or a seven or something like that. So I don't know. It's going to be a lot of work for Dana here. All but out of it. Well, no, if he, you're saying if he wins the, he needs to win both the PR and the match point and he could win. If he wins the PR in the match point, then it'll be 3-3, three, three, and then the tie break goes oh, to oh, average PR. Okay, which so Dana he really, way he behind really needs Ryan to blunder a lot. Yeah. and, and, and uh, He needs Ryan to fall apart. Yeah. And it usually won't <laughs> Take happen. Take a too good cue. <laughs> it usually won't happen, right? Because yeah. Ryan, Ryan is, he just plays his game. You know, he probably mm -hmm. plays up to his level often. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to see the match to decide it. But yeah, looking very tough for him. Certain players, certain players don't fluctuate much in their PRs over the games, over the matches. Mm -hmm. We'll be back after a short break here with that final match. Thanks for joining us, y'all. <laughs> please, please. <Yeah. laughs> Drop in the bucket. Fifteen hundred here, fifteen hundred there. Pretty soon you're talking real money. Oh, How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Mario, oh Mario, Banana, 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 Banana. Banana. oh Mario. Yeah, when I, you know, my name was popular until the Mario Brothers came out. Now they have Super Movie. Those name, rec name recognition. No, yeah, I used to be Mario and Freddy, right? Like 20 years ago. Everybody in every Tom, Dick, and Harry. What's that? Every Tom, Dick, and Harry. He's Mario. Really? <laughs> Where do you live? New Hampshire, Boston, Greater Boston, Southern New Hampshire. Oh, yeah, you just put up a climate there. A lot of weather. Yeah, it seems normal to us. They say, "How do you how do you handle the cold?" And I say, "We stay inside." <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> just I mean, like a, just like yeah. anybody else would. I went. I took my daughter. Went to Boston World. bars and restaurants and everything, and uh, it was so cool. Minus, minus eight. That was I. Well, I where where I, I was. How did you? I, I, where, where I was, uh, it was 12 below one night. That's the lowest it's been since I've lived in New Hampshire. Lowest, lowest in New Hampshire where I live. Yes. Lowest was 12 below. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I took the dog. I had to take the dog for a walk. When it was, before it got to 12, it was only 7 below. I took the, I had, I had to take him around to the first block I could take. I wrapped myself up. I put on, I put on um, my pajama bottoms. You know, effective long underwear. Yeah, right. right, right. And I had, I had long uh, jumps. I had two shirt shirts. Yeah. And I had a vest. And then I had winter coat. Yeah. And I had double gloves. Uh -huh. And I had a double double hat. I had a knit cap, and then I had a wonderful crafted outdoor. Rimmed hat over that. Then and I had and you hood. made it around the then block. Then I had a hood over that, and I had a scarf, 
and I had a COVID mask, so I wouldn't breathe cold air. It's really right. good yeah. for filtering yeah. up the cold air. And I said, "Oh, I said I can went outside. I'm not cold. I am part of my this part of my body is." <laughs> you know how to dress. But then, it. then my breath fogged up my glasses. Oh. Moisture in my breath got, got crystallized. I couldn't. I could barely see. I fly on the street light. There were patches where there were no street lights, and I couldn't. See. And my dog led me, but but he heard once, and I stepped on his paw, and he went, "Yeah." I said, "Oh, I'm sorry, doggy." And but he wasn't damaged. But uh, but I he made it better than I did. He did better than I did. He he was still he was he was his own oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and barking his character. Right? No, but remind me where you're from. Where you're from. <laughs> I don't know if I told you this. Uh, I travel to the store every year with my wife. Double my father-in-law so much. Every time she saw you, you know, Turkey, my dad. And so when I saw you, again, I'm like, I remember him. I'm like, hey, you know this guy, and I forget where you were from. So. Good to see you again. Yeah, I'm from Dallas. Dallas oh, yeah. 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 Six three to open for Dana and match three here. Okay. Okay, we're well, back on Mike. Double sixes. He's going to make the standard play. That's okay. So six three split followed by double sixes from Ryan. He gets to make the blocking point instead of anchoring. Interesting. I would make the 22 anchor myself, but this is it's yeah. just, this might be right. Albert okay. Stegg would know. He wrote an article on this subject, yeah. following up opening double sixes. Well, I'd be time. tempted to just play down with this too, but with the racing lead, he doesn't want to give up the ace. Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Good play, Ryan. Keep it simple. Both very close. Uh, double aces. No now he there. must make the 22 anchor. I think he must make the five point. Yeah, and, well, oh, he could make the five point, but he could make the 22 wow. and slot the five. I thought, so the thing I know about from Albert Steg here is that when you have the better board, you can always take the cube, and when your opponent gets a better board, then you need to pass after the opening so, sixes. So, um, so I'm inclined to make some offense. So the robot liked making the 22 anchor and slotting the five. Yeah, very interesting. Because the 22 Harder anchor is, 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 is one of the best anchors you can have against an inflexible 6, 7, 8 point yeah. setup. With no Two board. down just looks like it flexes better. Yeah, okay, both both very close plays here. Uh, yeah, making the 10 point was a big mistake. That's when he used, should have used it to make that. So Dana already given up some equity in this game. Not a good start if he's trying to take over the PR point. One, one of the things in, in Albert's article was that, you know, an, an advanced anchor is really important. And the 21 point is the best advanced anchor a, after after your opponent is of open early double six hmm. and has not made a board yet. So maybe he hesitated to make the 22 anchor and let... Brian hit from the anchor and also run when he was ahead in the race. But the 22 anchor has significant shot at me. Huge improvement for Ryan, getting a simple game to start. Uh, and Sixes gets to zoom out. I mean, it's not winning the race, but close enough that I think this is going to be his best play. And it's also blocking the anchor. Yeah. Blocking those double twos. <laughs> yeah. And when you break down outside, you'll have one more point than you would have had otherwise. <laughs> You still maintain some good blockage. And the race is close. Yeah, he's. This is the play. I mean, behind in the race, but not by too much. Ryan still had, just waiting for an opportunity to escape that anchor somehow. Dana gonna roll forward and make structure. Be ready to attack if he goes. Maintains the outfield blocking points instead of breaking the ten to make his four. Yeah. They have a lot of time to make the four. Yeah, I don't mind Ryan's decision here. Just uh, maybe play for racing distribution instead of making a point. Either seems what, fine. What? Oh, it's a five three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, racing distribution is a good. good and thing. right back in it. Okay, I think he still wants to keep some contact somehow, but I'm not sure if the midpoint is the way to do it anymore with this what, close of a race. The race uh, That's so interesting. He's going to be. He'll be a, a pip ahead with. Ryan yeah. on roll but after, right, just after the speed the That's what I would have thought too, but XG but actually not. likes it's, uh, it's just getting rid of the outfield. It's, it's it? tricky. It's tricky um, when you're at yeah, this. this is, the timing, the yeah. timing, it, it sometimes will be enough, but not a, a yeah. position like this. Ryan has a slight timing problem. Hmm. Yeah, my instinct would have been to get rid of it and rely on like the contact of the 10 point or something like that. Just like really minimal stuff and we're playing such a good race anyway. 
Yeah, uh, nice I saw I saw a couple of positions very much like this one, and and the bot again wanted to maintain the contact. Oh, oh Bill wants an update on, on the first two games. Dana's all but dead. It's three to one, uh, with Ryan winning the PR point in both of them by a sizable margin. So Dana needs to win the match, the PR point, and the overall average PR to win. It's going to be tall order. Tall order. <laughs> yeah. He's made yeah. he's made a, a big mistake in this in this match. <laughs> This is the right play for Ryan, I believe. No, he's not gonna he's not gonna yeah. he's not gonna yeah, he's yeah. just joking about because he wants to keep the closed board in case of, of this. And now seventeen shot skis. Will he double? Is it enough? He's down Given in the race, the race when he misses, so I think that's a big issue with it, is that your opponent has maybe a recube when you miss. Yeah. Especially you, your you, misses can be bad, right? A lot of misses are bad. Double fives and double fours are are, are decent. So do you have the plan? Are they well, pausing? But I would not double catch up? this. Wow, this is a cube on the oh, volatility, it though. Oh, it's, 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 it's volatility, I guess. It's yeah. the volatility. Maybe... You only win 61.81, but you... I guess with only 15 pips, when you, like, miss, you're going to get enough a lot of the times to take on contact and things like that. Dana's wasting, too. Yeah, if he, if so he if he can still play point, afterward, okay. I'm sorry. If he breaks his six point instead of hitting, yeah. then he still has a 15% chance to hit next turn. Double fives aren't really a miss. They turn it into a 50-50 game. A little bit better for Ryan. Fours are close, too. Interesting. A lot of these, when you miss, your race is so bad yeah. you can't take. With the 15 right. here, I think your race is going to be good enough. Yeah, and yeah. It's, a, it's, a take. it's a double because of the volatility, and you're not dead yeah. if you miss. Yeah, it's always when so they're that's, last roll positions that's good to like know. this. And Ryan, Ryan figures it out. In last roll positions like this too, the and equity swing Ryan tends to be says, massive. What shall I do? Shall I? I think you I just think he should this... clear his six. Clear point. the six. Yeah, point. you're ready for contact. I, shouldn't, I don't think you should do this. I don't either. If you here comes back and is he going to take now? I think he no, has he, played. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he takes because he has. He decided he has played it already. Yeah. And to wit. Okay. And the no, two one was a big mistake. Maybe he was supposed to uh, actually clear somehow. Interesting. Play no I, block. I think he was supposed to play no blocks. You know, in case. In case of you know double sixes, right? He rolled six blank, and, and then and then five, five one hit or something, or four two. Exactly. Two. Two. That's an example. There's other variations. Like I don't think two. that can account for the magnitude of the mistake, though. I think maybe he was supposed to break the eighteen somehow. Uh, actually, yeah, he can play both off the eighteen and make bad sixes, right? And his opponent can't hit him out there anyway. Well, four six is good. It hits and covers. But it's still, there is a blot on the ace. Five six, yeah, that's true. Five six is good because you fine. Well, you leave a double shot then, don't you? No, Is there no, only one check? Oh, 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 he's, oh uh, yeah, he'd be on the 17 and 16, you're saying? Oh, no, no, no. He would get by. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Well, if he went to the yeah. 16 and 15, but, yeah. but um, I don't know what I don't know what your what play exact player is. But this is game. what Dana needed to have a chance for sure. I, I really don't know. It would have been nice to see that best play. Maybe Rory will rewind it and show us on the stream here too. Interesting one. Five to two is probably two. right, yeah. But the take must uh, no. The take was correct. We can see in the PR summary this too. Is a, this is a little worse, probably, than going three two with a one. It seems like it. Uh, I guess if that's Ryan right. can just get in an eight cube and claim the match here, uh, that's a good way to win too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could just. Right. Does he have one? Even if he lost the match, even if he lost the match, he would win the overall series. Is this a redouble? This is like a four roll, four roll, right? On average. Well, he has one free miss. Free one takes a checker off, so he still get by. Yeah, it's a borderline recube and a take. <laughs> yeah, probably not a recube for uh, normal scores or anything, but because the cube is dead, uh, we can get it in and play for the match here. This is and he finds it. Yes, oh, this is wow. awesome. Wow. And uh, Dana, Dana should Dana should should take a big p hard hit and pass and uh, and then play on if he if he knows the if he knows the he's. That if he wins the match, he loses. It's so. kind of like if you're not sure you would double, then you have to take. It's yeah, I like guess. Yeah. You just gotta, you know, like tag yourself. But you yeah, just, I mean, you gotta it, pick it up. Pa passing yeah. would would give up. Um, you know. Yeah, what's passing? Seventy, twenty-one percent winning chances. It takes some calculation, though. I mean, it's certainly Ryan's just going by feel here. If Dana has formulas and EPC things to work on, then he's got to think real hard to. Uh, find the take here too this is not like an intuitive position to look at to see clearly we can no, play I, it out i guess it's, i guess it's 24 percent you have you have 76 percent. i think if you 
The raw pass. pip count is I mean, 20, 24% of, if, uh, if he passes down uh, seven way to three way. Is that right? Nice take. I think, I think it's right. There's the first miss. And if Dana could just stay there on lead go. roll, that's, he that's can win that way too. With a flexible, flexible eyes. Two He's off. got a lot of misses. Single misses. That Dana. is not a single miss, and that forces Ryan to roll double twos or better to win the extra point. Uh, and no such luck. Right. Going to lose the PR point, so it's going to be tied, and it's going to go down to average PR. Oh, 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 Ryan. And lost, Ryan's Ryan give up quite a bit. PR. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I want to see if we can get Rory to bring up. Maybe he's got to roll it out first, but I, that 2-1 must have been the play. That's a crazy one. Those are hard to find if you haven't seen them before, too. Probably Dana's given up enough back. Oh, 18 17 three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so, so we can keep was, the yeah, board. Yeah, yeah. There's some was, play like I, this. I would have been scared to do that unless I really thought about it hard. Those are very difficult. But the two blots behind has everything is, to do is with this, it. Is this, what is that? 18, 17, 18. Uh, oh, he should break. The, he misses the chance to uh, create the bad sixes twice there. So when you were talking about him uh, just playing into the board and keeping the anchor, that was also incorrect. Very interesting. Well, yeah, he could have. He could have. That was yeah, his opportunity guess, to come off. I yeah. guess. Um, that, that's. I guess whenever you hit cover. Not whenever you hit covers. You, if you hit covers that yeah. clean up the block, like if you hit, hit outside and cover with a deuce. Yeah. But it was your, exactly your situation where he's not putting one on the 16, so there is no 4-6 hit cover. Everything else, the 6s aren't covering either, and you're going to get shots from the roof anyway. So, yeah, he missed some, like, those are crazy tactical plays. Huge magnitude and so equity he, so he had in two, the end there. What did he have? He had two blocks inside and only two on the midpoint. Yeah, the position was only right there. Only two on the midpoint. Okay, I can believe that then. Yeah. So we'll have to see on the rollout where it is, but I, I'm still pretty sure that, that Ryan's going on tiebreak, but couldn't be a more exciting way for it to finish out. <laughs> they made a sweat out of it. What's up, Bill? Oh, I don't know. I, I thought you would explain this. Tara says somebody needs to come and explain what happens with a 3-3 tie. Oh, but, uh, yeah, I can go do that. Sure. Here, here I am. Yeah. Uh, on the stream. Okay, okay. On the stream. I yeah, don't yeah, know. yeah. I've been talking about that right now. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So anyway, it's obviously if it ends up three points apiece, yeah. which would happen, I guess, if Dana won both the PR and the score here, then yes, it's uh, resolved. Did he? Yeah. Okay, then it's resolved by uh, lowest average PR, which is a weighted um, average PR. So the number of decisions is considered. Um, so, you know, a short match. Um, might not carry as much weight as a very long match because of the number of decisions. But uh, we'll have those results uh, shortly, I presume. And, uh, you know, what What a uh, this has been a great event. We've had some great matches. We had some great participants. We had some great uh, results and PRs posted by any number of people. And, uh, you know, Ryan had told me, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, Ryan had sent me a, text with a screenshot of some of his recent play and so forth or like probably the end of last week and he said i'm gonna win this event and uh it looks as though he, he might have uh oh so he did yeah he he he's he's almost certainly won the event because uh he lo although he lost the pr in this match it was a short match relatively short so he didn't have all that many decisions and uh you know there were some very very hard checker plays to get right that he didn't get right, and that that accounted for his losing the PR. And and he he beat me in the in the in, in my match against him in Group B, Group A, whatever, and and uh, he won the PR against me by by whole PR point. Yeah. And so he he played very and very apparently well. Apparently had you know? had built up a pretty good perhaps PR advantage he, going into this third game, and then this one, even though it. It's very close. There wasn't that many decisions. It's not going to move the move the meter that far. That, that's right. Um, basically, in order to win the series, in this UBC final, Dana Nazarian would have had to win the match and win the PR point. He did those two, and also Ryan would have to blunder to such an extent that his average weighted PR 
would have been worse than Dana's. Yeah. And all three of those things, it's like very, it's it's a very long, unlikely parlay for those three things to happen. And Dana knew it, but what could he do, you know? Yeah. He, he only got the roles he got. He, he could have passed an eight cube and given up a lot of PR and hoped that Ryan gave up more PR later, you know, but he's, but he said, no, I can't, I, I, this is still back and I'm still going to, well, that's great. That would be even a long shot and he could embarrass himself by doing something <laughs> like what I did, you know, when I didn't see a legal move that I could make. Well, that concludes our UBC, uh, USA tournament. Um, uh, it'll be confirmed here in a bit, but apparently, uh, Ryan Ravello has won that. Now we're moving on. We got a number of super jackpot matches that have started, and we've got the second start of the uh, Malcolm Davis Longhorn Classic Masters jackpot starting here at one, I think, which is within the hour. So a I number of good, uh, great matches coming up, and then of course tonight after our dinner break, so starting about seven fifteen local Central Time in the U.S., uh, the championship division will begin. An incredibly strong field. It's like we're going to have over 100 players in the championship division and uh, probably 20 what I would call elite players in that uh, in that group. And that's oh, not- yeah, I can I can just rattle off a few names, you know. Simone Papa Christopoulos from Germany came over to play and uh, Victor Ashkenazi and John O'Hagan and Kit Woolsey and Neil Kazaroff, Neil Kazaroff, Chris Trencher, Mike Nagy, Steve Sachs, Steve Sachs Kit, just on and on Kit and on. Woolsey, uh, Petko. Petko Kostarinov is a, when he's on his game, he, he might be the best player in the world. He, I mean, he's, he's super, he's super strong. Um, his, his top, top level is, uh, stellar, you know? So anyway, we'll have another match starting on stream one here soon uh, on the ace point youtube channels uh two three and four there are three super jackpot matches going on right now i think hit wilsey and victor with victor way ahead 11 2 to 17. ray fogerlin is playing um uh, saba bajanis vili and uh maze petrosian is playing petco so three good matches going on there and we'll have another match starting up on stream one with commentary uh, as soon as we can line that up. So yes. we, we appreciate everybody viewing and thanks to Marty and Nick and Dennis and Ray and others who have uh, contributed uh, very enjoyable and informative commentary. So thank you, Marty. Thank you, Bill. I'm just, it's a privilege to, to be able to do it at a great event like this. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll catch up in a bit. Thank you guys. Smash the like button on galaxy.
The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app. Star membership, high analysis, blunder database, private games, coin games, rating games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market, available on Amazon. Links in the description below. The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app. Star membership, high analysis, blunder database, private games, coin games, rating games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market, available on Amazon. Links in the description below. The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app. Star membership, high analysis, blunder database, private games, coin games, rating games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market, available on Amazon. Links in the description below.
The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app. Star membership, high analysis, blunder database, private games, coin games, rating games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market. Available on Amazon. Links in the description below. The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app. Star membership, high analysis, blunder database, private games, coin games, rating games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market. Available on Amazon. Links in the description below. The Backgammon Galaxy mobile app. Star membership, high analysis, blunder database, private games, coin games, rating games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market. Available on Amazon. Links in the description below.
the Backgammon Galaxy mobile app, star membership, high analysis, blunder database, private games, coin games, rating games, and much, much more. Improve your backgammon skills by reading the best books on the market, available on Amazon. Links in the description below. Actually, we should fold these. Yeah, I'll, I'll, as soon as you. Okay. Okay, I just uh, want to. Thank everybody who's been watching the UBC USA 2023. A great tournament, great turnout, great players. Uh, Dana Nazarian made it to the finals and lost to uh, our champion 2023 UBC USA from Montreal, yeah. Ryan Ravello. Congratulations, sir. Almost, almost blundered my way through that, but. <laughs> Uh, the last last match, tired jitters, you know. There's some difficult checker plays in that 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 one. Dude. Yeah, I remember that two one for the rest of my life. <laughs> but uh, I was telling some people earlier, uh, even on the stream here, very briefly, that uh, I kind of laugh a little bit because you had communicated with me last week and sent some stuff to me. And yeah, you told me you were yeah. you going to win the the UBC and hey, he didn't lie. I did. I, he, he didn't did lie. lie he won. So. Uh, Congratulations, and uh, you know, hopefully, I, I don't know what I know you've. Yeah, I can't. Often, I can't go to the main one. I have school. Yeah, so uh, that's unfortunate. Plus, but, uh, I need more preparation to before I play that anyway. To play those. So, uh, yeah. Is it tenth or eleventh grade they're in now? Uh, Stateship. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in the, the third semester university, studying finance. So you take, a, take a little week off nice. to come here to uh, play in this UBC event. It's fun. Well done, sir. Thank you. Well, that's great. And uh, again, congratulations. And uh, I've got to get back to trying to get some brackets done and ready. So uh, uh, now well, he's got a he's got a super jackpot match coming up. Yeah. And 
then tonight the championship starts. Jeez. So uh, a lot of back end. Hey, Hilda folks, Trump. just a little hand for uh, Bill and Tara and their entire team, Jesper and uh, Jeff, for all the hard work they're putting in. Uh, this is just such an amazing uh, tournament. I have only missed it once ever. Okay. Uh, if you haven't been to San Antonio, yeah. this is one of the one best of the anywhere. Absolute one of the best tournaments anywhere. All the work they do it just really pays off. I mean, the all, all their, the way they present their tournament is top notch, and uh, so I and they they do tons to help my tournaments, and uh, they're so giving. And uh, uh, there's not many people that give more than Bill and Tyra to this game. So thank you, Bill, and thank well, you, Tyra thank you well. very much. You can still. Three back in.
Once in a while, they play like. This
Brian Maddox. Brian Maddox. Dan Minardi. Can you come to the streaming table? Dan Minardi.
Hey, uh,
I don't need this, I'll give it back. That's what I wanted. The Art Benjamin article. <laughs> I'm white and I passed it. No, no, no. Take it. Easy. They, they crashed. I see why you don't like it, but this isn't made yet. You still have wiggle room. Usually, it's not made yet. Score is zero zero. He's ahead 3 nothing. You really can't pass. Is it a money pass? I don't I don't think so. I was scared of him. Oh, he's bad. This, this is like a big. This is trivial. This might not be a take at the score, a, a cube at the score. People cube these. He's four away again on his juicy. The problem is your recube is incredibly powerful if you turn this game around at that score. 
When you're recubing is when... I saw a lot of gammon just in there. So what is... What, like this 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 put this in the... Put this, this in your... Computer. 180 oh, right. Put this in your phone, please. Let's see what it's... You said 180. Let's do it for money. Let's do it for money and let's look at the gammon percentages. Looks like I'm one player short. But what I'm going to do is read the name and the pairing. If anybody... How much? 150. Okay. What are, let's, so let me see the gamma percentage, the winning gamma percentage. Only 20%. What? 70% wins, 20%. Okay. It's not that gamma. Okay, new thing. Matt Clytus. Top of the Johnny Neely. Brandon Macklin. Steve Sachs. Steve Blanchard. Okay. Okay. Remember, the starting Stewart. position is 14% so. Frank Talbot. Richard Phoenix. What? Starting position is 14. Maybe I'll see. 13, 8 or 13, 9. But yeah. 14 is a good number. Okay, forget. We got the missing name. Uh, who did I say? Munich, Ozinko, Stacey Turner, Al Hodes, Jonas Seawalt, John O'Hagan, Michael Deagu, Victor Ashkenazi, Terry, Boris Nektiar, Rick Silverman, Albert Steg, Roberto Lichtenberger, this is my team's name. What's going on here? This is my this is my four hundred points. I played two one and I played with some stupid like that. Yeah, sure. Rolls maybe the poor man rolls six five. I found the cube, and then, I, and then I was like, fuck, I don't roll six, and then I played this into Slow down. Yeah. I'm right back down here. What's the score? It was zero, zero. Play this and this? Come on. Yeah. Did he redouble? Yeah. And then it was a one-game match. So that's why I played so bad, because I won wonder in a one-game match. And so he redoubled, and took it. you have a... I took this, he like, got around, and, and then I won the... And then I got to eight game race position. Okay. And I won this game, that's it. How close of a take is... So you were here. It's very close take, but making that huge point. You did that and that, right? Yeah. This, this, can't, this can't be much of a take. Because no, you're down so much, you're down a lot. You hit that guy 15% of the time. Once in a while, you don't win because he enters right away. Yeah. Or if you hit him and he dance the game. Or he. Let's see something like this. Four, that's two, two, three, one. Are you even yeah. dashing this? Yeah, I do. Are you going to cash? Is this a cash? Huh? Well, you got two heads back to just one. I know. His take point is like 23-8 at the score, so I don't know. I know, Wayne. Yeah, bad play. He's off. Yeah, because you don't, you, you don't have much of a take. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you're doubling because you can split. Yeah, that's what I realized that for me. If only I rolled three one, it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, I need you guys to. We've got to string one of this jail. <laughs> How does three one matter? You still make the same mistake again. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a split? Yeah. So now, now, now I'll never make the same mistake again. Right. Now you'll split when it's wrong. <laughs> Probably. I went through it. The guy needs two blocks in order to be able to play properly. He only has one block or a better structure, you can't split. Right. Agreed, yeah. Okay. yeah. And Victor's yeah, structure. So oh, yeah, yeah. He has a better structure. He has a lot more hidden cover numbers. Yeah. 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 What he's doing is crunching it down. Yeah, that I can understand because it's kind of. I've seen. 
Holy shit. No, it's too bad. knows what's gonna happen if he doesn't get cut off. Yeah. And there was... He might be... might be proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the... Uh, it's... That's the... That's the... That's the... That's the... I don't need whatever that is. I'd like to see. Here's, the here's your other two matches. How close are um, they got away. Alright. Is there room one right now? Oh, sorry. Okay, um. Is there anything left over on the combat machine? Or is it that you start? How many points is the match? Just a minute. Hang on. Let me get this match started. I can restart it. That's not a problem. Okay, um. Okay, Steve, let me see where you are. I think you're supposed to be right where you are. <laughs> Oh, The crucial point is probably the only team. Never goes to the east. It's perfect. Perfect. And this morning, 
for people to see. It just uh, it just got a, he just won it for you. He gave him gave him back at eight. For drop it. Oh yeah, everyone was right. According to local experts. Oh. Okay. I did. Oh, that's the two one, two one. Yeah, yeah. Two, one, four one, two, one. one. <laughs> double five. But just the, the, the that's gonna be a take. The last. Yeah. I don't get to just start. It's a double. Well, this match was 10 to 3. Well, this okay. It's 12, it was 12 8. But it was like 12 to 3. Oh, and the bigger was 12 to 3. Uh, it had to be because it was kit just for it. Was it a draw? I see that. Last one. Last one. Last one. Oh, Last one. 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 There was it's point, point, point it was, you know, normal like, human being. Zero three. Uh, uh, well, one, then again, one, I also, a little gun shot after I just went like two, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and four, one. You're rating on Galaxy and Zero Three. Yeah, you can't afford <laughs> Can't afford Like one time you said, correctly, I guess. Oh, it takes always double set the first. Yeah, that's the best deal you get at these. How about this? You bet it's a diamond. Lots. That makes it. It's going to be a shot. Huh? <laughs> I mean, just and now too good. <laughs> like that's oh, yeah, like, yeah. And well, now that's too good. He may good. not be too good, but the four point. Yeah, that's on. Know your know your roles, babe. Texas, 
Well, you could also, yeah. Four or five. Four is
Let's go, Brandon. Let's go. We'll see. <laughs> but he explained to me. <laughs> hey, Brandon, you didn't know that. I didn't know. But I agree. <laughs> <laughs>
Sandra. Andrew Laughlin. Andrew Laughlin.
Dennis, can you get me one score sheet, please? Score sheet. Thank you very much.
something. <laughs> Hello.
I guess MD played big third. Now uh, they're one. I commute for you for third. They had the highest they ever got. Well, I don't like this extension. Well, we don't touch that. It doesn't, doesn't pull long enough. Oh, the Kaz man's here. Come on, Neil. Neil, I compared you to Gary Kasparov yesterday. You did? Well, the names kind of sound the alike. The name looks similar. You look kind of similar. Thank you. <laughs> I've, 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 I've met that man. Great guy. Good guy. You met him? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a chess story I can tell you sometime, but I'm not going to do it here. Can everybody, can everybody hear me? This is dramatic. Yeah, you're good, Neil. We have, what do we have here? Is he going to roll an A? Classic position. A DMP. That's going to be considerably harder to win now. And then I compare, you know, Bob oh. Odenkirk? Apparently saying the backgammon. And I, wasn't he supposed to try to get off the backgammon? No. Play for two clicks. It's three oh, yeah. You're supposed well, to stay. The problem, the problem with getting well, yeah, yes, get with three checkers, you normally say yeah, you'd normally had, stay. Yeah, right still at the score. But you can, you can check run, it. Huh? I don't know. The, normally, you would stay without even thinking about it. I have a strong preference for staying. I think that's best. But, Norm well, but, then it's but the problem, the problem is the score. It becomes a one-game match instead but you, of a two-game match. You give up match. too many you know, wins, you right? Lose the match on a backgammon, and then you're definitely. Yeah, then you gotta. Go. If you lose the match on the beach, he Ray is right. You gotta bail. Check that one. I wasn't sure. I didn't pay enough attention, and I'm not gonna work the math. I'm trusting you guys who were here to have done all that. Now, come on, let's work the math. No, thank you. <laughs> so he's not gonna make an anchor if he rolls a six, of course. You just gonna spot. Where's yeah. Art Benjamin when you need him? We need somebody to do the math, Art. I can do the math, but the math is trivial as long as you have the breakdown of how often you win and how bar. often oh. you get BG'd. Somebody I know if you I know if you stay if you stay in the Ku Classic, you lose seventeen percent BG's. Which one do you hit now, Neil? Fourteen. Normally, you hit the fourteen here. I hit the fourteen. Oh yeah. Okay. Somebody wrote an article on that, cool. or somebody did. Somebody put something on Facebook. It might have been Marty Storer. And he said you. And he said me. he said you hit the fourteen. Looks like you should come down now. Commentating on the right. Oh, we're doing Brandon. Okay, we're, we're not doing. Know. We're not. We're not doing Kit and Victor. Because Kit and Victor. Can I collect my? Can I collect my void board? Oh, gotcha. Oh, this is gonna be close. Gotcha. Whether Steve saves the. Gammon. You're welcome. I think he did it. And the gammon is saved. All right. Steve had five checkers at one point on the four point. Well, it's hard to gammon those positions when they have this that game, much of an advantage. This game's more they, interesting. They run it's off it a lot. Over. This game's like tied. This game's more interesting right now. The victor game is much more interesting. Yeah, he was up 12 to 8. And then, then got down 16 to 12. Nice roll. Probably makes a 9, yeah. Well, it'll be confusing for people watching it because we're supposed to be... I'll talk about the Steve Sachs brand and match. We'll talk about this match. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and I will talk about Kit Victor because it's almost over. Okay. Then, we'll, then we can all talk about Brandon. 6-3. Where's your three? I'm not gonna hit. I'm gonna probably dump behind with the checker in the six point. 
It's a horrible time to lose a game, and you'd have to dump behind. Easy play. Yeah, you can also come down twice. You want to unstack. Trying not to get hit was the right idea. He should come out. Oh, I don't like this play. Uh, he's bringing more builders, but he's going to think about it. I think he's supposed to come out here. I think he's supposed to come out. Okay. That, that blot on the eight points only hit with a 5-3. Five one. Now you come in the low. Yeah. Look. Come in low. Don't get blitzed. Mm -hmm. And play, and play a nice building five. Switch over to their game because it's closer to the end, and then you can come <laughs> back to the Brandon one. That makes a seven. I ain't, but, I ain't um, messing around. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna comment on the Victor until it's over. Okay. This is not kids. So now, now you step up. Neil doesn't know this. Neil doesn't like the other two. Neil wish he didn't. Neil wish he saw some of the, found some of these step up plays. He looked no, at it. No, that's a mistake. That's a Kazaroff play right there. Yep, I'm I'm not good with one checker back. You as have to Ryan proved to me to, last you night. To, you have to escape. It's not just escaping. It's just a bad two. Yeah, but you like coming out with the fives, no? It's not really a point he wants to make. He kind of wants to make the the five point more than right. a three point. Sure. Ooh, Steve rolls. He wants to make any point and keep it from building your position. And hopefully gammon. 5-4. Oh, this is interesting. Do you break out. the mid or oh, do you slot fan. something? See you later, Brandon. Or he's looking Steve at slot. I think he's going to look at slotting his five point. Steve I was about the three instead. And he... I would break the, I would break the gets... mid myself. I would do this. Seems right. reasonable. Now Brandon's in. A... Oh, he anchors up. This is a great shot. For, e for every checker Victor brings to attack that back checker. Brings him closer to winning a gammon. Double fours. That's good. Maybe hit loose. I know what I know what I do. I hit loose. Go yeah, through. you gotta take those builders out of action. That's a good play. He could have shifted, but I like this play a lot better. He's wrong to shift there. Ooh. Oh, Kit rolls a super joker. He should have shifted. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Brandon just rolled double aces from the bar. This this that's Dave's victory right there. 7-6. That's like the other it. match. Now Zach it's a, sends over a cube. That's a, it's like a drop. sexy one. I passed. I want to play. All right, all right. And power off. Last year. Now the seven. That's your board? Yes. How would you stream? Fine, oh, stream me at seven. Yo, you, you, uh, which one? Fine. You're happy you didn't win now because you would have won the same board. Hey, Tara, you don't you want to scrape had. the bottom of the barrel like that. Wait, if that's if that's Neil's board, how come you're giving it to me? He's not. He's not. They have more than one. Uh, this one's my board. I want the purple one. <laughs> What's the purple one? You can you can buy. It. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Oh no, it's not brutal. Inlay. Galaxy. The purple one's so much nicer. Isn't, isn't it? it? Isn't it? I like it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hits. Good news and the bad news. And uh oh. Five to two. Who sits from no, the bar? No, you don't do that. The Fogerland coming right up to win the match, probably. Oh! Oh! oh he hits that down. one! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> It is in serious trouble. He's getting. Look at him shaking his head. Uh oh, Victor's... he's in trouble now. He's in more trouble when it gets covered. Oh, four primes are strong. Four primes are strong. They better be real strong in that position. Double fours. You got there, Victor. Ah, Double how about that? Fives come out. Now he's a huge favorite to win the match. Put the guy in. Victor wants a game, and Victor's plan now is to put What's his the game spares. What's percentage? Sixty there. Fifty. I would. I put the check around the six point yeah, myself. That's that. where it belongs. There it goes. That's that's perfect. That's the best. Victor is a huge favorite. Who won a game? He's not a huge favorite. No, he is because it, it's forty percent. If he didn't have a seven point, but he does have a seven point, so yeah, now it's it's sure. easily like sixty five at least to win a game. It's not fifty five. Sixty five. No way. Yeah. No way, we can bet yeah. on that. 
Less? What? You think less? What time is dinner? What do you think it is? I was gonna guess around 52 percent. 52 percent it yeah. was. I, I was, you were I saying guess. 65. No, I, 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 I estimated my result. If you want to bet, if you want to take a bet that it's under 52, I'll accept. No. About right. <laughs> because that's about right because Victor had his spares perfect, and would kits, and Victor was gonna rip at the score and take chances. And he has a seven. His board is not perfect. And he has a seven point. Four three. No, we don't know yet. That helps because he's not gonna now because he, if he rolls tiny, Kit has a better chance to get off of Victor should not waste a roll here. I wanna play Victor in a super jackpot. Give me the asking the hands. Okay. Take him well, it makes one crossover, but Kit needs a bigger number than that. What do we got here? He, needs to, he doesn't need a double. Oh, is that that? Oh, uh, not wrong quite double. enough. Not quite enough. It saves it yeah, now. Yeah, unless it, unless he rolls double aces yep. or higher. That's a big roll for Kit getting them both in. What do you got, Victor? You got a double? Another double? You do not. Nope. You get to see one more game, folks. Croft or a DMP? No, Victor. You only have sixteen. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Hey, Julius. Ryan should Ryan should like this score because it's not possible for him to make any Q berries. <laughs> Funny. Running running at DMP wins slightly more than splitting. Very slightly more. Making the two point at DMP is a clear error. Okay, Ryan, what's your three? Two down. No, I don't like this. I come down. I would have come down myself. As you know, I don't like getting attacked, especially when I have nothing and the man wants to pound me. It's a nice roll. I need to eat. Advantage to Victor here. 5-1? I don't like this play. I would come down and step up. I would have come down myself. This lets him unstack and attack. Does that count? Oh, too cocked. bad. That would have been a huge freaking joke. The double six is incredible. Three one. I, you just got a hit. Have to hit. No, I come down. It seems better. Bring down a builder for sure. Duplication is overrated. It's the damn truth. Got him. Problem with it wasn't a strong duplication because he's six. He just hits on the 18 point every time. Exactly. That's the key word. It's not a strong duplication. Guess what Ryan said? Because six is hit on the 18 point every time. Exactly. What do we got? Anybody's game here? And Victor run. Hopefully to safety. No. Run, but try, not to though. safety. But he's got to get out of there. Now you can duplicate the threes by coming down. So. That, that is a duplication. Yeah. Duplicating the three was a good duplication, but... Now you just slot the four again? The guess. problem with duplicating the three is it gives you liability. No, I don't like this. Slot I would the slot four. the no, four. No, 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 no. Slot the four. I slot the four there. I guess he sees that you can't hit and cover now. This is true. Yeah. There weren't many hit and covers. He would have been crushed by my play. Yes, he would have. Two four, and now got to tone down, I guess. Now you enter low. Now you don't step up. <laughs> or do, yeah, this is better because it takes away the tempo. I think you have to do this. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh -oh. No, 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 that's illegal. Nice that's, try. That's cute. Nice try. That was cute. Again, this is for anyone playing this game when your opponent. He's playing on autopilot, puts a piece in between two checkers. Clarify where it is before you roll. 
four two. Now what do you do? You make the deuce or you just make the four in his head? Wow. I make the deuce. I got builders for the other points. Seen reason we'll make a four point there. Three down, of course. Three down. It's the only play. That no, was a nice can't. roll. You can't. You can't. Well, there's nothing to think about here. No. You make the four point. Nothing to think about. Victor needs to escape now. And the numbers to escape are the same numbers that hit on the three point. On the four point. Sixes in four. Oh, wow. He rolls a incredible <laughs> joker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> A look on Kit's face. 3-6. Now you can't come out. You just got to dump. Yeah, I don't want to come out here. I think I would dump. He's delighted to hit that, and it would have been a bad roll the other way. Yeah, he's going to hit. Would have been a really bad roll the other way. Every, every turn Kit spends on the bar... Victor catches up, gets gets ahead of it, gets gains in the race. Why well, I would have dumped. Yeah, I would have dumped too. And also, you don't let him hit with the tempo, you know. Dumping was okay because there was weren't many good ways to attack on the three point. Now he probably wants to come out with the six. You got to come out with the six. That's the that's huge. Come out with the six. Four in. Yep. And now he has chances again. 5-4, what do you do? You bring in two down? 5-3, just makes a three point. The race, you can count it, Johnny. He's far ahead. Victor's clearly ahead. Slot and slot. Slot and make. No, you can slot and make. You don't have to play like that. I think I would slot. This looks correct, keeping the eight point. Now he's forced to slot. <laughs> now he's forced to... Wow. I, guess, I think he's supposed to break the six point, maybe. I don't think he's going to save sixes there. That was interesting. Okay, now now maybe you should just go. Depending on the race. If he does that... No, he looks behind, so he has to stay back. Go for a six. Play something like all the way to the deuce point is what I would do. Gotta stay back. Victor has to roll first and Kit's behind a little bit. Yeah. Victor has to roll first. So here, this could be the blot right here. And it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Thought I, thought I saw a six there. Okay, here's the two o'clock pairing. We'll put it up on the wall very shortly. If you don't hear your. Now, do you make the split play that I missed? No. <laughs> I left the blot. Two one was better there, but it's okay. Here it is. Where is it, Victor? Is it six? Six. Seventeen shots. Oh, that's oh, terrible. Oh, and he leaves a shot. One of the worst. That might have been his worst roll. It was his worst roll. Oh, and this is another. That's bad also roll. terrible. Now what do you do? I'm up. It depends if you're ahead or not. If you're, if you're behind is, by a lot, you should just stay back. Behind by a lot, you stay back. The race is close enough. I think I would play it forward. What about something like the half and half play, the eighteen to sixteen, eight to five? No, if you're gonna stay, if you're gonna stay back, you stay all the way back because the checker doesn't get by you in nine numbers. And if the checker hits you with the hits you with another with a six, there's four more numbers that hit you. Then you would have had a six shot from the bar. It may have been right to stay back for Kit because of that. Yeah, I think so. I think. Again, we see. All right, we got to find some bets here. <laughs> kid, kid had 58 seconds, so he could have thought about coming forward or staying back, but he probably thought it was just clear to pay fewer shots. That looks fine. Just do that, it's over. Yeah. No, it's not. It's pretty well over, but it's, it's still pretty it's well over. It's better than dancing. Yeah, certainly. There'll be a handshake in two rolls. Two, three, takes it. Two off. 
Victor Maybe moving not. on, like he usually is. He's tough to beat. Yeah, he is. Especially in a match this long. Oh, we may, maybe we spoke too soon. Kick, can you wake up the crowd with a big double here? Take four pieces off? No. Oh, he's threatening. Almost. There was a double here. What is it? He needs two sets. Two sets. He needs two sets and two aces, right? That's it. Yeah. We've all lost these. Kit, you need two in a row, and Victor needs an ace. Watch. Thing is, things are not good. That's it. Handshake time. The match, guys. You want to stay? Here you go. I'm gonna take a seat. All right. Talk about Brandon Macklin and Steve. A little bit. Oh, they're on both boards now. Maybe he should come out here if he's ahead in the race. Looks like you come out. Are you a quick counter? No. Me neither. I, re I, re I rarely take a complete tip count. I do comparisons. If you people who play me hear me mumbling to myself, and you'll notice I don't even count the checkers on the midpoint. I don't count pips for the midpoint. Then I go back and do a comparison, adding or subtracting 13 based on whatever differences there are. David Wells taking the mic. Go ahead, David. This. All right, 5-3. Bring it around. Yep. Or slot twice. I don't know. Might have been better to slot the five. Oh, uh, blocked. Now blocked. you break the mid. Break the mid. I don't know. I would just break the midpoint, because now you're going to struggle to break it next time. Right? Right. The midpoint the midpoint is only helping you if you throw the if you throw six three. So he should break the mid there. It's only helping him if he rolls six three. Two one, double slots. Nice roll. Double slot, yep. It's, it's not nice, but it's not bad. Now he wants to break the mid now. Now if he rolls six one, he's kinda screwed himself a little bit. Well he's gonna waste pips and get squeezed. Yeah, that's screwed himself a little bit. Does he need a cube? If he doubles this, he's dreaming, I think. Doesn't... Well, there's other ways of just not getting hit, and Steve can't keep both midpoints back there. What's the raise? It's it's good for black, but I don't think it's that good. Baby, can, can you count? How fast can you count this? 30, 44, 40, 30, 44, 48, 80. 106 for black. Black is going to have an even number. 106. We have inside, we have 23, 29, 33, 41, 80, 84. 120, is it? Easy take. More than that. Easy take. Cleared. Looks like double take. Oh. There it is! Genius. There it is, a lovely 6-3. Yeah, I was gonna say. I've been missing cubes the most of this morning, so I don't know. Surely not a take anymore. It wasn't a take if he cleared. Uh, last couple matches now. Yeah, How did that happen? Oh, this is. You have backgammon on a four cube? One more double and Steve will be catching up. Oh, Not that kind of double. The UBC, I win. Two? Yeah, I played yeah. terrible though, but it's good enough. <laughs> oh. Win is win. win is The ace, yep. You know what? The UBC was a good warm up for these other events. 
Well, I'm sure you're nicely warmed up, and with four thousand in your pocket, and a nice void board, and a nice and board and a board another board worth a grand also. Yeah. Very good. Happy I played it. Could be. Six to five here. Yeah, it looks right. Six to five. You need double sixes, double fives, play for them. Not gonna win the race with small win this game with small numbers. Where's a double, Steve? Is this one? Big Bang. Double. Oh, oh well. The, re the reverse Joker. There we go. That's oh, it. Well, this game's over. Yeah, it's just resigned now. Save w save both our times. <laughs> right? Like me yesterday in the end of the match, just taking, playing on a zero position. Me? No, me. At the, la the last game there. Oh, okay. That we played. What are his winning chances here? Aren't they 0.0? 0? 0? Yeah. It was possible. 2 1, 2 1, 2 1. It's still, po it's still possible. It's still possible. Now it's not. Now it's not. <laughs> take a picture. Take a picture. See if you can still play the game on. That's funny. Got a bunch of blazer books here. You got it? Oh. Sorry, sorry, David. <laughs> two down is right here. No, that's wrong. You should play two down and for six five run. At the five two. It's the right play to play two down with five two after six five run. And I've been the ding right play with five two is to yeah, bring down a builder I've slightly. Been, I've been ding so many times. Very slightly correct to bring down the builder. Actually, it's actually a sizable mistake, but like twenty. Okay, that much. Maybe not. Maybe not the score, but for money, yeah. Here's a two one. What's the What's the initial? Well, well, that's not the right play. He should He should an He should anchor in slot. Yeah, I like that play too. You have to anchor in slot there. 4-1 makes a 7. You, you don't hit loose here. get too much not having an anchor. Now he has an anchor. Okay. Where's your 5? Down. Down. Bring the super stacks. It's ugly, but these things happen. 5s are bad in the early game. 4-5s. Now Go. do you run or run. do you hang out? I'm going. I'm going. And if he hit, if he hit, oh, he got him. <laughs> Back door shut. So much for breaking the mid. Nice. Bing. Now the cube's gonna come. Cube should come here no matter what he rolls, unless he rolls like a something poor too. Three six, that's it, I dump. It looks like a take still, I guess. End it over, Steve. Not gonna get a pass, but I would double. You got it might be a pass. Yeah, he's far behind in the race, no? How much behind is he? Not that far behind, if at all. All right, so he's behind. Yeah, it's about right. I'm looking. Why well, doesn't I'm double? I'm doing a visual comparison. I would have doubled. That was a miss for sure. Because there's enough crushing jokers. Now it doesn't roll good. Those, it's, those it's, little it's doubles. A you roll. You roll a little double. You're still winning the gamut. Oh wow! Speaking of jokers. <laughs> And make the three point. What a roll. Looks too good. Could be. Yeah. 105, maybe? About right, in my opinion. Five, six. I want to come out, challenge. Or you make a deuce point, maybe. No, I don't like this play. I want to pick up the third guy, no? Would it. What's wrong with out and then coming down just to try to pick up that third guy with the ace? He's, he's, he's thinking he wanted more builders. I guess you just remake the eight point. You don't need the you don't need the third guy for the gammon, but you do need the third yeah, guy like for the, you do need the third guy for the gammon when Brandon anchors back there. I'll take the third guy. 
No, uh, I think Link in the 8 was okay. It couldn't have been that bad. And again, Brand Steve Now if you're a 2, it's like a cash. Steve is just going to cash if Brandon anchors, of course, yes. Going to play until Brandon anchors. 3-1, comes down, comes Three, in. Add a builder into this game. Four three, he's gonna hit off the edge. Hit him. Down, I guess. Bring down a bring it bring it down. Yep. And now he's gonna think. No, it's and way he still too thinks good. he's too good and I don't blame it's him. Gotta be miles too good. You gonna leave the two Most six? Most of the time. You gonna leave the Fogerland? Yes. And if it does happen, the cube comes. And it's a take still, I guess. Ooh, two six fan or two six off the cube off the bar. Are you taking that? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I would have to look at it. Yeah. The problem is fives and threes don't hit. Twos come in. Sixes and threes don't hit. That's the problem. Gonna just, just. Six two, he can come out now, or he can come down. I think you come down. You're not blocked. It's better than coming out. I want the builders? Okay. And you don't have a bad double five that closes the ace point. You're looking for anti root numbers like that. Now you step up, right? Now I go hunting. And why not step up all the way? I guess, I guess it gives a great double one. He's worried ones. about double aces, but... but you, can, you can't see ghosts like that. You just get so many more gammons. Oh, he's terrified of this double one. Wow. I, I can't see that being right. There's not much in it. There's not much in it because you don't get many back gammons with three checkers closed out. 6-2, now you come out and you make the 9, or at that point, yeah. Whatever it's called. Come out so there's a oh, sickening crashes. No, now we're boring again. How do you? I think you're supposed to slot with the five. Six five is nice. Doesn't need to worry about it. Double fours. One, two, and in. Don't leave bad numbers. Probably by playing seven point again. Right. I guess there's no bad numbers here either. Wouldn't need bad numbers either way. Now what do you do? Keep going. Stack them up. Stack them up. Who wants to get hit here? You don't have a backgammon. Your gammon's gin. Not a guaranteed gamma, but... Extremely like, well, 90%. Then rummy. More now. Well, maybe it's still 90, because you might get hit. Bang. Now it's way more than 90. I would say 93. Less now he came in. You don't usually enter a 5 point board. I think you I think you clear you clear from you clear from you clear from the rear here. The problem with this is you come in with the three and then get the get the shot equities, right? And doesn't even save a roll. And the other reason to clear from the rear rear is if you roll a one or a two next time, you still have a four point board in case the guy keeps dancing and then he's just dead. What are the gammon chances now? It must be eight. big, high, very. You think it's close? Three one. Oh, three one's close. Three one is close. I mean, we could we could be wrong. Four to one here, right? Yes. Clear from the rear. You're right. David's right. You let him in. Doesn't matter. If you do make two crossovers. Wasting uh, a turn. Giving, giving Brandon a chance with a big double. 
stack the six point, right? Well, it's five four, so put the four in and come out with the five. Nothing to think about. It's my play. Yeah. Worry about that later. This is this is fine. This might make double five work. This might be better. It might be better because it makes double five work. Not going to save it with small numbers anyway. I think Brandon made a good play there. Look at this. One, two. two. Go to the two point and go to the three point. Looks like it. What's he going to do? Make it. To... 90. He said. That's right. I think I did. Yeah. 90. I never said 95. So you said 93. Sorry. I said 93 at one point. It's still high, isn't it? No, now it's, no, you're right. No, it's, no, it's no, not very high it. anymore. Now there's a bad ace. Yeah. But it's still not very no high. No choice. No, yeah, you have no choice. You have to make two crossovers so you have nothing to think about. And. Nice. There's no cube, dude. Thank you. So now we never know if I roll one. Now we have an eight point match. What are the what are the equities here? An eight point match? Uh, tied up five five. Probably fifty fifty. <laughs> Not anymore. Now it's fifty point zero zero one. The oh, white guys. Two, nice, nice roll. roll. Sees this play instantly. Double fours makes two points. What points? Do, what do you? What do you? That how you play this nine line? point and nine then the four? four point. Yeah, I think so. That's me also. I like my nine point. The two point is not bad there though. No, two points a week. Well, it keeps your builders. If it's not as strong as a nine point blocking in the eighteen point there. Now you make the 20 Look at this roll. and play 6-4 with it. Brandon now has a slight advantage based on the race. By four. And if and if and if things get if things start getting blotty, Brandon is happy to have an anchor in Steve's board. 2-1 does that. By four again, maybe you should break the 18 point now. I or play 6-5-4 too. Or is the race too close? I guess it's too close to consider breaking the 18 point right now. 3 2, you should just come double slot maybe. I like double slotting better than this. I don't mind double slotting at all. 5 1, you Break should. Break the 9. What about just leaving the ace shot to make this a 5 point? Oh, that's terrible. I don't like that ace point play at all. No, that's terrible. It's just the wrong idea. 2 point. And you don't run off the anchor. Everything else is fine. But don't run off the anchor. And he was dying to attack you, and you don't have a crushing board if you hit back. You're not way ahead in the race if you get away with it. 5 4 or 6 4? Oh, 6 6. 6 6. Nice roll. Now he wants to make his board instantly. We can. Yeah, he plays the 8 point. Good half decent roll, I guess. No, 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 no. No, I would not do that. I would make my 5 point. Is that right, David? I would make my five point. I think this is slight. I think his play is probably wrong by about point oh two. That's a nice roll. Now he's nice now roll. he now he's happier. He made that play. It's a nice roll. Yeah. Three one doesn't cover. He has to dump. To two. What can Brandon roll? He wants to come off the twenty point now. Maybe it's time. I think it's time to come out. To break your, you have to. Yeah, don't break the board. Break the board. I, I learned. I learned my lesson today by breaking boards. So I, I think it's time to go. I think you got to come out and face the music. 
There's a there's a there's a, de there's a dead checker. You have a five point board. You're gonna. I think you're supposed to come out. It can't be a 400 blunder, though. No. no, it can't. <laughs> Probably not a blunder at all. 5 2, breaks the 8, I guess. Or do you cover? He's going to think about covering. I cover and leave a 3 shot. And you're out, and you're behind in the race, and your obligation is to hit the man. You have no good play. What's that? Awful. Yeah, that would be bad. Awful, atrocious. You're behind in the race. Good play, Steve. The wins on everything except for threes, and even some threes, like three six. You have to get a shot on board. Yeah, it's a great roll. Now he fans. It's not even a cube. No cube if he fans. You're likely to get hit yet. You need, you need to get closer to home to get yeah. this. Or break the mid. Or break the mid or have builder or something. 6-3. Has to go there. No yep. choice. Can't break the board. Would have liked to have stayed back, but he can't break his board. Yeah. There's nothing to think about. He came out instantly. Does this get hit? Mm, it yes, does. it does. And now he fans is interesting. Because he would gain a lot more in the race just... And dance and and think and looks a little bit early. Looks a little early yet it's close. Two one. That justifies not doubling. You can play to fourteen. It's the only thing you got, I guess. Think Brandon. I think it's still early. It's close to me. I think I might take another roll. I think I take another roll. Yeah, I think. Some of it is though. Well, some of Steve. He's thinking because some of Steve's entries that don't hit somewhere. And if he enters with a big number, he's got to come in and out. Well, if he if he breaks the midpoint and Steve dances again, Brandon is probably going to lost his may have lost it probably lost his market. Yeah, but you don't mind losing your market. The thing is, by how much? Yeah. You don't mind losing yeah. your market at all here. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mind taking your roll. I'm, I'm just trying to look at the position. Yeah. And he's probably supposed to take a roll. Well, if the checker from the 14 was home, it would be a double. If the checker on the 14, if the if the, if the nine point was made with the checker, the on midpoint. The 14, if the midpoint was a 12 point, it'd be an efficient cube. Yeah, midpoint on a 12 point, it would be a big double. This this is a lovely roll. This is going to good chance of losing the market here. Market is lost unless he gets hit. Goes double five. And and, and I it's pass. definitely not too good. Why oh, you played that well? Except for the 3 2. I wonder how bad that was. Probably not that bad. Yeah, you'd be Except surprised. I learned my lesson from breaking boards today. Now, now, now you need to Four. take a half a second before doing that. Nice roll. And this, and this, you, you hit it, you hit and make the two point here. And hit. If he fans twice, is a double. If he enters, it's Dance not even twice, close. it's a huge double. Probably still a take. Yeah, I, I, he danced. Oh, 1-2? I thought that was 2-2. Two, 1-2. Two. Two. All right. Just come out and make that. What about 2 down? I, I'm come out. I link. It's, it's good to link out there. 2 down seemed kind of nice. Now, now what? This is a double. What are your threats, though? Making an inner board point? I don't know. I thought I, I thought it was close. It couldn't have been a big mistake to miss that one. It was an ace point, and you only have a one point board. I make the ten. Make the ten point. Good play. Good play. Now, if he dances again, this is still a take. Um, that's not clear. I mean, this is an easy take. 
This is this is also a double. One. Oh, maybe. I still take. Make the five and unstack. Seems plus the three. Make yeah. the five. Five slot. Yes. Make the five. Slot the three. He's looking at making the three. No, that can't be. Five points best. We know that I one. think you just make the five point there. Well, when in doubt, you make the five. Are you doubling this? Who's in doubt? Uh, I, I take. I take, but you're doubling. Jeez. Probably. Seems like a double. It seems like it looks like a double. Looks like a double to me also. Definitely can lose your market. Now, if you give, if you improve Brandon's position by playing six to five, giving him his five point and a three point board, I would not double. But here I would double. And, the, and these tactics the matter. The three, the threes are different. Well, yes, so these these tactics that many yep. hitting covers. These tactics matter because you're gonna roll. Often Brandon get, gets hit from here. At some point this soon. looks like a pretty strong double. And if he doesn't get hit, he he's winning. He could be winning a gamut. This is probably a blunder not to double this. I don't know what Steve is doing with his phone, but he's looking at XG, putting it in <laughs> as we go. He, I don't know what Steve is doing with his phone, but in, with all due respect, if Steve were playing me, that phone would. <laughs> not be using, would not be touching the phone. Just slap it to your hands faster than he could blink. Well, you can't slap it out of his hand, but I guess. Oh, no, oh it's back to the phone. But he, I, the, the, that phone wouldn't be there. It'd be there, but he wouldn't be touching it during the game. <laughs> did you win your Super Jack fight, David? No, I did not. Wait, that, that, that's where you. That's where you now what? Fives and sixes in front. Now we just have. Yeah, now we just have to stage. lift it up. Yep. Sevens and nines, but there's lots of blocks to hit back. That's why it's so important that Brandon did not have his five, five three. point. Okay. Now he does. Now it's still a take. Steve didn't have his five point. Now, yeah, this is the definite take from here. Five one. It's a very ugly shot. You have nothing. No, no, no play no, with no. that. You can hit Pick lift. And pass. Pick and pass. Probably. Picking and passing is, I think, better. Keeps if only one number. I mean, at least he keeps the builders in front of the points this way. Well, picking a pass, put picking and passing kills a builder. So okay, I, now he should step up. Not totally clear, but still. Seven. No, that's why. That's why I might have just. I might have not picked and passed. No, that, could I, be right. I agree. Keeping two builders in front of. Uh, yes, yeah, better was, than picking and passing. You would have picked and passed. I don't. I wouldn't have done it. I would have thought about it. Okay. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't have done it because you just. Yeah. I guess. No real choice there. He's, Perry six four he really wants a seven. There's yeah. a lot of bad numbers here. Three two. Now do you play eight six for the distribution, or you just play safe? That's ten shots. Play eight six. You but but it's a lot nicer. Think if you you're missed, it's ten much is so many. I think ten is too many shots. Because Steve, because Steve's board so is good. winning. Yeah, it's just eight to four, right? Yeah. Steve's board was pretty much winning if he hits a fly shot. Now three two. You must play now three two. You pay off. Now Steve's gonna cover him. Brandon is. Brandon's in a bit of trouble here. Have to roll very well. Two one. It's okay. This is arguing for the ten shots right now. Look how ugly this is. Well, five six is actually fine. Anything that doesn't leave a direct shot is fine. It's right. only three shots. And. No and if you look at the back of that, you would have hit. Brandon, anything that doesn't blot is good. Meanwhile, now it's like 50 50 position. Uh, it's about right. I would, yeah. I'd yep. say 50 50. Brandon needs a two badly. How about a 3 1? How works. about a double three for Brandon? That works. I would double four. That works too. No, it doesn't work. He's got to clear the six. Yeah, he's got to clear the six point. That's funny. Well, you either clear the six or you leave a five. You five can't, and a he can't leave shot. a five and a seven. You got to clear the six. Yes, we know that. That's two. Those two are forced. Now think. Now, who's favorite here now? <laughs> it feels like... Uh, it feels like Brandon's still a small favorite. Yeah, very small. If he, if, he, well, if, he, if he pays off now, he leaves 19 shots. If he pays off now, he's a dog. 
And he still has to, and he still has to clear the six point. He should play safe. Safe, yeah, I agree. Because he's gonna play safe. We know he's not a favorite if he does. He plays safe. Because yeah, that uh, must have been like a massive blunder. Because he, he he may not leave nineteen shots. He just won. All right, and now now do you now you can find interesting plays like explaining the anchor maybe. Uh -oh. it's, not, it's actually not the worst. Oh, that's fine. Exactly. Now you can blow that checker out of there and you leave eleven shots. You're gonna probably leave shots later. Is this a recube? You gonna think about it. Every ace, every ace is winning, and you win four points. And and, and if you're missed, and, it's not over yet. And if you win a game and you win the match exactly, and you're behind in the match, I, so I really it's, don't think easy, it's, it's easier to take the eight cube if it comes back. Steve, probably, you know, is that a technical recube? I'm not sure. Should, but I think Steve can, thinks he can uh, probably is been a great time. likely to outplay Brandon somewhat. I might have been ballsy in recube. Yeah, you have a six prime, right? So every hit's a winner. Exactly. It's an instant win. You might want to recube the giant, the grandmaster. Just bring it in. Here. The grand Brandon is very solid, but he's not a grandmaster. But Steve probably doesn't want to risk the whole match. No, I want to roll. What a Boy, lovely number. Amazing. Six fives a hitter. Oh, the Joker! And now he fans. I guess he's supposed to cash because he don't have his. Oh, well, you can play on too good. The game is over. The Blaze man is back. Heck yeah! Hey, what's up, buddy? Eric's here. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot of matches, right? <laughs> <laughs> What are you playing next, Ren? Super Jack. Uh, did you already have a round of it then? No, they're, they're they're playing like a qualifier to play me. Oh, that's I what people are playing Steve right now. I play Steve Blanchard and winner of that match against Sean Garber. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. What about we got David Wells and Neil too. Neil Kazaros. Why aren't you guys playing anything? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. See this three two play. That is the right play. Yeah, it is the right. After the four three down, you split. Interesting. Okay. That's the correct play for sure. I wasn't aware. Here we go, Cana fellow Canadian, <laughs> Michael Niagu from Toronto. This is the. That's not clear. No, it's not. I would have made a five. A lot of returns from the bar. Right. Yeah. Feels we're strong. We're gonna commentate on Sax Sax Macklin. These guys can do Ash. Can Victor, Victor plays everything all the time. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> Well, he doesn't have to think as hard as you. Any hits? Hit, of course. Making a 20, you're just losing, so you've got to hit. And he makes the four point over here. Nice roll. 20, Beautiful to have an anchor. I mean. Always in front of that. Four, three down. Let's see how much cleaning up can do. Steve can do. Three, two. Makes a seven. I make Pretty good. It's the not, bar. It's not bad for me. No, it's not. I'd rather have made my five point with an, some ace and not cleaned up as much. Okay, now you hit <laughs> and you probably come down. Yeah, coming down. You don't want to come up. But... Come down. Yeah, you don't continue on to the ace with only eight in the zone and three back. Blitzing is the wrong plan. Like it. Play pure. And a bad miss. Gonna put it in front of the anchor. Okay. You can't afford to come out for an anchor there? Just too many blots around? A lot of blots. 6-5 here. A lot of diversification. So he has to hit. Yeah, and around the bend Co then. Coming out might oh, have been can... right because the threes are I kind of do. I two out. Yeah. It was worth thinking about it. Right. No, I think I play like this. Too. You leave an anchor slotted this way, but you're challenging the midpoint. You know, a stripped midpoint. So it does feel pretty yeah, good to come out with two there. It seems very reasonable to come out with two. Coming out with two is very reasonable because the midpoint is stripped. He two hits back. Okay. No one's made a board point yet. Amazing. These tend to be really oh, fun terrible. games. Six two is a very ten, poor ten stake. Ten four looks like. Ten four it's best, huh? Yeah. I think My so. first instinct is always to come out to the fifteen again and just. That keep... was one reason to have come out with two checkers because you had Lincoln in the outfield yeah. and this would have. Six two would have played a lot better. What's he doing? Texting. 
changing his meditative music. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but he wouldn't be doing it. That's a double me. hit. You don't. You don't make the four here. Hit the I other think guy. So yeah. Don't make the four because you're breaking the mitt. You're yeah, breaking your bar right. point. And you let him get him too many. Good and you don't want to let him come in and cover. This is wrong. Yeah. He just wants to be the first it's one to have a board right point. It's right to make points when you can, but I don't think so there. It allows him to anchor in front with that with a couple one, rolls, too. Now what, do you hit or do you just make the anchor? Probably just anchor. The anchor. You got a <laughs> hitting seems fun. now. Hitting, it does hitting, seem hitting fun. gets doubled, I make the anchor. Hitting seems fun. Hitting gets doubled, interesting. Yeah, hitting will get doubled. Definitely Should be an doubled. easy take. But it, I, I think the anchor looks yeah. kind of clear here. It's hard to play passive after like hitting back and forth this much. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hitting it even two make blocks inside. Leave one, two, three, three, four, four five, six board. blocks everywhere. Right, right. It's probably a drop. <laughs> right, right. It's pretty awful. Pretty it's awful. atrocious to hit. Okay, ace and six probably out to the bar point. I'll bet on double. I like I like twenty four eighteen there for some <laughs> reason. Two duplication should be. I mean, it's really no good, very good number. That's I gotta bring That's a nice little roll. Recovering and hitting is good. And fan. And a big fan. Ooh. It was almost even. Oh, it was almost even. Now Brandon has a huge advantage. And he's doubling. And he's probably he's doubling. We'll see. Let's see what he rolls. We'll see what Steve rolls, but it's doubles coming. Two six runs. Nope. That is just, that is that is that is, double that is almost game, too that's good. A game losing roll. <laughs> too good. It's a double pass. Look, yeah. Double pass. What are his bad numbers I don't think it's here? too good. No. I think it's close. What's he need to take it? <laughs> oh, he's taking a picture of this? Are you serious, man? What are you... What are you, taking it? Here, I'm, I'm going to speak now. And I don't think cameras should be allowed. He's Seriously. A, he's the only guy who does it. I mean, he's on stream. Really? Why not, Neil? Why don't you like the cameras? Distracts the opponent. Ah. Breaks the tempo of the game. I don't think it should be allowed. Flash right I think he should ask permission there. I think it should be a permission. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, yeah. Take a picture and to be in the yeah, yeah. I've had people. A lot of a lot of people ask me because they know I'm anti-camera, and I I don't ref, I don't refuse them. Yeah, no, but I think. But I don't even. Th but I don't even think it should be an option. Just be. I think asking is reasonable. I don't think you should assume you. And, and, and especially and especially in a, a a game that a match that is recorded. That is silly. Yeah. If it's not recorded. He always okay does it on his clock, still. though, which is kind of my, my only counter argument, really. Steps you know? up to 21. However you want to spend your bank is fine by me. Yeah, that's the argument there. That's the argument. That's what the rules committee thought, and that's the general consensus of directors. No, this is wrong. Step up yeah. with the two. I don't know why we want to strip the mid. Don't, don't, don't strip the mid. I don't like stepping up. Guys, on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's different. <laughs> All right, this makes this come down nice, to the nice point, point to step up to, too. Or does it hit loose and really take away the tempo? There. This is wrong. Uh, what's wrong with this? Yeah, because you want to bring the builder down. Mm, it's what's, a lot of flash What's wrong shots, with it is all the maybe. checkers attacking you. Yeah, you I think I bring the builder down and duplicate a bunch of numbers. Yeah, he can't do yeah. hitting loose is probably better too. You on the outside, or he's going to develop. Yeah, okay. Develop. That saves him. That yeah, was big. Very big. Bad entry there, and the cube could come. Mm -hmm. Four six. Now he's got to hit loose. Hit loose. Go get him. Cube on a fan. Probably. Cube on a fan. Maybe. You can cube on a fan, I won't. The loose hit feels a little weak here. It's but close, but... Seems slightly right. I think if he fans, but... Looks a little light with three checkers back. <laughs> there it is. I cube. Screw it. Let's go. Yeah, I don't see it with three back. I three think back, still guys in the bar. Here. Five point. Yeah, Make ten. the five point. Make the five point and warm zone. up the cube. And now he pans. It's like a huge pass. It was a pretty good sequence. Make the five point. What are you thinking about? <laughs> if that happens. Oh, oh, he's thinking about covering the two point. Look, I don't think cubing there was that big of a deal. I really don't. I only think cubing was slightly wrong. Yeah. If. Yeah, I still if Ryan think wants to bet on a cube, yeah. I would. <laughs> I would bet no cube. Interesting. It says I think MCG says he likes the two Make point. Yeah, with three back, yeah, I like to keep the better structure. I want the rack, yeah. I want the five point. I yeah. think these tend to be longer games. Make the five point, yes. My cube feels weaker, too, That's after a good my comment by Nick. Here. These tend to be longer right. games. Okay, now it's a huge pass. This is not a huge pass, but I double. And it's a huge it's, pass. It's a pass. <laughs> Ten in the zone. Oh, but he doesn't cube. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Now he's playing on. Yeah, this is too good for sure. I don't think he was playing on before, though. If he was playing yeah. on there, then he missed it. Then he should have thought about doubling more the roll before.
Uh huh. When I said the cube. Well, that wasn't a play on. Maybe it was a double. Maybe you thought this was a play on. No, screw it. I'll bet you. Why not? Yeah, on the cube that? action, what are you guys saying? Yeah, it deuce points spotted. Uh, okay, never mind. I forgot the I'll position. bet no double after the first loose hit with the two points slotted. In the f before the five three roll, I'll... just maximizing mobility and no, impact here. Double, so, come, yeah. up, come out, yes. Yeah, no need to make the anchor here. Get out of there! Don't make anchors that you might break immediately. Break with that you want to, don't need and might roll a bad double. Now there's what? a lot of the board. Now you have to come down for sure. Still gonna play on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no new blots. Six and ace is probably got a banana split. No, I'm joking. Yeah, reasonable. No, it's a bit more. I saw Sander do it once, so uh, probably. <laughs> it, was, it was a different scenario. The guy had two on the bar and he was about to make the, the ace point. You know? and, he, and Sander had builders. <laughs> yeah. Big, big, big difference. <laughs> two down, maybe. Or 18, 15, 13, 11. Yeah, getting ammunition seems more important 13, than like, 11, keeping your yeah. mid. What's wrong with like, two down, keep you him off play? the bar? Two down or 13 8 or anything? I don't know. Like What's wrong with that? I don't know. I like this one. I'll just nothing more. matters but bring builders. 11 6, probably. For builders. Slots. No, it just brings it in. You don't need to slot here. I don't think. Uh, why not play on the back? It's, would, I mean, sixes are better for attacking. Yeah, I would. Because then it's also not dead. I mean, it works both ways. I'm not worried about an A6. I can bring the 5 What's down to the 8 just, as well. I don't know. 5 in, 13, 9 seems reasonable. It's just less numbers that attack next time. Okay. 6 away is 17 is and 5 away is something less. You know? I don't know. I think there were a lot of plays that were super close. Mm -hmm. Yes. 15, 11, 13, 9 would have been very close. Yeah. Yes. Kind of indirect. Yeah, yeah. Lots of indirects is another way to do it. Six four hits and comes down. Round and the other thing about lots of get off lots of indirects three, is you may get th three guys as builders soon. Yeah. No. That's right. Get off a bad double three. I agree. Good play. Really, it's kind of an obvious play. <laughs> No Ryan Rebello UBC play. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Very bad. Now I make two builders. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there. Not that. Why not go to the six? But... You know what? That's a no, brilliant. You don't, you no, what's wrong with that? Bad. That's wrong with that. I don't know if we want to pre-clear this. I, I would. I wouldn't switch yet. I got my pieces are a little too far back. Yeah. I don't think so. But that brings your great. pieces closer. Is the idea of it, it's right? Definitely reasonable. If we just switch six to one and play like you're fifteen to eleven, we got something. Like that, right? something like that, right? It's easier to if you if you're going to switch, you switch five to one and have three yeah. covers for the five point. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That play might that play that play is okay. <laughs> yeah, I actually kind of like that. I would just bring two in. I just bring two in. It's a weird. Play. What, you, what, what did he do? He, he's getting he's off a of cracking double three. They weren't cracking if he did two. Yes, they were. He only could play three of them. He could play to the nine and brought it in. I thought he had all of them. Oh, then he's okay. Three one. Now you step up or come out maybe on the way or you can make a seven point. I don't know. Bring it in. Eight to five, right? Or take yeah, the five. Look at all the cover point. numbers he's got. That looks good. Perfect. Up to the bar must be okay too. Probably fours and twos are scarier than sixes. <laughs> Two one. one. Nice. He's got to, I think he's supposed to come out. I think we do have to get to the bar eventually. Yeah. I think he's supposed to come out. One, two, three still plays. Six is of course fine. Are you saying offense or defensive? I'm moving the back checker. Come out. Come out. Yeah. Well, another idea is three, two, three, one. There's very little. Uh, <laughs> now nah. we don't need to do if that. If you play, if you play ten to eight, you gain five two to cover. We have twenty nine covers instead of twenty. Eight. Oh, okay. Instead of twenty-seven. He does the. I don't weird see any play. reason to get off this. This is a lot of covers, also, because you get six-one. This is twenty-eight. It's all little covers. tactics, and they all have their pros and cons, and they all run really close. And you have a five-point board, and you're gonna close them out. And... Exactly. They play hardly <laughs> matter. Yeah. You should have been doubling. Here. They don't matter unless the thing goes wrong, and then it feels really disastrous. It's always funny Keep how going. much they matter when they matter, right? Get up boxes. 
<laughs> Fuck me, I'm tired. Your reaction to this match or just having to play it too much? John, it was a, a huge play on after double threes <laughs> making a five point. Didn't have the best of sleep last night either. Nah. He just had to stay up. No. I think he just peel, right? Like, I don't see something safe. Peel. 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 It's clear. Huh. I guess this gets even a little further out, this but I mean, okay. you can roll this a six one five one and until you, you know? roll five one or six one. Yeah. Or four one and strip yourself. I, I peel. Yeah. I peel. I got two beautiful spares there. I peel. Yeah. Just we don't know, prefer to play him deep to the deuce if we can avoid it. This play, Brandon's play would make more sense if Steve had more checkers on the bar at DMP. Yeah. Mm. Now it worked. Now Brandon's pay pays off, but he got a he didn't roll six one or five one and get it. And, and end yeah. up risking a bad number. I don't think, I mean, he has one less checker off as a result, right? If he gets hit now, yep. Get hit, you got one less checker off. That's, that can be a problem. Still looks worse. Okay. Now he's a huge dog to save the game. Now he is? <laughs> why, would he be, why would he be a dog? He only has to make 18 crossovers. <laughs> Counting bearing off as a crossover. What's huge about that? Okay. What are the chances of saving it here? I don't know, this kind of stuff. Well, from here, zero. Uh, good. After boxes, very low. A couple percent. Maybe less. Not a number. <sighs> I think Steve is rolling dead. Looks it to me. But it's easier to roll it out than it is to think about it. Mm-hmm. Aces. That's it. GG's next one. All right, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Fix away four way. What are what are the take? What are the equities now? Yeah, do you know? You rolled the book out. Yeah. Good job, Neil. Oh, that's a fun way to remember that. Thank you, Neil. Six away, four away is 64. Okay. That's Noted. Good. That'll stick. <laughs> for, at least I have day, the... for at least a day or two. Well, no, I, that's the only way I can remember five away, three way, and five away, two way. They're like that, too, where it's 35 I mean, and 25. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't know that about 64 with 64, though. I guess five comes down. We yeah. could just make a big split but then we don't have a good I think he's supposed to come down yeah maybe there's interesting duplication if we slot six to four <laughs> if we go for the squat play <laughs> Funny. um it's wrong. i actually don't mind that here though no, it's, it's like really be... we don't want to be on the 23. This out play. to the bar is good too this is probably better than the squat <laughs> likely to be right yeah but i think we do need to make a major split of some sort here <laughs> Two two, one. ace deuce. Two, one. Do you hit or you that just is clean a it up? whole bunch of returns if you Probably hit. That. And you're just ahead in the race, so he just consolidates. Okay. Uh, someone wants to know who's commentating with me, Mark. I've got David Wells way over on the on the side of the picture, and Ryan Rabella with me. Neil Kazara is probably going to be back soon. I have no idea why none of them are playing. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm playing in a they bit. I need break. a break, man. This is freaking exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask you if you needed a break. <laughs> I want to see you play backgammon. If you, if you want to play backgammon before taking a break, let's just play more <laughs> stupid blunders. So what are you going to do? That's what I want to see. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Funny guy. Hmm. Guess that blot's worth it. Doesn't want to give up the. Oh, on five six it feels silly. Six four seemed okay there though. I don't know. It seemed, I, yeah, I think Steve was probably right. Yeah. Had to be close. More builders for the five is pretty strong. Yeah, and those fours aren't. He doesn't. He's not eager to hit you with the four. Right. Jumps out. They're playing fast all of a sudden. Pretty clear plays. Well, it's easy. Play. Four three. Can't make the five. Can clean up though an anchor. Okay. Third advantage for Steve. Brandon with plenty of game. Now what? 1810 maybe? Uh yeah. We love parking or blocks. 13764 also seems oh. That's a fine idea too. 
Maybe I actually like seven and four a little like bit better. We need a board. A more. Eight, two, six. Yeah. No, that's bad. Yeah, eight two we can rule out because we want to make pure points. We don't really mind like leaving checkers in front of the anchor that he doesn't right want to leave anyway. Point, yeah. You are stripping yeah. the mid, but you're also stripping the eighteen, which you like not having it stripped. Yeah. You, you want to shoot the 18. Yeah, you're about to reinforce it. Steve gets out the camera again. I do not see a no, big market loss on like a hit or anything. Yeah. But he is six away, four away, so I guess he's got to be a little more aggressive. No recubes coming for the most part. There's a seismic gap between this position and a good cube. Yeah, it's hard for mutual holding games with like not a lot more to be cubes. It was double five. It could be still be a like take. almost always fifty fifty. Six one. Six one sucks. Wow. Do you, got, <laughs> really do you, have, to, do you have to go? No. Wow. I think you hit and continue. No. Just, didn't you learn anything from Dana in your match? You can't go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. Uh, well, ahead in the race, it's more reasonable. And four. Yeah. Start the next best point. Your board in order. He's down in the race, and they're playing a mutual holding game. He's going to need contact to win. Neil taught me about making points behind the anchor in these positions. 6-3, dumps 2, I guess. 6 is ugly. Uh, can play into the 4 is probably a little better, right? Could be. Looks slightly better, yeah. Okay. 2. Ugh. Easy play. Yeah, just put can it in front out. of the anchor again. No, no, oh, you can run. come out in front of the midpoint? Okay. I, I guess you sure. I think yeah. coming out looks right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Automatic. Yeah. Yeah. Automatic. That's automatic in the French language. We. Want the team to show? Yeah, my accent's terrible. You full practice, Mr. Casaros. I think this. What is this? Is six two maybe? I play six two. It's a little scripty. Neither seems okay. Yeah. Neither is what you want to do. Nothing and wrong he has too good of a board to play 13-9. Keep distribution. 6-1, now you gotta go. How's time? Okay. Yeah. Make him the ace point seems like good there, too. Yeah, but then what do you do next time? He has a board, a lot on the board. Is that, no, it's double... Oh, it's fanned. Double three would've been nice. Looks like both. 2-1. Yuck. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah. No, I don't think you're gonna hit no, here. You can't. You no, can't no, hit there. there. Right? That's not. Good. You can't hit there. You got a six three, don't you? Yeah, you could just slot game. a better point. This, this can't of, be yeah. bad. Uh, I can be to put a checker this you deep on so? play when here contact is the plan. Yeah. Pretty big problem. I think he was supposed to play four to three with that ace, right? Six. He's supposed to play six to three. Oh yeah, yeah four, three, yeah. three, four makes three was better. Me, four yeah. three was better. Here comes the cube, and it's gonna be a take. You can take it. Yeah, bar point anchor. Yeah, you can take it after a three one. I think you can probably take it anyway, but I guess the contact was weak. So 18, point is, 18 point is always a take. Tends to be unless your well, board is really trash. The problem is, I mean, you can... How many pips is this, for starters? You'd, like, have no race. Yeah. And the problem is Steve can Steve Steve can pay off if he gets the number to pay Steve, off. Steve should become a professional photographer. But He's the, getting but a lot the, of but the, but the So it was very good that Brandon made his five points, so Brandon can take this. It is 37 so he's pips got in that, the race. He's so got that awful enough. blot on the race. 37 ace. pips? 37 pips. Wow. I think. It would have been a huge pass. Sometimes Brandon then. hits hits back and gets gammoned because of that. Yeah, Steve, the way I figured that out is, is that White's... Part, was like a five, four, 37 so, pips? White's and entire and pip count? And I got to with Black just heading the outfield. With a little bit <laughs> less so the difference is his board. I think Brandon has a close take here. I think it's a pass. A lot in the ace point. He's leading the match too. Pips. Yeah, we have like little match incentives to let him pips. get oh, to like you know, five you know, away. You know, yeah. one reason that one reason to pass is the score. Yeah, when so you pass, you okay, kick Steve five it. away. When you take, you let Steve get the four away. <laughs> sure, I'll prop it. Brandon's take point is significantly higher than for money play here. I pass also because of the score. I pass. Yeah, that's if I thought of the score, I would use that to change my mind. I'm, I'm passing. Yeah. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to think of a mad check one. You haven't said a fat yet. <laughs> Do you want to resign? Well, my standard bet is twenty Ryan bucks. Twenty dollars. Yeah, I'll bet him twenty. I'm not going to bet with you. Let's go. Put it in the XG. You need to get your phone on you. Oh. I have my phone on me. I, no, I, I remember the position. I got it. I have XG Mobile on the phone. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I, it. I admit it. I don't know how to use it. What's the take point? It's slightly higher. Someone higher. Is it? 
And the take point on the reach yeah. is 20%. That matters too. I don't know who came up with that, but I, maybe it was Michi, David. But uh, the idea is like you like to pass to let at even away scores and take it out away scores. Like there's a the slight bias totally toward this them. because the gammons work so well at them. You don't want to let them get to even and, you know. Got it. Oh, yeah, because he gets the nine. Right, which is four away, right? Four away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's point. a big jump. Here yeah. you make the five point because you don't have a good ace. You'd like to anchor, but you just got to make yeah. your five point. A brand that should make his five point. Wait, did you run it for the score or not? It must have been a huge blunder. He didn't take it. It would have been, been a huge blunder at the score to take it. Would have been 200. Keep it for at lunch yesterday, yeah? That's good. Six five plays twenty one ten probably. Run away twenty one ten. So it's sixty eight for money and one forty three at the score. Okay, not pretty big. <laughs> Have we played any of this yet? Why not around the bend? Because he's thinking about he attacking. Twenty four thirteen too. I run mm, twenty one ten. Yeah. It's usually, like, it's usually right to play like this. Yes. Yeah, he's got the better board. I don't want to be attacked. I'm building better from here. Makes one, makes the bar. You don't worry. Those about are hard to get make used the bar, to. Make What's the bar. So different about make them, the but... bar. Don't worry about a two. There's all kinds of duplication. Thinking about it. Two one. Nice roll. Well, I'd worry about that too. That's like a joker, actually. I could show you a double two as a joker. <laughs> <laughs> Double two is a joker. This is just a good roll. Four one comes in high and come flexes. In and, come in and build. Do, do yep. that. Automatic. Reason to come under the gun. Three two steps up. Right oh, knee. we don't have to try to point on head. Yeah, you just gotta. Okay, do you step up with the two or the three? Three. You want to get up high, David? Step up with the three. You want to escape? These threes are. A little more duped if you step up with the 22, but you really want to escape. How are his threes duped? You're always getting attacked. So maybe Anchoring, maybe. You want to prop it? No, I stepped up 21. Yeah. You guys didn't point, huh? He pointed on him. Yeah, that felt like the play to me. I don't know. Why don't we like that's this? Gotta be, it's got to be a mistake. There's a lot of material in this prop. game. <laughs> and this works, he's like I'm not way sure. ahead, too. Why not? Again, again I... Again, I yeah. <laughs> I might have been going to Turkey and I don't know to advance my back checker, so this time I know how to play this one. Let's see. Six one. Six two hit. Run all things yeah. now. Oh, in the outfield, yeah. Hit and kiss your dice. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at making his five point. I would hit. The running trend here. That is I an interesting five decision, point, but I would too. hit. A lot of returns, but I would still hit. What do you guys do here? I don't know. This is very hard. Oh, that's this, that's this a good play, play too. too. The five point looks better than this. I think he's supposed to hit. This looks still passive. I think he hit too. It's tough. It's tough. It's a ton of shots though. After you make the five point, you still have two back to one back. I don't see how he fixes that. He makes a five prime. I like then the five point better away. than the outside points. Here to prop it, you just don't know. But I'm going to hit. Here to prop it. What's the right play here? Four point. Yeah, it felt the good. Three, two. Taking the what? The four point was the best play. I wasn't gonna prop that. I thought it was close. Looked good after. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this game is over. Uh, he's gonna think about whether he wants to take a roll or not here, huh? Steve should really become a professional photographer. Yeah. Steve loves taking rolls. He's gonna think about it. <laughs> Can this be too good? It can be. I'm going to take my point and get the four away. All right. That's, that's, yeah. try that's another nice place to use that rule of thumb to make your decision here on a maybe borderline idea. When did you play as Denya? When did I play as Denya? Yeah, you said. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Monte Carlo, probably? Yeah. This is a very big pass. Oh, you're just going to transcribe the whole thing. There we go. I dig it. We don't get to talk to chat then, but fine. Wait, you want to talk to chat? Uh, no, I don't care. Well, I do care. I care, chat. Now we have a four-point <laughs> match. 
It's interesting. Q should be flying. Oh, I could just pull my phone out. Not in the back game. Four away, four away. <laughs> you don't cue back games. If they're well timed. Two, two. Pull because again. when the cube comes back at four, you might not even be a favorite. Two six runs out and comes down. Not yet, Steve. Tempting. It's six two. It's in, comes in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One Lift of those. Yep. No counterplay. I'm starting to remember that you can lift to the five. No. Now, now the cube's flying for sure. Yeah. You should whip it. This okay. is a fine cube for money, right? Okay, uh, four way close. Pass, right? uh, I don't know if it already uh, gets wow. to a pass. I don't think so. Yeah, Easy I think take so. for money. Let's see what the XP says. Big pass. Big, it's a big pass. pass 149 drop. How about for money? Oh, those are so hard. For money. Four away. Four away is an easy pass. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. It's just hard to the take point is the take yeah. point is way higher. I still have more trouble with this score four, four away, four away, away than any the other. Take point of four away is way higher. Again, if you pass, the guy is four away, three, three away, four away. What was that position for money? Put it for money. It was an easy take for money. Easy take for money. Like obvious yeah. take, like clear fucking take. How money? Something like that, yeah. One fifty to two hundred, right for money? Yeah. And a one fifty pass at the score. I believe it. So, so, so that score works. Double fours. How do you play this one now? I guess you make the deuce point, maybe. I'm making the four point. And hitting loose. Oh, you can do that too. Yeah, that's a better play. Oh, You're that's right. a good play. That's a better play. Yeah. This looks this looks pretty clear. Like a nice roll to me. Yeah. And Brandon had better come in, or his lights are gonna go out on Broadway. <laughs> lights are gonna go out on Broadway. <laughs> oh, oh a a lovely number. Joker's it. Anchors Easy and take. cleans up. Beautiful. Now it's like an even game again. Yeah. What do you mean, Cass? I would rather be white. Breeze are somewhat duped. But you're gonna make an anchor for sure. Probably just come in. And you come in. Not a beauty contest. Hmm. I don't play. I don't. I don't. I don't think I leave a blots a blots outside. Place for the race. You can play behind and hope but to make no, the bar of the eights. Really strong seven. I don't play behind. I don't want the blots back there. Another yeah, I don't know. If he hits with a seven, are we really Bring that worried? We're not happy. It's the alternative is to play 13 to 9, and I don't, I don't, I don't do that. Because the alternative is 24 Brandon's to 20 and Brandon's 13 position to 10. Is sound. That'll be the second play. Yeah, exactly. Ryan's right. Yeah, but 10-6 like looks. Pretty I would clear. not have done that. Oh, you didn't do that. Actually, the 6 2 wasn't even that bad. Wow. Oh, oh six another joker. What do you roll? Boxes. Oh wow. And Best I roll. do remember how the recube works at four away, four away. <laughs> the thing is, there's tremendous recube equity at four away, four away, which is why you like to take. The yeah. Take, the take point is thirty three point two percent. Yeah. Just, probably should slot the bar and come down here. Which is he in this range already? He's only. He's a, Grace is close. He's the actually thi the thing that. is, on the recube, there's no gammas, but when you're recubing a holding game, there are no gammas basically. Twenty nine. You're getting no shots this roll, so. Uh, isn't he like two pips ahead in the race? Uh, he's still got to play. Pips. Seven behind. pips. Behind. Oh, he's seven pips behind yeah, in the race. Okay. Okay. Oh, I counted it that way. Brandon has nothing yet. Oh, I counted it as one twenty. I don't think he has enough. Oh, he doesn't. I don't see the... No. Yeah, but when your take point is like 66, you just have to be in an even game to risk losing your market. So you have to well, start thinking about it. He doesn't have much market loss. Yeah. Double six Sixes three. and fives probably yeah, do it. He's, he's actually behind seven pips. Brandon's yeah. down Brandon's seven pips. Down seven. Yeah, yeah. No There's not but, much market loss. Okay. Yeah. Double, certain double, big doubles double, lose the market. Double, two, double aces loses the market. Three twos, okay, I guess. Double aces make a five prime lose the market probably. Actually, three twos because of the score. Yeah, hold him the position, but not by fine. much. Oh, he tries to steal the dice from from Steve. Take, take a second roll. Six one, and make an ace and eleven ten. I guess. You just stay pure. It's better for the race just than a close race too, really. Too. I, I would I would clean up my board with the ace. Every play seems fine there, to be honest. Yeah. The yeah. only problem with that play, he has to come down with the six now. Six in there. He probably wasn't. Mm. The plays where he yeah. saved the six. Interesting. Matter, but... Five three, slots twice, I guess. Five. Or he can make. Yeah, can you run? slot twice is better uh, for the oh, race. Oh, wow, yeah. How about running? I think running's too much. I would make a do you, Yeah, I don't know if you want to play such a simple game with the recube in, in play, you know? That seems scary to I me. I think running's probably an overplay. You're up in the rip. 
Yeah. No, it's 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 actually it's actually behind Florida roll. What's so he'll be he'll be ahead so seven pips after he runs, which just seems like way too much. So it seems a little bit a little bit much to run. Yeah. So if he runs, he's up seven pips, but it's yeah. Black's roll, so he's a slight favorite in the race. Three, two. No, sure to run. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I would have wow. run. I admit it. I, I was they running. Was I was running. Oof. I mean, you, so you couldn't do that. Pips. I thought I was running too. I couldn't do it. How close? It was actually a huge mistake. A huge mistake? Yeah. Wow. Surprised he didn't. Wait, more isn't, that not, isn't that not a recube? Cube yeah. should be coming. Four way, four way. He's got 11 minutes. And... It wasn't a recube though, so he's okay. Yeah, Steve's still ahead in the race. Priming though, I mean, this is interesting. He's got to be a favorite, right? So he's still, he's actually behind eight tips before the roll. Yeah. I, I would still ship it for the match. Especially if, especially if you're playing someone like Victor, I would send this. Is it a send? Yes, it is. Yeah. By 28. Yeah, he's yeah. already 66%, so he's actually. Sure. Yeah, it's like not a big take either. How's that checker? How it's it's hard for Steve to win this game. Sixty six percent looks about right. That's why Ronnie yeah. was correct. And of course he can't get punished by the cube too much because there's not that much that can change. Six, five and make the nine. Uh Three why times. do you want to make the nine? Don't you wanna block six, numbers five, more? Five, nah, five. keep keep the things together. Actually play ten seven, six five. Yeah, I would play ten oh, seven. Ten seven's seven fine. fine. It was all fine. All all plays were the thing is the thing is I don't think Brandon well, he's is down in the race. when he so could it's like dramatic to stay back there. Five two. Uh, uh now yeah. Neil, do you run? Yes. Runs you get you get recubed. Re you get recubed anyway. I I might not run here because I might not get recubed if I stay. Running with that bottom boost still looks bad. Running right again? Uh yeah. Oh, it's a pass anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this has to be a double. It's, now Steve it's, is out of time. It is a double and it's a pass. Brandon it, it doesn't does, understand. It's not cost him too much. Six well, five. five six gonna and now, now he's gonna cube and it's like a clear pass. This is a clear pass now? Yeah, of course it is. After pass. Too many numbers that crush you for the match. Mm. I'm not letting, I'm not letting him roll. Five builders. There's no way I'll yeah. let my opponent roll a number to make a four point, in which case I'm screwed and that's it. I'd rather take, and if, take and, a and, and if you don't make the four point, it's with a five and fives make the three point. And then Steve is dying to roll another five. And if Steve doesn't, and it's even if Steve rolls a five, sometimes Brandon wins the race. This is so confusing, though. This uh, is like not a cube for money. Behind 17 pips. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This so he's going to roll past roll. it when he could claim yeah, again. Yeah, it's, it's a huge blunder. Yeah. Mega blunder to roll there. Mega, mega, mega. Gonna mega a three, six. Now he's going to yeah. cube. Watch. Uh, the 3 6 doesn't do so much. The 3 7 would be a big deal. <laughs> 3 1. He'll find Does... it this time, I think. Oh, he's not going to double again. Oh, no. You got to double this. It seems he must not know the take point no, of the score, I guess. That's just match stuff. Yeah. Psychological factor of him closing that five point. Yeah, so right. Three builders. It doesn't yeah. really feel like you've improved, does it? I mean, the the swing and the equity, the volatility must be higher. What's the race? Uh, it is nine pips. Yeah, so he's still down in the race. Yeah. yeah. But is it, this it's is, still a huge I'll, pass. I got money that says Brandon is going. Oh wow! No, I'm not betting on. I'm not betting on that our players' mistakes. It's the stupidest bet I've ever yeah. seen. I think Brandon's gonna. Brandon's been. <laughs> Brandon's been playing this game against good competition for about 20 years. He should this one totally. The last one. He should totally be aware of what the take point is here. Yeah. The last. The last one looked almost stronger than this one. Hold on. That's what I think. Yeah. I won. Now you have to pick and pass. The only way I think you can find it is that there's clearly okay, more now volatility he's now. Find after a dance, and it's gonna be too good. Three rolls a three. You might not find. It. It's gonna be too good, actually. Yeah. Not enough. Not no. Five percent gammons. I don't see it. What, what, what you, you can what still you lose. Six, what five. are your bad numbers? Six five. Yeah. Okay. Six five is pretty. How <laughs> six? How six four? Six four leaves a shot. Steve is All right. Two so way forward. Thankful. Steve is thankful he's not playing any of us four because he would have been eating a he would have been <laughs> eating the four cube uh, when it was a take sixty six percent game it was a close take. Four three two down two Four. down and I know all the cubes after this. Doesn't get something good. 
dead. This six, is probably, five, eight, probably still a cube. perfectly fine as cube goes for him. Yeah. This is no cube. No, this is a double. Fine. This is a double? Yeah. yeah. You're kidding me. Why no. Not? I'm pretty sure it still is. I actually figured all these out. I'll make a book on it eventually. It's probably but I think after this... No, yeah. it's not double by point zero two. I would have propped that. Wait, zero two? Or double? Yeah. Very close. Oh, okay. Then it gets bigger. Yeah. Yeah. You need, you need God better. damn it, Nick. I trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> he gets, Steve just needs a little more. Wait, I forgot about this six there? five. Two now it's a, look, what were the there's a, I, I don't know. In a two one, I would have made the nine oh, four, two, two, three, two. Three, two, made I would have thought about it anyway. No, two, no, two one. Really Steve not. is playing two one. Right one. Fast. Okay. Two one and then five four. Wow, what a roll! Oh, he, Steve, fuck, he fucked up that two one by the way. That's what, yes. that's what we said. Steve is wishing he doubled. And you want double fours now? Yeah. No, and he didn't. He didn't miss a cue. And next game. And this game is it should be over. And you won't find it take care. He, it was very it was very it was very close to a cube before they rolled. How big was yeah. the double two? The two one. Two one was about a hundred. You gotta you gotta make the nine twenty step up. Yeah, that's right. Good point. Very loosey goosey. Four way two way is almost nine feet. Thank you. Well if you get the open if you get a good opening roll and the this, opponent does this, nothing, this it's a cube. Play shouldn't matter here. Yeah, six five reduces the gammons and volatility enough that that it keeps it off, but it's marginal. Any splitting play is cute, or down. Well, there's, well, there's, <laughs> is is Steve trying to coffee house Brandon into a take here? <laughs> he might be <laughs> taking the picture and stuff as part of the coffee house. And gainsmanship. Yes. I'm not. Gonna... But I don't think Steve is coffee house, and I think Steve is thinking. Yeah, I think he actually likes to play on a lot. On. Yeah. That's what I think. Brandon is already back. And he's thinking about. It's actually very yeah. close to a play on. Because it's hard to it's hard for, it's hard to regain the mar it's hard to regain the market at the yeah. score. When it's close, I think he likes to uh, play usually too. Well, I'm surprised. Takes, and it just he, he takes us. He's dreaming. Never takes. <laughs> this, is like a, a this is a pass for money. He looks like he smells something funny. Looks like a pass for money. <laughs> is uh, that coming uh, from you, Steve? What is this for money? Probably take. Probably for money. No, uh, we'll do it after. I'll, I'll, I'll see that number and I'll tell you. Tip? Yeah, this is. I think it's, it's, I think it's probably, it's probably a drop. I think it's a drop, drop for money. I think it's a drop. You can just look at the numbers. I'll show you the numbers right now. Let's see if it's not. No, it was a take. It would have been a take for money. No, Se much. 72 and 20 would have been a small take, yeah. So. No, no, I think 72. 72 wins and about 20. That looks seconds. more like a pass to me. It's really close. How many the other way? Yeah. Four. I think, I think it's, I think it's yeah, a small Yeah, it's right on the borderline. 16 is 80. That's borderline. Yeah. Okay. Borderline. 3 2 down. Okay. Uh, This tends to not be enough for a cube at 3 away, 2 away. We creep up quick. Fives is really bad though. This actually could be reasonable already. No, no, not it's yet. a bad open. No. Yeah. This, this is far from me. Now what? Four point or seven point, four David? Point. Uh, far is not. I right. agree. Look at it. I think it's. Close. You'll be surprised. Fives is very like close. worse than you think. Bar was yeah. close though, right? Cube. Yeah, bar was very close. Not too much. Cube before here was sixty nine. Yeah. Was it cute? No, it wasn't. No, 69 off, but you're a favorite after the fives. Now, now comes the, uh, this is the Frank Talbot play. 6-5. Frank Talbot. 6-5. 6-5. Good play, Steve. He's got it. This looks fine. Nice play. Frank Way down in the race already. What's another checker back? Five, Huge one. gain when it works. He's supposed to hit. What's the roll. Big roll. Get a good roll, Steve. Doesn't Did not get, get one. Now, now it's like a huge pass. The scores are reversed. Has to hop out. The I don't see any cubes happening here. Double. There's no other choice to jump out. Yeah. Playing on too good, of course. <laughs> yeah. Too good take. Cover five, one covers the five no, and oh. slots to four points. Yeah, I think not good enough take. I'm on that side. I like nine, <laughs> nine four, six, five. I make. You can make the four point and leave no block, but I'm duplicating. I'm making my five point. I like this a lot better. I think I like it better. Nice play, Brandon. Play. It's a clear play. Actually, it wasn't that. It wasn't that clear. It was three to make the point. Hmm. 
The four. What? How much is? How close to the four point? Uh, thirty. Thirty. Okay. Believe it. Five one. Uh, pr makes the five and probably just plays eighteen to thirteen with it. Yeah, I think we can play quiet and sit on the I twenty-four think you have to for play now. Quiet. Well, considering that he's two away. <laughs> Seems like <laughs> an obvious play. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's be thinking about it. I'm not gonna lie, he's really making me cringe he's with these pictures. He's <laughs> crazy. Oh, the tempo hit idea? No, it's, it, it's, it's a bit crazy. Actually, you're right. I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of. The loose hit was actually the best play. Six one is right. It was, it was completely uh, borderline to make this play. Even though point, huh? Yeah. You, you're trying to foul the guy. Hey, you like, like you like those foul plays, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the again, the guy just pukes when he dances. <laughs> I would have played six one if I had another builder. Is that right? Yeah, the cube action after dance is interesting, huh? Yeah, that's right. Like I'm not five, sure about eight, clearing eight, the mid with everybody. You could have cleared the eight points. I would have cleared the eight. two contains well. I would have brought builders in. That brings two down. That. Brings it in to the four. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to step up. Step yeah. up. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Like step in time. I, even I know to step up here. <laughs> the threat is the prime. Yeah. When I don't, when I, when I make my blunders not stepping up, it's when the position is broken. And when I'm getting primed, I know to step up. 5 1, get loose, I guess. Slap. Yeah, what and could go wrong? The surprise is not creating another block, so you I would play make no 11 more 10. Reasonable. Yeah. An annoying three duplication, but okay. No, it wasn't right. Best play was 13 to 12. Wow, oh, wow so that's all in. Yeah. 13 to 12, huh? Yeah. How much? Uh, 70. 70? Wow. I like to see that rolled out. <laughs> Not on this computer. <laughs> Two, four. Okay. Doesn't slot. Makes it Surviving. Nine yeah, I guess we can see how important it is to make the bar point nine in this five. game. Yeah. 9 5. What about a cube now? It can't be a double yet. I don't think so. Two back fine Too structure easy. against one I don't back. think so either. Too yeah, easy. it still looks like Brandon's no winning, pressure. really. Five slots, maybe. Uh, now we have pressure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Now Cuba dance. Yep. Seems reasonable to me. Mm. A six. Well, look at this. Thanks wow. Are you supposed to jump out or you just hang back? I think back? so. Why would you hop out? I don't know, nine, three. You're almost out of timing. You it's could crack so next year. Nine three seems very reasonable. I to think me, nine actually. three looks very reasonable. I'm gonna play nine to three. Wow. I think I'm gonna play nine. You're to completely three. out of time on the front though, and you're yeah, about but to you get You don't want to let him hit, just hit you. You just got a lot of time to roll a six the other way. If, otherwise, he's and if you don't roll a six, you have a lot of time to roll a six. You're not crashing. I would play nine three as well. I would do nine three, but I'm not. Wouldn't be surprised if coming. Yeah. The other thing, when you get hit on the bar, he doesn't always cover. Out is so often right. Yeah, yeah it, exactly. I don't think that's right here. I would play nine to three as well. I would come out for sure, but I don't know. Not sure. Well, I don't mind arguing with all the these people. And getting Coming out's less. a big mistake. Wow. Big mistake. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Coming out was right. Just another no, blot and play could be the problem. Wrong. Oh, coming out was very Six wrong. one. Make the seven. Yeah, make better than make making the seven. The... Warm up the cube. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Interesting. Yeah, now he's cracking a lot. It's a joker. Oh my god. Oh wow. Game over the other way. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. Looks double like two, it. Steve? Double ones? Camera ready, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Get the camera ready. Take a selfie after Brandon Aces. rolled 6 oh, 1. Wow. You, do? you, you hit, hit and then you flex you 6 to 4. I play 6 to 4 and hit. No, you don't make a deuce. You gotta hit the second guy. Yeah, there. you gotta hit. Yeah. And then, and and then you either four. play 8 7 and then come forward, which is fine too. Seven. You don't need the second. Yeah, what's wrong with 6 4? No, nothing. So nothing. That's my play. Okay. Five builders. Watch your mold. No, not this. Yeah. So there's I mean, another it's way fine. to get another. It's, no, it's, it's not fine, but I would still play uh, 6 4. It's not fine on double sixes. Oh, you're right. On your own double <laughs> yeah, sixes. So it must not be yeah. fine. And, and, it's not fi <laughs> and it's not fine if you roll double one or double two and he's shooting at blocks. Right. Should have made the bar point. Is it right to make ah, that's an interesting idea. I was wondering. Okay, I could believe that. But it's very close. I would have made Brandon's very point. close. Now Steve has a beautiful back game with an anchor on the bar and an anchor in Brandon's <laughs> board. Man. And 5-1. Now you probably play 8-7. 
Uh, is it? Yeah, I have an 8 to 3. Eight to three yeah. Yeah, 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 I saw that. 8 to 3 and 1 from the back. My play, yeah. That's going to leave a eight shot three, on double eight to sixes. 8 7 doesn't blot on double sixes. Right, I think you have Probably to do right it for play. that. No. You don't want to blot on double sixes unnecessarily. You can also prevent it by playing 8 to 7 here. Yeah, eight to so seven, eight seven. I would play 8 to 3, 8 to 7. Yeah, that's but Nick, Nick said and eight double sixes. No, double sixes works when you play 8 to 7. Because it's blocked. Yeah. Because so you need to here. I like, I like, first of all, I like 8 to 3. I think that's a nice distribution. I think the five's not important than the ace is. Just going to spit that out. Yeah. Nice one three. Three. Yeah. This play was fine too. Yeah, all plays are fine. Anything not blotting a double sixes. Five, five one, one is two in. Eight to three, seven six probably. No, why not ten to five? <laughs> Keep them high. Because well, you want to put the builder on a three. Point. I don't know about that. Yeah, why not? Now it's five and six is it? Hey, look how nice that looks. You can't play eight to three. Why not? Six is fine. Yeah, what's wrong with five? Five is bad, it, bad anyway. What's wrong? What's wrong five's with eight to three? Uh, you could put it on a high point. Is why I would do it. But look but, a nice, look a nice distribution now. Uh, it's far away, so you're not. I don't know. Less ways. To take I play. A I play. Yeah. Kind of stick stacky. That looks. I play seven to six, ten to me. five. No, it looks ugly. Looks hard to leave shots from that position. It's mountainous, as Michu would say. That's not mountainous. It's okay too. Yeah, I don't five think there's any way. way to get off. And the that was yeah. play. This is probably better. It looks, looks better to me. Three play. A little better. <laughs> Oh, double five, five please. Get Three one just comes in. That's, oh wait, that mm, that's clear. not clear. Oh, no, that wasn't. That was six to two there. Supposed to do something different, I think. And nine six three. Was Anything to point. help clear the six, six point. Two yes, right, you want to get rid of that six, point. six five or something. Best play was <laughs> the best four two was to try to get off the six point. That leaves four two. bad block, bad, like, no bad numbers. This leaves no bad numbers. This leaves no bad numbers. I don't see a problem with that. Two off, but all right. Yep, he's got it. Oh, really? I would uh take it in checker off there. Six five doesn't double shot. We don't put a checker on the deuce deep. I like taking. Know? Wow. I would bet on. I would bet on playing six to five to two. Six is five that... is now a double shot. I would take one off too. Yeah, is that long term safer or why, Neil? Long, long term long safety. Long term is extremely no, important right. here. Look at look yeah. at these prime. I don't okay. know why he's right. What did he roll there? So when right. do you prevent the double six. shot yes. instead, right, then, Neil? Three. Yes. Study this stuff. And what did he just roll there? Yeah. Five, three. I can get dig down if I. I wouldn't have known that one. Oh, something's wrong. It's... Not, not okay, here. strip tease. A lot better than blotting. <laughs> A lot of rolls. Not there. Five, four is not okay, one. Brett. That's a huge roll for Brandon. Brandon didn't even really want to roll an ace there because then he would have been odd on the high point with almost everything. Now there's no block. reason to come off there, right? Uh, you want to be ready to create aces. You do need to come he off. Needs to be, he needs to be ready to get to the coup classic in case Brandon throws a double. Yeah. That's why you run a, run a checker there against yeah. seven pieces. All right. He hits this. He has a double, maybe. Nobody does. Ah. Left 10 to 11 at the score. Nine off. He needs to have market loose. Yes, that is. Fair, fair enough, yeah. The take point is still like 25-ish, so you're no, probably not even that much different than money. No, the take no. point is the take point is 26.2%. Yeah. Okay. Trust me. You got him. Yeah, there's still a lot of work to do. So really, like all of our references, they tend to each this, checker this, is I'm, worth I, like. I would actually double this. Yeah, but it's wrong by a lot. Are yeah. you sure? Yes. You're not, I don't think he's favorite yet. Okay. Uh, it's nine off, right? Yeah, yeah. So he should be like 40, 60 at best once he, well, I guess because so he could be double this probably thing? like 50, 50. When I have market loser. Yeah. When you get, uh, within four or five checkers off or when you get the second back. Yeah. yeah. So ba like basically no different than money. Okay. You just keep trying to build from the rear. Yeah. Don't make anything. Maximize, maximize ways fours to, make to the eight cover one. the end. Yeah, I like that. He got fours eight. and sixes. That's really good. Hey, the ace up is so huge. I, Next I ace is a problem. On, think. Make a six prime. Can you cube then? Uh, no, no. You still have to close out and take checkers off. Even make the, the make the fourteen. Uh, yeah, that's blocking double sixes for free. Seems good. I make the fourteen. One, two, I don't three. Think he's right. He's uh, gonna have two in the air on sixes. Yeah, wow. It covers six one better. Keep going. 
guy keep going here. <laughs> 20 to 17 is our hardest play there. 5, 4, 3. Okay. Hit the, hit the 3, slot the 8. Yeah, he can slot with the other one if he hits that way. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, here oh, it is. Now it's a cube, right? Thing. On the threat of it, I don't think so, but it's cube, possible. No? Well, he misses. Now there's losers. He's got time. He's a camera again. Yeah, once the second one's, ba one's back, but now, now he has a lot of threats. threats. This is an incredibly easy take. Yeah. If it wasn't a cube before. I, I would definitely cube now. The other, after being hit, he can still anchor and wrong, too so and save it. a lot. But know. I'm pretty sure this is a double. And I'm ready to learn if I'm wrong, like I said. I think it's okay. I think uh, it's okay. Yeah. I'm thinking. I don't double. You want to double this? No. I think it's close. I don't double. You want to prop it? No, you have the X in front of you. Hey, I'm not cheating. I understand. I didn't see it. I'm yet. not propping it. Okay. You might see right. I guess I don't think we're sad to cash it after we hit. Like it's still relatively close. Right, this rolls so. a deuce. Yeah. All right. Find the and it was a cube. What? Yeah. How much? I'll, I'll show you in a bit once you will. Breeze is going to cover the back. It was a cube by... Uh, are you, I don't think you're supposed 14. to cover the back. You don't want him to roll an ace. It was a cube by 0 0.01. Oh, he has so to hit to do that. Okay, interesting. Needs, yeah. needs a rollout. He needs, he needs a five here. He needs a four-ply rollout. Okay. We didn't prop it, too. We didn't prop it. It was only 0.01. There's it, no in other words, he was fine. Leave the 1-6, yeah? Can you really afford to give him the ace? Or you just, if you're supposed to what would you do? I'm not sure. You, you I think you play. You can't get gammon. I think so it was to play. Right. Oh wow. I think this might be right. You not get gammon. Oh, because you just try to just try to foul him to get the get the thing. You're just trying to get that. Yeah, you could be right. Much. Probably right. I think this is. For yeah, money, it was right. For money, it's probably. For right. money, it's a blunder. <laughs> Look, can't hit now it. Now. All right. Hitting again. Uh, can't hit. Do you, uh, do you do it? No, you're not. No, I don't leave no. three blocks. <laughs> I guess I guess play eighteen to twenty over. The, I play twenty to eighteen over there. Aces spread my so spread bad. my back checkers. The pro the problem with hitting is you're still paying off to some aces. You're paying off to no four one five two, one, aces. One, one, one. Yeah, you're supposed to hit by the way. I can believe it. Yeah. You're supposed to break it, but then I'm supposed to. No. I can, be I can believe hitting there. Oh, Ouch. Why? Because you want to get the other, other guy. 2% more? That's you hilarious. Get that checker. What do you roll? 5 4? Yes. Oh, boy. Now, what do you do? Uh, you block something. Which sure? I guess is just the 12. You can't block it. anything. What, what if you just leave? Play like twenty to four, twenty to sixteen or something. If he rolls like. seven, you like getting hit. I guess. Uh, you you want to be hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to be hit. Yeah. This play was. And he is. This play <laughs> nice Look at this. That's a, nice that's an fine. awful roll for Brandon. <laughs> the whole deck hits. I can think of one. <laughs> I can think of two. <laughs> you can think of two. Whoa, that was. A oh, I see a second one. Best yeah, okay. play was his play in this thing. I can think of uh, three. Now Steve wants to slot his <laughs> now two points. Now what's he going to do? Play banana split? Three to two? No, that's not necessary. Slot his two much? point. Steve should have six, six, Steve Steve slotted the, the two though. point with that missing four earlier mm. instead of ah, playing. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's another right. shot. He's going to get hit. And he can't, Steve can't miss everyone. Want to bet? I've seen people miss 13 times. And you're looking at it. And, and he's talking right now. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, Got him. Miles knows. You gotta hit twice here. Nothing to think about. No. It's gonna be 12 11. Take a super joke. Two in. Pretty good. Now, if your roll's like 3 2. Making the 23 hit. would be huge. 4 1. I guess you gotta pick and pass, right? 4 1. I don't know. Board. Uh, what is here? I, don't I mean, you just have to get things yeah, containing play, the outfields when he hops fine. out. The thing is, one six is pretty nice. Open the back. I don't know which six. Yeah, six from the back. Six? 
Because you want to yank the anchor. You, you duplicate it. some. Yeah, you don't. Okay, you don't want to get on deuces that he doesn't have from the bar. That's you can't avoid deuces. Here. You can't avoid deuces. So you can yeah, I'd rather be hitting maybe. board though with it, wouldn't I? Come out from the back and get hit loose with the deuce. Both yeah. are tied. So. Yeah. Maybe I guess he would rather be hitting the outfield with the deuce. Maybe. Uh, Look at this joker. That's incredible. Like an anchor here. Oh. Uh, Make the bar. Cover the back, right? Yeah, Make yeah. the bar, bring builders. We do need a prime at some point. You don't want a prime. Well, you can break a prime later. Yeah. You just want builders. You want safe builders. Two you fours, nice. From, uh, he can break a prime whenever he wants. Do you break the seven point, the even fives? Depends Not what yet. I roll. Oh, because you roll a one and you leave another shot, right? Maybe it was something four. like this. Bill of fours, great containment. I think I'm going to play containment out. now, and then I'm going to break later. You leave the guy back there because he rolls a one, he has to hit. Yeah. So something like that guy goes to the six point no matter what. Something like 22 to 14. I don't uh, think you actually want to hit the one here right now. One two. One this looks right. 22 14 and then. Oh. Yeah, that, that's my play. I think yeah. your goal is to close out two, not to get a third checker. Right. Like it could hurt you to do that. Because then you don't have trap plays anymore if he reinforces the 23. I'm, I'm still curious if you should make a trap play with Full Eagle. Eventually, yeah. And here, maybe, is the time. You can't. You're on level 5. That's not the right roll, Steve. Yeah. Double five or Miserable roll. That's a terrible roll. I don't think we want to reinforce the point that we want to get rid of. I cover the outside. I get off the ace point. I cover yeah, the outside. I, I mean, do you even want this checker? I don't think so. Yeah, you do. I think I you really want it. Yeah, so. you want it. Well, if it comes in on the 23, that's a really bad sequence for you. That was actually a blunder. Well, sometimes it doesn't come in on the 23. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Yeah, you're supposed to go for the back. Double five. You're not supposed... Yeah, of course. Because hitting hitting this checker, again, as we said, that hardly matters. Three, two. Make trap plays now. Uh, I mean, we're still just waiting on the six for now. We'll break later. I'm curious about this. I think he's supposed to play three to one. Supposed to play four to one with a three for sure. Ah, uh, for sure he's supposed to play four to one. Ace five. Time to trap. Yeah. Time to trap now. Depends what he rolls. Six five. Make the yeah, ace. This maybe. is a great trap number. Make the ace. Yeah, you should have broken the five point last time. A seven point last. Time. I think so. Mm, yeah. Here's a trap, and it's trap with a blot. So three guys get closed out sometimes, which is absolute crushing. The end of everything. Everything works, Steve. Niagu's crushing Victor. Holy shit. Crush, kill, destroy. Okay. Now he hits twice. I, think, I, hit the, I, I, I make sure I hit the second blot, so I hit it now. Yeah. Steve is a big favorite now. Yeah. How big? Uh, seventy percent maybe. No, more than that. Steve is eighty. Steve is eighty-seven, eighty-eight percent right now. If he was seventy percent, then it couldn't have been a cube. <laughs> so I don't know. He has to have lost his market. He's about eighty-eight percent. Yeah, yeah. Right here. No, he only has eleven percent. He's almost ninety percent. So eighty-nine. Right fine. Yeah, yeah. Sounds right. And now he's at least ninety. Job. You're, good, you're good at this kind of estimating stuff. Oh, I've seen this stuff. Yeah, it's not <laughs> estimating when you look it up. <laughs> I, to I told you when you when you when you end games are my forte. Like a, you're like a chess player. Yeah, I don't know any just. I play that. I play chess too now. You yeah. Like chess? Uh. <laughs> not yet. Lot, I was a lot better at it when I was younger. What was your peak rating? I was an expert. 1800 of them. That's that's class A. That was 2087 peak. 2087? Yeah. That's almost Grandmaster level, isn't it? No. Grandmaster's level is 2500. Match is over. All right. Oh, the game is over. Not the match. Wasn't the like What's that? You're between 21 and 2200 on Galaxy. You're like an intermediate player? Somewhere between 21 and 22. That's That's... Like an intermediate. That's average intermediate in an ABT event. A or, or advanced, if you want to call it. It's the second division average player. Hmm. My opinion. Maybe. Some of these guys know Galaxy a lot better than I do. Yeah, I think it's probably actually a good intermediate player. Maybe even open. I don't know. I bet there's a lot of open players in the 21 to 22. 6 4 runs all the way. Forest. Run all the way at the score. Runs like Forest. 
five three makes a three point. And two away, one away. Even gammon save mode. Two one, swing around. Mm -hmm. Playing it simple. Easy game. Six three comes out and comes down. Out and down. So much easier to play like this because I'm used to it. I can't play as well over the board and I problem. Yeah. Have you been practicing that? No, I don't play a lot over the board as well. Mm. Lovely 4 1. Yeah. There's no players in Montreal. None, huh? Now what? Anchor. Make the anchor. Make the anchor? Of course. You don't oh, no, no, no. You don't keep them split and make the 10 point because it's game yeah, and go? You're right. That's, that's, mm. that's the play. Or five I think, I think in game and go, you're supposed to keep them split and make the 10 point there. Yeah, you're right. Interesting. Yes, he needed that. He was going to have a, a suffering game. You know, inferior game now. It's oh, six. look at this. Okay. All right, Brandon, how about a four or hit? Nice roll. Four oh, and hit. Beautiful. Four. Huh? No. Dude. <laughs> a long, fun game here. That was amaze balls. He was so, dying to get that checker home. Yeah. Not get gammoned. Three, he's got a slot twice. Slot both points inside. The other. Yep. Let's do that. Well, he was. He wasn't. I don't think he wants. Play he wasn't a back playing game. a back oh, game no. necessarily. It was just an option. But mm. you're still trying to go forward. How about slotting in the instead of that 14 to 11? That's, that's fine. Yeah, maybe so, in a normal game, much, yeah. normal score game, awesome. I'd like to make the five there, but it seems like too many gammons here. I need, I need to block their dupe sixes. Four three. Dupe aces. Can you break, break the mid, maybe? Nothing wrong with that play. You can't. Both play Only if five. you get away with it. Every play is fine. I three would have made the five. This prepares to make the five. The best play was actually to make a deuce point there. Oh, weird. Yeah, it was. We weird. agree. This worked out nice. Steve just wants to make his five point and yeah. he's home. Double fours. You can get Double by without it, it's fine. It's fine, now what? One fly down. shot? E no fly shot. She -she. For sure the five, yeah. Oh, isn't it taking another picture? Yeah. I think I would leave the fly shot. Take another picture. Take a picture of Brandon yeah. puking at your I was going to say, you have to get Brandon in that game. shot, I think. <laughs> I don't leave a fly don't shot. Brandon would, has no timing. I would leave a six three the five four. Are gonna go behind six, the double four. anchors anyway. Yeah, but now you let him come out, right? Six numbers. Probably like a six five. You should escape both. And you play contact. I would. Oof. I would not. Six numbers is a lot. It was wrong. It was right play. It was very close, but the, okay, your, I your play it. was best. What was best? Uh, jumping to the ace point. Yeah. Six one just. 13, 6 5 or it's just in? 6 5 seems better. 6 5. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need spare yeah. threes. Yeah, you don't have any threes. Or spare oh, fours. This is just very bad. Roll. It's not that bad. One. It's bad. It works. It's pretty bad. It fits. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't crack though. What? Oh. You need to escape now though. Steve. Fours clears a point. That's fine. A 6 clears the 8 point probably. Uh, oh yeah, Ken. This is another interesting question for him. Or two off the. Yeah, you can bring two, two in. Seven. I bring I two in. I think you wanted the crap. Yeah, there's I still think, prime value. I bring two in because if I clear, I have that's too big a stack. I'm gonna have bad threes. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have bad fours. And if I can crack, and if I can crack that board, I have a huge big I like, game. I like this play better. This play it's is clear. Stack <laughs> Five four is running. Maybe it prepares to deal with this a little better too. It's a better position yeah. for Steve than the other way. Yeah. Four one. Make the ace. And six five. Make the ace. Exactly. Going home nicely. Two one. That. Is the good. fives up are the problem right now? Double threes, that's good, right? Threes fixes some how would that have, How would that have played if he <laughs> blundered and put, with a 6 1 earlier? Ah, uh, yeah. Cleared up now, what are you doing? You're gagging. Bringing a super stack, or are you just bringing playing flexible to the four I'm point? Oh. I'm super. I'm doing stack. this. Wrong, what's wrong with the 7 3? It's not a super the gap. stack. Yeah, the gap is the issue. 
Harder to clear. And bad and bad fives. Potential bad fives. Duane is beautiful. And this is a I didn't run out of hope. Comes in, you should. Oh, yeah, they must be matter. fine. A little better to come in and make sure you cover, try to cover the ace point. He got lucky not leave the shot. Level threes fixed everything for him. Seems fine to me. Making, trying to get, get rid of the six point before he has bad threes. Two, he can just play, make the seven, maybe. You have any race at all? Down 44 pit. Then make the ace point. Throw out the seven. It can't be too. Much the problem with making the seven is what do you do next time if you don't roll a six? So make the ace point now. Well, throw the six now. You just break. You make the ace point now. You might not want to break the anchor. All right, all right. I don't think it matters. You might not roll a six. Rip it. I'd rather have my ace point made. <laughs> well, good job, Neil. You're right by point zero zero one. Thank you. Of course, I'm right. <laughs> well done. Sometimes they're clear that You're way. a champ. Again, it hardly mattered, but still, it's just, yeah. it's just. I mean, it's just. There was no reason not to make the ace point. Four one. I, Maybe you should run. That's now. that's a pipe dream. Maybe you should run now. Yeah, you can crack if you don't run. Yeah, that's what I'm What are you worried about here? Two, two. Yeah, I think running makes a lot of sense. Now you got to go. If you get to. Rather roll smaller numbers. It was a close match. He's going to outplay yeah. Brandon, but it was close. Battle. Oh, and the amount that you transcribed, you mean? Yeah. Okay, little lock. There's some there's some shot potential. Roll small, Brandon. Yeah. There's a lot of Oh, Brandon. It's got to stay. Uh, since four away, four away. He's playing 3.8. Brandon's at a six. Yeah, some cube because issues. Of, yeah, repeated. they keep fuck them. Play perfectly with the checkers, basically. And... Die. And there's the worst roll. <laughs> the worst roll. Give us an ace. 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 Please. Where is it? Ah, oh, geez. And that is the end of this game. <laughs> and the end of me commentating for a while. It's break time for this old man. Wonder if it's possible. Rolled it? Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, he is alive. What are the chances here, Marty? It's slim. It's slim. It's slim. It's slim. Just leave the building. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Welcome. Exciting match up there. I'm not sure what we have next. I'll go check in on what's coming over soon. I can see. Looks like Michael just took out Victor Ashkenazi or did a while ago or something. Watch out for the tablecloth, right? And then when you made the point and I came in, no, I just moved over. What? Before I was like this, it was like that. Do you know what? Sure. Roll the tapes. I know you want to do the right thing, but this thing didn't cost you. Getting close to getting break. I'm not sure what's happening. That one I did, I had it before then. Uh, maybe we'll come back for the night stream, or maybe we'll have something switch over. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Yeah. Looks like round of 32, Jonah Seawald and Stacey Turner when we come back tonight, maybe? Probably not right now, unless we're switching to it now. I'll find out. Not on the bar. Mike, right now, are you? Uh, it's 
Good to talk. Good to see. Like, I was self conscious sitting here because I'm. <laughs> We're just being easy. Thank you, Nick. I gotcha. I think we're messing with now, but if yeah. you know them. Yeah. Okay, okay, what's up?
Gamble. Yeah, that's a big gamble. Craziness. There for a while. <laughs> You're killing me. Uh, thanks, Coach. <laughs> I'll check <it> out. <laughs> Which checkers are mine? I was like, what the fuck is going on? Something is amiss. Yeah, you were, I think you were losing. Which, which guys were yours? It happens. Every, I think everybody does it once in a while. That's three of them. 
Christians, okay? Jason Briggs, Jason Briggs. Manuel, Manuel Perico.
play would you like me to do? Probably this one. Let's do this one. We'll give you a Stacy play. I'm a generous guy. Right? You want the Stacy play, it. right? <laughs> it's more fun. Stacy plays the blunder. <laughs> oh, no, I no, can't be a blunder. <laughs> I'm going to do the Stacy play, which is a blunder. No, the play you, you wanted sir. me to make. Thank you, sir, man. I have another <laughs> The play you wanted me to make, not the play you would make. Oh, that's a difference. <laughs> I misunderstood. <laughs> okay, this is getting to be a best back at you again. <laughs> Lots of choices again. Seems something involved in hitting. Well, let's just do this. Roll the game. Well, it looks like we're making the ace. We really didn't win it one way. But, ah, yeah. He didn't win it. <laughs> That's a Stacy play. That's a Stacy <laughs> roll.
don't count the race or you're going to drop. It's not about that. Yeah, don't even think about it. Not thinking about that. You don't even need to count. It's just a waste of time. Too many checkers back to take this. Curtis? Fell for it. I had no choice. Always choices. Next time you get in a jam like that, you can just offer to settle for one point. You should double early. That way you get the mo most value.
Jeff, Sharon, Jeff, Sharon. What's up, everybody? Anybody that's going to the uh, fruit dinner down the street at Texas State Brazil, that's uh, against the five o'clock. You're responsible for your own uh, tab, but uh, there's a private room. It's in my name. You can go down there and leave or go in there. Uh, all you can eat. There's two options, you know, the full board, which includes all the real things on the
Trying to put a square oh. peg in a round hole. Yeah. <laughs> Navy man. Just have to roll another six. Be my guest. Or not. <laughs> okay, Tyler, do it. Not now. I dare you. I dare you. Ask for it mm. and you shall receive. <laughs> you know this is streamed, right? <laughs> you haven't been using any profanity yet. You, right? a, you asked for it and you got it. That was pretty strong. Well, I mean, if you get hit. Well, what kind of mindless person hits me on the one point? <laughs> my God. <laughs> Not right. <laughs> Just love. It was perfect. You asked for it. I gave you what you wanted, and you performed. It's like the perfect sequence. That's the perfect <laughs> sequence right there. <laughs> I wasn't asking for it. <laughs> you can't blame me. <laughs> I needed something. My God. <laughs> you have to blame yourself. I am blaming myself. <laughs> Anybody else to blame? Nobody <laughs> else listen. That was awesome. Couldn't wrote it any better myself. It was not awesome, Jonah. Oh. You know, people are watching this one. Wow, that was really cool. Oh, let's see. Yeah, All right, let's try to hit something. You got me. Take a pen. Seems decent. Quite big. 
beats the ones though. Three's blocked there. Two's five, sixes, and ten. Come on, Miracle. 
All you need is three. Oh, that's the wrong three. Six at that time. Next one. You didn't ask for it either. Ask for another one. You, you gotta ask for it. I did. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't work unless you share the information with everyone. <laughs> did you know that? Oh, no. Well, I lost.
You like it. I never asked for six five.
Congrats, man. Tough one. Easy one for you. Well, it's tough to be on your side. I've been there. It's tough. Good luck tonight.
Uh, somebody will. I'll get. I'll get it eventually. You want me to send it to you? Yeah. Okay. Wait, you got my email? I think so. I'll, I'll double check. If I don't, I'll talk to you and get it. Stacy sat on its side. We didn't know which side to sit on because I won. I was supposed to. I was on the wrong side. So sorry. I, I didn't realize till now. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure that anybody watching the stream knew how you speak. You can see us on camera. It'll be fine. No, I don't think it has. Yeah, that's all they didn't put out. I'll put them on YouTube and you can just find them.
painful memories from a month ago. <laughs> Doubles or you've been too busy to play the other side. I'm playing with Manny and Brock. I think they'll have it. Take it away. 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 Take it Sorry, I didn't know. I think it didn't do that. 
I know where we're going. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Oh, he's going to make a land and get a lift in here and see if that's like the board. Yeah. Your bill. Your phone and your bill. For four folks.
Show you up, thank you.